Driving Nerdy just subscribed. 32 months, that's like a whole year almost. It's time for Random Lore Dump with me, Zero Daylight. Hey everybody. So, um, let's start with a little bit of a recap. I'm not going to go all the way back to the beginning. Uh, we now have a YouTube channel. We've got some text summaries that are really easy to get ca caught up with on uh, World Anvil. Uh, so let's just go back to the prior episode. So um, we started with the party having just entered the etheric uh, by means of some very experimental technology. And they found themselves in what was effectively a strange forest, and they saw weird distorted visions of each other that might or might not reveal some of the truth about the characters. Uh, and then they realized that the jungle that they were standing in was actually SJ, who'd grown to be several miles long. So they were kind of... I don't, wouldn't say enjoying, but they were experiencing this kind of strange interstitial space that was etheric transit when something appeared to try to rip the box with Denny's body and the mysterious stone in it away from them. Uh, they were able to hold on to the box long enough for Mirth to open it up and grab this mysterious stone that they've carried with them that immediately began to glow and pulse with an amber light as if it was a heart beating heart of radiance uh after some failed wisdom saves um their transit through the etheric was uh interrupted as they were ejected forcibly only to find themselves uh laying in the middle of a road somewhere uh they were able to deduce that they were um indeed on the road to alternest uh so and were able to figure out the right direction to go uh but we're gonna have to hoof it so um at the end of their first night, making their way towards Alderness, they ran into a kindly old man who hadn't seen anyone in years and just wanted to have a friendly conversation with some strangers. And he had a story he wanted to tell them uh, about a queen who used to live in the forest, who changed people and bound them to her will forever and granted them power in return for their loyalty Oh, and also punish those who defied her will, uh, at which point a crown of light appeared upon his head, uh, and he summoned some very nasty creatures uh, who began to attempt to kill the party, uh, successfully killed, well, successfully knocked Blaze completely unconscious, uh, did a decent amount of damage to lots of other people. I think Mirth, oh, poor Mirth, took one point of damage the entire time. But it's very clear that the man uh, was not a man. He was some sort of elf or other ancient fey creature who really wanted Mirth to give him the stone. Uh, but the party prevailed. They killed him. Um, and then they got a wagon out of the deal. So it wasn't so bad. Uh, as they made their way, uh, they finally arrived at the gates of Aldernest, only to be accosted by some guards who had a very reasonable request. It's like, hey, you're coming in our town. Let's take a look at your goods, and that way you can pay the appropriate fees like every other place in the world. Well, our party got very unruly at the suggestion uh, and were probably minutes away from coming to blows with uh, a very large number of town guards when suddenly they were interrupted by a very filthy but flamboyant man uh, and his 20 or so um, cohorts armed with cudgels and shivs 
who basically chased off the guards. Uh, the man introduced himself as Lord Mayor Athros Darvel, uh, and proceeded to charm slash flirt with the party, uh, and escort them into town for free and uh, invited them to join him at eight bells uh, that evening uh, for dinner uh, because one of them, you know, here's what happens. So the entire party is on a quest to do a thing to the, to potentially save the world. And of course, the first thing they do when they hit a random NPC is ask them if they have any jobs for them. Well, it turns out Athros Darbell might have some jobs for them. Uh, so they now have the option of meeting with him this evening. Uh, they made their way finally, finally, finally to the Eudoxia Society's chapter house. Uh, they met a lovely half-elven person who was apparently Khan's beloved, which Khan didn't speak about the entire time, uh, and were escorted to a well-appointed reading room uh, to wait while Khan kind of filled in members of the society, and eventually they'll be introduced. Uh, so we left the party plotting how to rob the place blind and steal all their weird experimental technology, because that also can't possibly go wrong. So let's see, maybe they'll blow up the entire town, or maybe they will find a way again to weave between competing uh, priorities and advance the story forward. So stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Before we go live, thanks for coming on in. Morrowind, Kitty Ducky, Corcodile, Jerbica, Beurbica, Sushi's here, Mad Baggin, Suckaboo 5, the original Zodai, Sin is here, Geo Deer is here. I don't like my promotion anymore. This was eight day eight in a row of work. Oh, uh, geez, nerdy. Oh, well, sorry, bud. I, I actually noticed that I haven't seen you in a little while. All right, I'm going to go live with these nerds. Let's get it started. Hello, is me, Justice TV. Hello. Is number one main of of D and D Twitch. No, that's not true. Hello. Hello, Justice TV. In Chicago, uh Meg eats you. Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Wh who? I have food though, for real. That's why I'm sometimes look like this. Also, Moro oh. has been transformed into a cat. No, I was going to say, uh, we were having a conversation while you were away, and we've decided that Schrodinger is actually going to play Ghost this session. That's fair. Since clearly the star of last session, we'll just go ahead and... Do oh, you, wait. Oh, never mind. Do you think Shh, don't that tell him. Schrodinger knows I which one's a D20? He, uh, he does, and he likes to knock him over. Nice. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Juices TV, your best friend on the internet. And with me, as always, is Lissa T... And Megan the Math Lady and Zero Daylight and our ghost du jour, Morrowind in my sales. Everybody here is an amazing streamer. Make sure to go follow them. I don't have the thing up. I'm gonna I just reminded myself I need to get the thing up. Uh that's not anything you guys need to do. I just occasionally will re will uh pop up and be like, hey, you should follow all these nerds. It's great. Yes. You should follow. The, you should follow all these nerds. You should also go to the C Plus Content YouTube if you have not subscribed. Please do. We are uh, getting very close to the goal of a hundred subscribers, so we can claim a custom URL. Look at that. And it has all the short videos and the long, the full episodes, and uh, it has links in the in the banner to written summaries, so you can get caught up in like five minutes because uh, we got like little type summaries on Word, World Anvil. So uh, definitely go check that stuff out. Yes. I, it's not like I'm looking at the analytics every single day. Oh, boy. Or multiple times a day. It's fine. <laughs> I need something in my life. I feel like I'm letting you down because I keep forgetting to give you access to the C plus content Twitter account so we can actually get it started. Remind That's me fine. later. I'll do it. People don't need that one. They just need to follow me. No, zero with no, a zero no, no. daylight. Well, I mean, they need to do Twitter. both. They need to do both. <laughs> what happens when, yes. when we... Replacing it. What? No, never mind. <laughs> exactly. Irreplaceable <laughs> job security. Critical My failure plot. point. <laughs> All right. What's happening? Where are we? I actually couldn't. I didn't set it up right, so I couldn't hear the recap video. So I was trying to read your lips, um, but it didn't work. 
You haven't read the summary? I Jeez. didn't. Have you, you the, also you were there i was so that's you know. the, but you also know that my memory lasts about 15 minutes and then it yes, disappears i know you don't pay attention it's fine uh and meg we can see your beautiful portrait but you can hear us right yeah she's yeah, eating i'm totally here i'm just minding. i'm just eating the pizza, pizza right now i'll be uh, right back. zero daylight Perfect. don't no worry worries. about it all right <laughs> you know what i mean it's me matt the meg matt the meg lady <laughs> it's Wait, all good how come i can't so, hear lisa tree oh there you yeah, are why can't we hear you no i can't hear you still <gasps> why you're not it might be because Yay! i was muted um on my very fancy go xlr schmancy fancy fancy <laughs> i have to press the button oh my bad uh lisa Beautiful. tree is also streaming simultaneously so if you would like to go uh read and participate in her chat as well you can go to twitch.tv slash Lisa T. Yes. And I'm ready. Beautiful. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to recap the whole thing again because folks who just joined will have seen. Oh, actually, no, uh, because uh, Lisa, folks on your stream didn't see the video. So probably a good idea to do a super quick recap. Um, we The last episode began with you guys uh, traversing the etheric. Uh, you saw maybe hallucinations, maybe just distorted visions, maybe some truths about your characters, don't know. Um, you saw that SJ was a two-mile-long jungle monster. Um, and then something came and tried to steal the stone away, and you were able to prevent it from being stolen uh, when Mirth reached inside the box that contained Denny's body and pulled it out. It then pulsed with amber light like a beating heart of radiance. Um, and then you were ejected from the etheric. You didn't know where you were. You figured it out, made your way on foot, met a kindly old man, a trapper, a hunter, kind of lonely, just kind of wanted to get to know some people, you know, probably it's probably been a year since he met uh, anyone to talk to. And he told you a story, which I hope everyone paid attention to because it's basically the entire plot of what's happening. Mm, I definitely you remember. remember the story. Yeah. No, you don't. I do. The what queen was, the was real mad because the people angered did a thing that angered her. And no. then she was like, give me the thing back. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I remember that. And then no. Hansel and Gretel that. went to grandmother's no. house. No. 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 I, well. Sam yeah. and Diane met at the bar and Norm was there, there and. <laughs> a little did it about Jack and, and Diane. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is if you go back and watch, just watch Meg's face during that story. Because, oh, no, why? Because, well, because Mirth knows something about what the man was talking about. And you were just like, mm. oh, my gosh, how do I not make memories? Why don't I know this? <laughs> no, he told a story about a queen who used to be in the woods that was loved and revered. I mean, I'm just making. I'm how did I not get this right? Here. Uh, and. Those that were lucky enough to meet her were changed and bound to her will forever and granted powers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, and then there was a war in the north. And because of a pact that she had engaged in, she was bound to go and act in the defense of the unworthy. And she died or was lost in the battle. Uh, and then, but maybe not because the old man's story was that some people began to realize that she was maybe still around uh, and maybe was looking to reclaim some of her power so that she could return and was starting to give people their powers back that she had given them, like the power to summon weird electrified eel monsters and stuff out of the ground to try to murder you. Then he failed then you met some uh, kindly guards and got real unruly over a basic issue of taxation. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not doing the taxation. <laughs> but but we're saved uh, by the appearance of one Lord Mayor Athros Darvel. Oh, yeah. Who we have dinner plans with. Yes, yeah, we have we're dinner gonna plans go. with. Can we hang out with him or what? Oh, shrimp eyes. I mean, Put your glasses back on. Sure. Jesus I Christ. Sure. My eyes. <laughs> Oh, I do. I have tiny eyeballs. We talked about this. I wear glasses so that people think that my eyes are bigger. Look. No, it's okay. 
mega alpha. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. That's a relief. Wow. No, wow. There's nothing wrong with tiny eyes. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> as as I explained to the folks tiny who watched the pre roll. <laughs> This is another, you know, just mark one up on the on the trope counter, because in the midst of a oh we must do the thing to save the world, the first time they meet a random uh, semi interesting NPC, it's like hey you got any work for us? <laughs> you don't have but anything he was going on. So interesting. He was. Let's go there. I wanted to hang out with him. Same. So, fine. Maybe make fine. your NPCs less cool <laughs> to hang out with, fine. and then we'll pass them up. It, Definitely. It's, and you're like, look at good. me. I've got fabulous things. I'm wonderful. And we're like, okay. look at my beautiful outfit. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Yes. Can, okay, we will. I'll, I'll take the note. It's my fault. Yeah, shiny I, things. I, okay. I, I the shiny things. I don't intend to include thirst traps in the <laughs> oh, story. But it Darn just it. sort of happens. <laughs> Darn it all. So, yes, if we're off track, it's entirely my fault. Life anyway. finds <laughs> a way. It, true. Um, you did, however, make it all the way to the society, the, their chapter house in the old elven quarter of Upper Alternest, and uh, met a lovely half-elven person who apparently is Khan's <laughs> or something. You don't know. Oh, that's but right. There's apparently a romantic relationship of some sort. Um, and you were escorted to a reading room not the library proper, but off the library proper, um, to wait as Khan delivers the stone, gets, uh, I'm sure, provides some reports uh, and gets an update on what the society has learned during his absence about the foe long thought vanquished uh, and is, uh, you're basically just enjoying some tea and scones, waiting for him to come and fetch you to be introduced to you don't know who, but some members of the hierarchy of the society uh, here in Alternest. Uh, and I believe where we actually landed was that Ghost was planning on, hey, we're here, let's steal everything. Because that's how you get in good. We haven't been paid yet, so let's start stealing. Whoa, 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 wait. Though. We weren't all like, let's start stealing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that Ghost. Was it was just oh. grandma. That yeah. was ghost. Yeah. It was ghost. <laughs> yeah. Buy a finger discount. You know? Sure. And I, I so completely like support it. like my grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Way to call out grandma. Dang. Just just saying. Like, I got, I, I still have to eat dinner before sundown, you know? I'm like, just saying. Oh, that's how awesome. Meg's grandma uh, died got, in prison. Does they have a bingo? Bingo place here in town? <laughs> We, there are books around, right? We're library adjacent. Is that right? Yes, it's a reading room. So there Ugh. are select collections of more frequently referenced books mm -hmm. in this room. Uh, several comfortable. Oh, yeah, I wanted to read. Yes, yeah, several comfortable collections of chairs and tables. Um, is there a and pooping then, of course, corner adjacent for is the main library. Hmm? Where does Blaze poop in where here? Do, where does I'm just keeping an eye out I for the pooping would like corner. To know why? Where? She, just I feel like every room we need to be aware of where the most appropriate <laughs> place is. Well, remember you have to go outside anyway about every hour to make sure that SJ doesn't eat the stable boy mm -hmm. or no, random passersby. Nah, so true. I'm so assuming lovable. that you're <laughs> taking care of it out there. Thank okay. goodness we have SJ. Yes. Yeah, I know. What would we do without SJ? Um, Moro thinks so. <laughs> scenarios single faster, day. but it's fine. Don't worry about it. I have plans. Yo, have SJ plans. kept us safe in the otherworldly area that we yep. were in. Remember? Yeah, yeah, we rode. We rode. Yeah, SJ's we were forest. like Atreyu, or what was the dog's name? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the horse was Atreyu. No, 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 no the dog. Oh, Artex. Falcor. Artex. Oh, Falcor. Falcor. No, Falcor. Yeah. <laughs> Just so many good names. names. We'll get there. So we'll get there. Names. Fal Falcor is cute. Falcor that's two miles long. Yeah. Stop being cute. Falcor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Falcor who can just sneeze and accidentally, you know, crush you all to death is yeah, slightly but, terrifying. But or should it, be. You know. Yeah, yeah, and that's what had matters. The had the opportunity to kill us. It's true. All right, true. So, so we're doing stuff in this room, waiting, or are we just yep. waiting? Or it's entirely up to you. It's it's like when you were waiting for Khan to join you at the very beginning. 
if mm. you want to do stuff, do yeah. stuff. Otherwise, there's, there's no one to hit on in here, though. Mm -mm. Mm, yeah. I'm going to right? pretend to be very interested in these books to seem very intelligent. <laughs> I'll probably look around for things that aren't books. I'm sure there's something interesting in here. Oh, well, okay. there are pamphlets Ooh. and scrolls oh, and leaders. I'd like to read this book about all the religions. Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, you can read a book about the uh, indigenous religion of the Draithman people of Orland. Mm -hmm. uh, you can re we can read about the religious strife that happened when the folks from the south, the Falians from the south, introduced the <laughs> the Lamentine Church or the worship of the saints. That sounds so interesting. I'm you in. can read about. You can even read about in the notes the resurgence of the Ugh. worships of the worship of the Horned Lord, who was a traditional uh, deity up here in Orland, and how that might be tied to some of the purist beliefs. Yeah, yeah. there's. You can get real informed on. Uh, geopolitics really and religion. Informed. Fifteen people just unfollowed. Classes, so. Sure. Uh, as as far as shiny things, there's um, like magnifying glasses for uh, examining like fine inscriptions, etc. So there's a few shiny things. Ooh. Yeah, um, pro probably okay. The, there are um, luxifers, so the light is provided by etheric engine. Here, there's no open flame for probably obvious reasons. And in the center of the room, suspended from the ceiling, there go. is a there is a significantly no. larger thing that you now realize uh, recognize after having seen multiple iterations as some sort of etheric engine, uh, about mm, yay big, but suspended mm. from the ceiling. That's cool. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down with checking that thing out. I mean, it's too high, yeah. I assume, but I'm gonna stare at it for a while. You can stand on my shoulders. I can give you a boost. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe the other way around. You but, take you know. 24 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> and are crushed. And are crushed. The end. Uh, Get out. Rest in peace. No I one's mean, robbing anything. Put put bla put Blaze in a big hat and some high heels, and you might have a. Mm, I'm just saying. Because Blaze is pretty small. <laughs> and she does have a giant booty because it's like a horse. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just it's saying. Thick. This this very thick. We could take this in a very different direction. Uh, I suggest we don't, though. No. Don't no. do it, Meg. Don't sell her butthole for some money. No, it, it's. Please, you need please. my Hear butthole. Give me out. Hear me out. Me you out. need it. It's high enough. How that? If you wanted to, Blaze, you could lift Ghost up, and Ghost could. Wait, do you it. want to check it out? Oh yeah, I want to. I want to scan Bron up. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... not advocating you do it. Uh, I'm just sounds like advocation. Possible. I heard advocacy. Uh, yeah, I heard. It's, I it's heard not. That Someone brought up people standing on people's shoulders, and I wanted to make sure you understand the spacing. It is an option. It is something you can do. I I'm like options. You should I'm do. hearing something you should do. Yeah, and I heard a should. I heard the word should, and I'm ready. Yeah, I'm gonna yes. agree. Surrounded by don't and not, but that's fine. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I don't do the reading. I don't thing. hear those yeah. words. I don't I, I, hear you're those you're cutting out words. on me. I can't hear the <laughs> words negatives, are yeah. hard. Words are hard. I read, I read between the words. <laughs> All right. So Blaze, you're you're gonna lift Ghost up. Yes, of course I will. Into the center of the room. Yeah. And of I'm course, do that. anyone who walks in on you will see this. But you know, whatever, it's fine. It's um, the thing we do. Yeah. And what would you like to do, Ghost, now that you are up in... I mean, it's still a little bit above you, but so you're not like quite at eye level with it, but you're close enough to examine it. Um, I don't have a whole... My character doesn't seem like... I know a whole lot about like something in particular, like history or anything like that, or mechanics or anything. So, And I don't think I would. So I would just go with the... I'd like, just like to investigate it, see if yeah. I can see if there's any symbols that are jumping out at me or like... Yeah. Is it like cold to the touch or something? Anything yeah. like that? Yep, yeah. sure. Uh, so Take your you time, are, ghost. You, you are in fact touch you are in fact <laughs> touching it. I just roll it in real life. Sorry. Yeah. Um that is an 18 plus 5, 23. Okay, so there are no writings on the outside. Mm -hmm. Um but it does give off it it feels room temperature. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, So it doesn't appear to be giving off any heat, but you can sense uh, a hum from Mm -hmm. within it. And if you, I mean, that's a pretty high roll. If you put your fingertips on it, you can feel a slight vibration. So it appears to be active. Okay. Um, the, the thing that's holding it up, is it like, uh, is it like a, what, the equivalent of like a power cable or is it just like some string? Uh, all, no, or? all you can see is a, a thick kind of, uh, bronze or brass. Uh, okay. It's stanchion or something. Yeah. Okay. Pole. And you don't know what, what's in it. Sorry. What was the hand symbol for the thick bronze or brass stanchion again? Jeez. I missed it. <laughs> I don't get it. A trap door opens and port, port falls is into down bad. It is gone forever. <laughs> Port's down bad. Okay. Um, I give I give a little tap, tippy tap on uh, Blaze's. Oh, okay. Um, hands to put me down. Okay. I thought you were doing this. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it would it would serve you right, but no. Uh, it it would it would appear that, uh, given your mindset, you mm-hmm. suspect that given enough time, you could probably get it loose. Yeah. Um, and given your experience with the Luxifers in Dorian, you mm-hmm. know that there's not like power cables. They are self-contained. Mm-hmm. So you think if you could get it loose from that pole, you could take it. I mean, it's this big and mm-hmm. metal, so it's probably heavy. But if you wanted to steal it off the ceiling, you probably could, is given the right down? circumstances. Or is it welded? Uh, you can probably see that it is attached by bolts at the ceiling. So the, the pole is probably Grandma's somehow attached to the, the Christmas sphere. tree. Sure. That's fine. Um, glad, I, glad you don't know what it does. I have no clue. I describe it to, uh, I describe it to Blaze and see if she has any idea. I, I, I just didn't want to spend too much time up there looking at it. So that way when it goes missing, they don't think it was the random people they let in. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Wasn't us. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh so yes, uh you describe it to Blaze. I'm sure Blaze is just mm-hmm. wrapped as you describe. Oh, it looks like it has an 18 centimeter band around it. I wonder if that can be worked loose. Um eventually I assume you finish your investigation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mirth, uh, you are you are deeply involved in Volume A through F of the Encyclopedia of Ancient Dead Religions. We can pop that bad boy out later. Anything else anyone is doing? I'm uh, reading. That was reading. the shiniest thing. It doesn't. It was the shiniest thing that existed. It doesn't seem terribly interesting to me. I mean, at least. the magnifying glasses are probably shinier because they're brass and glass. Yeah, but, yeah. But there's it, other stuff in the area that does lens? not. That does yeah, not require glasses. ghost. Getting on my shoulders, so. <laughs> may I may I swipe one of the magnifying lens? Yes. Do you mind if your allies see you doing it, or I are you just going to take it? Okay, you just stick it in your purse. Cool. Yeah. You're awesome. Nice. Uh, what is what is your sleight of hand bonus? Uh, sleight of hand is a plus six. Yeah, I'm going to say unless anyone's like at actively watching, probably no one notices. So now you have put a magnifying glass in your um, in your inventory. I'm sure they won't. I'm sure they won't notice it's missing. It's it's probably worth a decent amount of money. Mm-hmm. They're not easy to make, and it's fine quality. You can tell the the lens is is absolutely clear. Cool. Anything else shenanigans people want to get up to or? Yeah, I'm just looking at all the shiny stuff. Okay, so um, Con will kind of hustle back in and oh good uh you're still here i i i don't know why i thought you would not be here i mean obviously i just left you here um sorry that that took a little bit longer than i intended i had to give um had to give some detailed reports i hope you don't mind i i kind of kind of had to fill them in on you guys um anise wasn't super excited about the idea of me promising a bunch of money and potentially employment with a society for people she had never met before. So I kind of had to, I kind of had to channel mirth and do a little bit of a solid job. I think I did okay though. Um, she, she's, she's now super interested in, in meeting you all and, and getting a sense of, of who you are. Um, and, and, and yes, um, you will be paid. So don't worry that that part's for sure taken care of. Um, but I think she just wants to interview you guys before she decides to, 
actually kind of make you um, technically society employees. Does that make sense? So wait, you lied to us? No. I, I just feel like that's that was the TLDR there. Did, did I miss something? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't run the society. So, but told us we could have whatever we wanted. Like yeah. you did run it. <laughs> no, I told you you could have whatever you thought was fair, and that we have lots of money and stuff. Oh my gosh, this guy! I don't know. Yeah. If I can, uh... He is high <laughs> intelligence and remembers exactly the things that he said, and he is being completely honest. Huh. The only weird thing he promised was the bathtub full of gold marks coins. I have no memory of meeting this man to begin with, so honestly, <laughs> kind of weird. it's like you heard about him somewhere yeah. or read about him somewhere, but you don't remember any details. Yeah, makes good like sense. The, the grand I don't, That's fine. I'm. I feel a certain way about you now, though. I think you should know that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm kind of spoken for, but I, I really, <laughs> no, I, I feel, I, I, I feel a negative way about you as hi. someone I respected. Is all I'm saying. Because I feel like be you were deceitful. Okay. Well, you, if you would like to roll uh, a intelligence check or something, you can see if you remember that he's actually telling you more or less exactly what he told you before. Okay. But still wording it like that, that's deceitful. That's deceit by wording things. <laughs> deceit by words. Deceit by words, exactly. The interpretation I got, that I made up about the things that you mirth. said is not the same. Listen, look out for my plate, okay? It's my pizza plate. Don't look at it. Okay. Um, so I, had, I, had pizza I had pizza too. It was real good. <laughs> I was going to cook a whole meal, and then it like got too close to D&D &D time, and I was like, nah, I just, just a pizza. You can do intelligence to remember, or you can do insight to read him. It's your choice. Okay, so 13, my intelligence is... <laughs> Listen, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> Why do you think I'm reading, okay? Um, no, it's plus zero. Yeah. Completely Yikes. average. So just 13, then, I guess. Um. Yeah, you recall, as he repeats the words, you recall those are the words that he used. Still feel like we got got. I'm just saying. <laughs> Poor Khan. He has done nothing but be nice to you guys. But that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, he's probably still too kind of excited and rattled to pick up on it. So you, you say things and he's just like, okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, uh, he will escort you downstairs to the first floor, then into what looks to be a coat closet uh, from the outside. But when he opens it up, it's actually uh, a little vestibule that goes into a double wide set of stairs, stone stairs that go down into uh, a lower floor. Uh, and as he's, I mean, he's tour guiding you out along the entire way. It's like, oh, that vase over there is from the Illyrian Islands and blah, blah, blah. You know, stuff that you probably don't care about. Uh, but he will explain as he leads you down into the subfloor that um, they intentionally purchased real estate in a, you know, more or less residential district because they didn't want to make their presence super duper obvious or ostentatious. Um, and that this was one that had a sub, uh, several sub subterranean levels, which is why they bought it. And they've spent most of their uh, time here renovating those for defensive purposes and also just to have room to operate. So he will lead you down into uh, what is effectively a kind of tight warren of hallways and rooms uh, to the end of one of the hallways to a kind of grand mahogany door that he will kind of knock on. And you hear a, a muffled voice from the inside saying, enter. And he opens the door to a stately office um, that is also filled with books. Uh, the books themselves, however, appear to be chained. So they have uh, brass crossbars across each of the rows and they appear to be locked and chained. So perhaps these are more sensitive tomes or perhaps a private collection that the owner doesn't want everyone to just come and borrow. Uh, seated at a desk facing the door is, you presume, the owner. 
she is well the first thing you notice about her is her horns uh twinsies hmm ebony black with a slight spiral okay not twinsies dark Aww. dark almost blue black hair se severe and straight uh inky blue skin like you can tell it's blue but it's almost black eyes that are glossy but likewise kind of a almost an iridescent black like um like the back of a beetle that has just a little bit of a shimmer of like blue and green and purple on it uh this is a tiefling mm. uh which you likely you would know about and you might have seen one or two of but they are quite uncommon in orland uh and she is in a, a rather plain kind of dark gray charcoal folded over robe uh and she is busy looking through a sheaf of papers um as he ushers you in uh and she looks up and says ah connell you're dismissed i'd like to speak to your friends please and he yes and then as he walks out, he goes, uh, that, this is this is Anish. She's our executor. She's um, she's kind of in charge, so be nice to her, okay? Um, and then he'll kind of leave the room, shut the door very softly. Uh, she won't rise, but she will kind of gesture for you all to be seated. There's like a poof uh, and a couple of chairs. And uh, I mean, you can make yourself, uh, Blaze, you probably will need to stand unless you want to kind of lay down on the ground. No, I'll but, stand. What was the okay. first thing you said, a poof? Yeah, poof. I'm going for the poof. What's yeah, poof? it's perfect for you. An ottoman, basically. Oh, like okay. A big ottoman. Mm -hmm. So, Connell tells me that you are highly skilled and that without your help, he would not have been successful with his mission. I'm interested to hear your perspective. I also understand that you wish to formalize your allegiance with the society. Connell is in favor of this. I can see no reason to object, but I would prefer to hear from you what it is that you feel you have to contribute and gain from such an arrangement. Milady. Uh, I am Portmanteau, and these are my friends. She, she will shuffle through a sheaf of papers and pull one out and look at it yes and we are happy to have been at sir been in service to you uh it was a great pleasure and honor for all of us right guys <laughs> she, she she'll work her way down a list and make a check mark next to an item what did you check what did she check what did she check you don't know you can't see the paper <laughs> but as as failing yeah, as you as you you know go about your shtick, she kind of goes, "Oh yeah, it's right here." What do you mean shtick? What do you mean shtick? I was just saying your hello. Per your personality. <laughs> oh shit, my entire personality is a shtick. It, it is. Oh, Let's surprise. face it. Surprise. <laughs> Come on. The whole thing. I tell you about your name, but <clears throat> just like trope from here to here. But that's fine. Um, are you attempting to uh, charm and impress her? Yeah. Uh, well, but yeah, but that's my shtick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, well, let's see how persuasive you are. <laughs> I'm getting ready to uh, come out. That's and actually disadvantage. Not, persuasion <laughs> is no, it's not, 16. Not, not, not oh, 16. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, she will make another check mark, <laughs> like maybe to the item directly beneath the one that she checked. Yes. I I give I do a little check mark like my hand is paper and I'm like check. She will make a third check <laughs> on an item. Uh, she'll kind of. It's hard to tell. It's it's unnerving to speak to her because uh, her eyes lack any sort of visible iris or white. Mm -hmm. You can tell her head is facing towards you, but you lose some of the context of like her eye expression because it's a solid orb. But she does kind of. Check she something else at the bottom of the list. Shoot. I give but uh, somehow she finds a way to. I give Ghost a thumbs up, uh, like we did it, bud. Yes, excellent, excellent. I like excellent. Anise. I like Anise. We're on the same page. 
What do you like? Anise. Oh, I think it's pronounced What's her name. Anise. It's Anise. It's oh, fine. Okay. So, and what about you, um, Blaze? Is it? Yes. Hello. Uh, I, you know, as as uh, uncouth as Port was, we are we are. Uh, she smiles a bit, and you can see right. two very sharp incisors. We are her we very are, bright white teeth. We are here to, uh, I guess, as as you as you said it, uh, be employed by you. Uh, we're happy to we're happy to help you in any adventures uh, that we're needed for. Yes, tell me a bit about your facility for creating disruptions in the etheric field. My understanding is, and she looks at the piece of paper that you have some sort of inborn metaphysical talent which results in etheric disruption tied to your emotional state. I understand it is anger or rage and that the results are somewhat unpredictable. They're unpredictable, but very useful. So, uh, yes. Uh, what is it What is it you, you want to know? I, I don't really talk about it very much. I am curious, is this a feature of your family? Uh, it it's uh it's, honestly i don't know i i've never really questioned it it's just been part of my life uh so likely a unique occurrence interesting and you ghost i assume that's not your given name but from my understanding of your situation it makes sense that you would choose a generic moniker I'm okay with ghost or grandma at the moment. Yes. Things kind of get a little hazy sometimes, you know, with the old age. It's still, but. Yes, yes. Well, you are a gestalt entity, so it is quite reasonable to understand that you might find yes. Bless moment to moment memory somewhat distressing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you too wish to serve or assist. No one here serves except for yeah. me. No. Um, I'm. I can tell by my surroundings that you guys have a lot of money, and I am happy to work for a lot of money, or a little bit of money, uh, either. Are, really, are all the aspects of your consciousness likewise motivated by pecuniary gains? Wow, I would wager yes, but not guarantee that. Hmm, interesting. But I also like to gamble, you know, slots. Hmm. So she'll 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 write a few new things on the on a sheet of paper. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Mirth. Yes. Very interested in your opinion of the <laughs> potential of an allegiance with between your group and our society. Um <clears throat> you know, I mean, it seems like it might be uh, an interesting adventure. I guess my question is, when you say allegiance, how, how, what, can you define <laughs> how, what you think allegiance is? She does Just have a lot of books quick. here. We could probably get a definition. I'm, Webster's I'm dictionary. Trying, she'll, yeah. she'll, she'll pull out a giant key, <laughs> unlock one of the things and pull out a dictionary and spin it around and tap one of her long talon-like fingers. I, I, I'm down. Listen, I mean, this is killing I'm just it. saying, like, I'm I'm cool with I'm kind of like ghost, you know. I'm cool with working where the where the money goes and where my friends go and all that. But I just I you know I just don't know where I am the, the, with my you know I just I don't know about like yes, giving you seem spiritual very... allegiance to anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, you seem conflicted. I mean, I just am not ready to yes. make those decisions yet in my life, if that makes sense. Well, if it helps you, when I say allegiance, I mean only that interests are aligned and resources and information are shared. Okay, fair. I could get down with that. I believe you have met Delphine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We met Delphine. Suffice it to say that she herself has had at times worked with the society and when it became clear that our interest did not align she freely left our employ 
I understand that she sought you out as a way of circumventing certain restrictions that prevented her from acting against Connell. Is that correct? <clears throat> Are we being honest here, folks? Are we just telling her stuff? Is I this, mean, it this... seems uh, it seems <laughs> like she's not down with Delphine anymore. So I was probably safe. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally, we didn't even know Khan. Oh, and uh, and we really were just talking to Delphine, you know. And she, and I'm like, I kind of like him, known as someone who can get things. And she was like, "Can you try this thing?" And I was like, "We could check it out." But yeah, we kind of felt better about helping Connell than Delphine because uh, Delphine, Delphine seemed like, seemed she, like wanted she wanted to start, to start some violence. And mute yourself. We kind of tend, to, tend go to go the non-violent non -violent route if we can, you know. Hmm. Yes, that's for sure. Well, is that is that say. true though? Uh, yeah, we're uh, we were, we were have pretty ready Blaze? for violence. We were ready for violence. I've got to be honest. Wait, when? I felt pretty good about not being terribly violent, but we had dead bodies. I mean, we did. The dog, that's not violence. We did. I mean, we did a good job avoiding violence, but like, oh, yeah. we, it was kind of a Hail Mary. Well, uh, good job, us. Yeah, avoiding look at violence. us avoiding violence uh, because it was convenient. You killed a unicorn. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, <laughs> it was an undead. It was an undead unicorn. unicorn. Yeah, it cried black liquid. Like yeah. there were, it had, it was good. It was and gonna it die. Was glad it was like thank you. Yeah, when it left. Wait, what? It was like thank you. When did yeah, it say I that? I didn't tell you guys that. I didn't when hear did that part. That? <laughs> Marissa? Yeah. Oh my bad. So when the, <laughs> <laughs> turns out I could speak this language, and this person <laughs> left this body of the unicorn and was like, thank you. <laughs> Mirth, she's so, making so many checks right now. You just need to stop talking. <laughs> okay, all right. Good call, Port. My bad. Oh, don't let me interrupt you. My time is limitless. I don't think oh, she's being. Be nice. uh, I don't think she's being serious when she says her no, time I is think limitless. She's being serious. I want to do an insight she check. Is like she being endless. serious? Uh, seventeen. Uh, no. Yeah, no, she's she, not being she, serious. But she's not being super mean. It's almost like she's just a sarcastic person mm -hmm. oh okay she knows that we're like very okay. clearly insecure <laughs> like she's clearly we're all really super insecure about she's, how she's she probably about us. she's probably enjoying the interplay <laughs> and the fact that you're providing her lots of insight into how you operate and who you are we're basically <laughs> just a pack of jokers like Listen, making our way money okay uh just pay us and we can use our stuff. I mean, We're to be fair, trying to show a tough exterior. we got some lady whose only discernible ability is to withhold the truth and shoot arrows out of a, or bolts out of a crossbow. We got a horse lady that poops everywhere. And we got some crazy little person over there that steals everything. Like, we're not, ex we're a bit of a ragtag group, but we get it done. We get it we done. We get stuff done. But also, you should yeah. probably have some sawdust down on the floor. I'm just saying. Uh, she'll flip to the back of one of the pieces of paper and mark another thing off. <laughs> yes. Uh... Well. Suffice it to say that we are shorthanded at the moment. Yes. Um, well, and we're in. We have and... the job. High five. And... The fact that you were able to circumvent Delphine, uh, and I assume she made you a very generous offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did. it was a lot yes. of it was a lot of gold marks, mm -hmm. but we Lots decided to do the right thing. Gold. Yes, I would I would hold that as a mark in your favor. Uh, beware of her; she mm -hmm. is most single minded. But is she single? That's what Port wants to know. Hey, but, um, hey, high five hey. over here. Give me a high five. Um, <laughs> Anise will smile a very cold, wicked smile, and her eyes will narrow, and you can see her fangs. She and she'll say, nice. okay. she is now 
Oh. 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 Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Drama llama! What? Oh. I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, but in, okay. But intrigued. But also, intrigued, I have yeah. to admit. Okay. Just be cautious. All right. She That's cannot fair. direct. She cannot directly act against. There are restrictions on the ways that she can act against the interests of the society due to a pact. With you, see, you my directly? People, uh, you see, my people are also known for our ability to bind others with pacts. Who do you think the Fae learned it from? Mm. Pirates. Mm. But mm. as with any pact given enough time and exigent circumstances, they can be <sighs> elided to some degree. So be cautious. She it's is a, quite dangerous. It's a big word. Can I see that dictionary again? Uh, She'll e flip to an E. <laughs> Avoided, but not entirely. Skirted around. Oh, circumnavigated. Oh, yeah, loopholes. I got you. She, she will... Mm, sure. <laughs> Why didn't you just say go around? She, she'll, she'll flip to she'll flip to the list of everyone's intelligence in descending order. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, my bad. I should have expected I mean, that. To one. be fair, none of us have higher than a ten, right? No, we're all nope, real nope. Early. Ghost has a twelve. Oh no, shit. Okay, Grandma. Ghost is the genius. Okay. Ghost is the C plus content oh, over here. Got it. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Yes, you guys are are not the brain trust, but that's okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> so, because some of you are very strong and some of you are very charismatic and some of you are very sneaky and some of you are poor. So you've got a lot going on for you. Anyway. I also understand that you made the acquaintance of one of our Lord Mayors on your way into town. Yes, we did. The AD guy. I don't remember his name ever, but it's an A and then a B. Yeah, Darvell. We Wait, were gonna whoa, hang out with him tonight. Is that bad? That's just a D. Where's the A? Arcturus, whatever. Athros. 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 I, I liked. I liked him. Should we trust? Uh, should we trust him? Can we he go seemed to his nice. I, wanna, I want to. I want to trust him. It's desirable. I like his style. Yeah. I, I recommend treating trust as a precious commodity, in general. However. Hell yeah, yeah. But I mean, I like to share my precious commodities. Got, yeah, he's got Whoa. style. Whoa. Something we we severely lack here. <laughs> yeah, he had pizzazz, you know. Star quality. We don't, we don't get any pizzazz he anymore. He said us. Uh, he said a couple big words. We were entranced. Yeah, and then there was like some movements and walking, and it was, I was in. I want to jump his bones. <laughs> No, I just want to hang out with him. He seems real cool. Port wants to. We feel like we could learn a lot. We feel like we could learn a lot from, uh, from him. I will consider you provisionary members of our society. Clearly, you, you are not prepared to be agents. You, I assume, have... No understanding whatsoever of natural philosophy or any of its principles. Do I, though? I, I find it difficult to believe no. that any of you have read a text on metaphysics. So, um, however, Ooh. have you? How about you're reading about religion? Uh, okay. Uh, however, I will let you make uh, an arcana check. Ooh, let me do because that. Because you do know some stuff I that you picked stuff. up. If you want to impress her with your knowledge of the arcane, you may do so. Oh, good luck. I rolled a four. <laughs> I got you B with the five. Oh, All right. No. So, You're so Mer says, Mer says, magic's neat. Oh, uh, hold on. I got a 16. What? Interesting. What, what is it that you, what do you think you say? Just give me a little bit of a seed and I can craft it into something. Uh, Let's hear this barbarian. Let's go. I, <laughs> um... <laughs> I I want to say a little bit more about uh, my experience with the wild search and and my rage. Yes, let's say that you describe. You're able to describe in in very kind of great detail what happens and how it feels, and we'll say that you also described 
the similar feelings that you encountered at the etheric eddy and when you were actually yes. traversing the etheric yeah. to provide, which, which would be very interesting detail to her. Uh, and particularly since Khan was in neither location, not something that he would have been able to report. And she will look at you kind of consideringly. Well, what you lack in learning is clearly made up for by your ability to observe and report faithfully. This is a skill I, in particular, appreciate. And then she'll kind of look at you guys and whatever. So, I mentioned that we were shorthanded. <laughs> One last question. What have you been able to deduce about what is happening? About the nature of this artifact that Khan has brought us? And the nature of the entity that we believe wants it back? Mirth. I feel this one. <laughs> yeah. That would be Im impressions and suspicions are sufficient. I'm just curious about your deductive yeah, I, capabilities. I would I would defer to Mirth on that. Um, for sure. I would say that this is definitely a fae spirit. I feel like spirit. What makes you think a spirit? Um, like a um, because it can be in your dreams and in your head, and it can and you know like getting other bodies like the bodies of unicorns and stuff and it i'm pretty certain it has some packs that it's coming back to get like you know some uh some return on feels like a fae queen upset with us hmm. you know what i mean well you're not entirely wrong okay good we don't believe however she's a spirit <laughs> Clear. Oh, you think that she's like an actual uh, energy, like an actual ethereal being thing stuff? Oh, we think she's quite physical and alive. Oh, like tangible, physical, concrete? Yes. Oh. I, I can see you have very little understanding of how the Fae work. It's true. Uh, I'm not one. I don't know what they're like. Uh, and she, she, you can't tell... But as she says, I see you have very little understanding of how the Fae work. It's almost like she leans a little bit closer to you and raises an eyebrow. Oh, no. How does this lady know everything? How did she know all the things? Oh, I'm scared. How does this... Wait, does Port notice? I'm really into finding out when Port finds out. Maybe. I mean, she's not... She's not saying anything overt, nor is she attempting to hide her facial expression. I uh, got a 17 on perception. Or would it be insight? Either way, it's the same thing. Insight. Uh, yeah, she's clearly giving a look to Mirth. You probably... Uh, it, it seems suspicious, but you probably don't have the context to, like, interpret it. Might go in the notebook. I wrote it down. I write it down in my notebook. <laughs> my actual notebook. <laughs> she sees you write it in her notebook, and she pulls up her. It's like, ha ha. <laughs> I'll make a note too. How dare you try to un uh, one up me with your notebook? Come on. Anyway, how may we, we be of help? I guess is where we, we're at. When we began to suspect that there was Fey involvement uh, and began to deduce some of the nature of the stone itself, we researched our libraries and found reference to a lost part of Alternest, part of the oldest parts of the city from when Alternest was part of Cal the Fis, the Elven Empire from millennia ago. Um, due to the undying nature of a royalty, we thought it might be possible to locate this crypt or shrine and see if any knowledge or wisdom had survived. The alternative would be to send expeditionary forces into Moret itself, which is extraordinarily dangerous and not our preference. Uh, frankly, uh, that would be a good way to get everyone that we care about killed very, very quickly. We did send a small expeditionary force uh, but they have not returned, and we presume them to be lost somewhere beneath the city. 
we have a general sense of the location where we think this shrine might be, but we don't know exactly. You have proven yourselves to be more than capable in dealing with a variety of threats. I propose to use those skills and perhaps your unfortunate connection to one of our Lord Mayors as a way of gaining access to the shrine and I seeing if any information there is relevant. <laughs> we had we are we have been in negotiations with Lord Mayor Kelvin, who is, by, for all intents and purposes, the only legitimate holder of that title in Aldernest, um, thinking that he might be able to provide us with access to the Undercity. However, the political situation has changed, and it appears that Darvell may be more capable of satisfying our immediate needs. So yes, if you wish to hang out with this person, by all means do so. But please do so as a means to an end, the end being to secure access to the Undercity, to travel to the location which we will share with you, and she pulls over a sheaf of papers. Record any information that you find there, deal with any threats that might make it difficult for me to send more skilled scholars to the location and see if we can glean any clues about the nature of our enemy and whatever pact they may have that binds them to this place. Do that and your provisional status will be upgraded. Oh, see the bursar for 2,000 gold marks each. Yes, mommy. <laughs> any questions? Uh... Can we, can you put Could, that, can you write that down for us? Because, you know, it seems like days go by in between, uh, uh adventures. She always had a hard she, time she, track of time. She would just stare right at you and rip off half of a piece of paper and just keep looking at you. She's not looking at, she just writes out bullet point, big block text, mm -hmm. very easy to read, just writes <laughs> out. Do this, this. Perfect. do this, this is great. Do this. Yes, this is amazing. Thank yeah. you. This is what we need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, if there will be nothing else, Blaze, Ghost, Mirth. Oh, Actually, sorry. Mirth, would you wait outside for a moment? Blaze and Ghost, oh, feel free yeah. to, feel free, Khan will show you to the bursar. I'd like to leave a little a Werther's on her desk and say something sweet for someone sweet. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Yeah! <laughs> Good, because I have a plus zero. 19. She will... She is disarmed. <laughs> she will... She doesn't pick it up because... Ugh, I mean, she's got she's got super sharp teeth. It's going to get caught in there. Yeah, it's uh, gross. But it's clear that she is momentarily disarmed by your gesture of kindness. <laughs> and she will say, thank you. Enjoy your, enjoy your reward. Appreciate that, because I feel like I'm about to get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Mirth, you are asked to wait outside. Khan is no, kind of I down the it. hall. Khan is down the hall. Uh, he will show... Uh, Ghost and Blaze up stairs to uh, where the bursar can provide your cut of the earnings. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm sure you're anxious to join your friends, Port. Uh, okay. I have a question for you. For me? Yes. Okay. Where do your powers come from? Uh, that's a great question. It's from studying with the, the, the priests and the monks uh, when I did all my paladin training. How was it you were selected for that training? I believe that the friar said something about natural aptitude. 
I think yes. it's because mustache. When you were a child, that is most impressive. Yeah. Or a hormonal imbalance that you should probably get it seen to. <laughs> so you truly believe that your ability to see through darkness, your ability to heal, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all these mm -hmm. things come to you through training. Uh, well, I mean, some divine power flowing through me through the, my ability and study of, uh, you know, paladinly arts. Yeah. It's weird That's though, bad. because it seems That's like bad. other paladins can't always do the things I do, but you know, I don't like to think about stuff too much. Well, perhaps you should. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and she will look. Maybe she will look time. through you. It's like she's speaking not to the outside of you, but in like deeper into your mind. I mean, she's not doing anything magical, but it, she leans forward and speaks. It will not always do for the shell to disguise the truth. One of these things must break. Pray that it is the shell. You're dismissed. Please show in, Marth. Like a sunflower seed. Ashante. <laughs> yes. I leave. And you probably promptly forget what she said. She's saying something about shells and eggs. I don't know. But it's fine. Marth, come in. There's no need to be afraid, dear. Okay. Please make yourself comfortable. Not possible. What can I do for you? <laughs> I want to help you. Okay. And she pulls something out of her desk. It actually looks familiar. Uh, when you first left Dorian, uh, a group of customs inspectors had a witch glass that they used to detect the presence of magical items and other active spell effects. This one is much smaller and it's covered in finely etched filigree, clearly a refined, expensive version. And she touches it as soon as she touches it, or even before she touches it, it begins to glow. Like in, in the areas that are nearest her fingers and then she touches it and the entire thing begins to glow, kind of a bluish green, soft, color and then she sets it down on the on her desk in front of you you are conflicted i understand this i understand difficulty reconciling one's nature with what society tells you about what that nature means for myself i am no more inherently evil then an ASMR might be inherently good. Frankly, in my experience, those who are unquestioning about their own righteousness are much more likely to do truly dreadful things in the name of what is right. Suffice it to say, I recognize some of myself in you. How can I help you resolve your conversation? I don't know, because my internet cut out. <laughs> Mirth just Wait, stopped paying what attention. Say? What did you say? Mirth just stopped just paying all, attention. all pixelated for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, my internet was bad. She it was really good. Yes, she shared that. I'll just try to repeat it. It was really good. I, like you, <laughs> have struggled with reconciling my nature with what society tells me that nature means. I have learned that I am no more inherently evil than an ASMR might be inherently good. And frankly, those without self-knowledge and those who blindly accept their own righteousness are much more dangerous than those that struggle and come to reconcile the otherness within. 
I recognize that struggle in you, child, and wish to help you. How can I help you resolve your conflict? Um, I don't know because I don't, I can't see doing what I'm doing and enjoying what I'm doing without sometimes having to mask who I am, if that makes sense. Oh, yes. Look at me. I don't walk Fair. freely without disguise. <laughs> Fair <city>. play. <laughs> but you're saying, so you're saying what? It's that not, the, it's not the conflict between yourself and society's expectations external to you that is the challenge, child. It is the conflict within... No, are, I like, feel are, like, no, you go, no, you go. I believe that there are two truths about you, and you must choose one. Okay, well, if I'm going to have to choose between being like, rah, I'm all powerful and I don't care about anybody because I'm like, you know, just like delving into like, you know, whatever. Or if I could be like, I don't know, I'm struggling here. And here's why. Because I want to be powerful and because i want to be in charge and because i want to do all those things but by the same token i know that i'm not necessarily the best person to be those things and i kind of am really good at what i do now and i kind of just like being chill and like hanging out with my friends you know i don't know if i want to accept that much responsibility and if i want to live that particular life because I'm kind of having a good time just flying under the radar and like doing my thing. I understand. Take it from one who knows. Your nature is much deeper than you think. And if left unconfronted, it can betray you. Okay. So how can you help me? Are you going to teach me the ways Perhaps of like that is... yielding the true me while also being chill? I am no spiritual teacher, child. Oh, dang. Do you but know I can't, I can't <laughs> offer you my, I can't offer you my friendship and my counsel. Fair. I'm down. Uh, we take the class. You're Consider cool. it a gift. What? No way. This is nuts. Isn't this like real nice? Yeah. Did you pick it up? Yeah, I'm taking oh, it. Oh, it glows. Oh no! Everybody knows. I get it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm taking it. This thing's awesome. Yep. Yep. Um. After Can I you hide it in in my robes, or is it like glow glow? Uh, it's it's only about this big. Okay. Uh, so and it's not like super duper bright. Yes. Okay. Yep. 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 Cool. Yep. Um. Oh. She will pull out a, a single glove made of some sort of fine. It's shimmery, so you can't quite tell what the material is made of. But it's uh, you might need this if you want to use it around others. Oh, gotcha. Good looking out. Okay. Yes. Like and perhaps, perhaps when you return, we can speak more. Now, Sounds good. I have a mountain of paperwork to see to, so... Thank you. Hey, thanks. See Bye. the bursar. See the bursar. And please report back on your progress with the that, Lord Mayor. Can I get that dictionary? No, I'm just kidding. The bursar is the guy that takes the money, right? This is a limited edition. There's a, there's a mass market paperback one upstairs you can borrow. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good day. Now go. Cool. So you make your way up, you find the rest. Uh, there is a uh, very, very old human man who um, is hauling some sort of case and he pulls it into, like sets it on a big parquet table uh, after adjusting some doilies to make sure he doesn't scar the surface. Uh, puts it on top, opens it up, and it's full of banknotes. And he will count out 2,000 gold marks for each of you. Noise. So put Dude, those on your rich. Yeah. Well, you're not rich. I mean, rich for me. Um, 
uh, you can, uh, I, this is something that I'm sure my ghost, it would occur to ghost. Go ahead and give me a perception, I guess. Perception. Uh, ooh, <laughs> that's a nine. <laughs> well, you think there's somewhere between 50 and 100,000 marks worth of currency in that box? <laughs> but you're, you can't, like, it could be more, it could be less. When you when you say he's an old man, like I don't want to say like the first my first thought is to like jump him, but like <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said we got a thousand gold marks? Two thousand, two thousand each. Each. Two thousand gold marks? They, he's got yes. like a hundred K in that box. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but I'm just happy with this two thousand. Right? Do I'm I perceive like, what, what's place. going on I'm in Grandma's brain? Spending. No, I don't. Let's go get some food and some clothes. Yeah, you are not, cur you are not currently clothes. connected to Grandma's brain. However, like, you do. You can make an insight check to get a sense of what Grandma's thinking. Yeah, no, I rolled a two. Grandma's it's not. Right now. Unless it's very overt. <laughs> Grandma just starts twitching. <laughs> like you're about to summon the blade. All the right. old man is nearly blind. He, he can't hardly see. He just kind of says, and this one goes out to the view. All right. This one goes, okay. All right, then him, have fun. I don't, he, I'm nervous. That dude will absolutely murder me in my sleep. Like, be like nah. one of those things where they look like they're real frail, but then you do something and they're like, bah, bah, and you're like on fire. It's like some <laughs> weird tentacle <laughs> beast. He's actually a mummy. Your face. Yeah, I, true. There's like a reason that that guy's in charge of the money. You know what yeah, I mean? You, yeah. you don't just walk around with a hundred. Like, look at this place. No, uh, uh if the rest of the group isn't in on the stealing from the old man, I'm not stealing from the old Yo, man. I'm, I'm not going to go. <laughs> man. That's very away. smart. That that's how a twelve intelligence works, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't, takes a I while to wind around man. to the logical <laughs> conclusion, but it gets there eventually. <laughs> Good job. All right. So, uh, it is now four bells. You have a bunch of money. Let's go shopping. You have a mission. Ah. Uh. Let's go shopping. Close? And then go to lunch. How many more bells until we're supposed to be at dinner? Four. Four more bells? Then there is an eight bells. You don't know where. I want to go get a really cool outfit. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm... Like, look cute. Aren't we going is to that... like, a party? Or are we just saying hi to somebody? Like, what You are don't to? know. He literally said... We should We should be dressed up for this. Come see me at eight bells. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we, we should be dressed look nice? to the nines. Yeah, I think we should look nice. Oh, um, Blaze wants to go all out. I'm in. Yeah. If Blaze says let's do it. I'm let's like, okay, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, petties. Are they gonna? Is there gonna be enough time to have a centaur outfit made for you? In Listen, no, I'll not. dress the top. I'll dress the top half. The bottom half right. is just, you know, it's just gonna be it there. Is what it is. You're okay. pretty. Yeah. You can lay a skirt on. Your a nice body. tablecloth. Yes, uh... you're, you're probably gonna you're gonna be limited to ready to wear, right? Yeah, uh, getting yeah, something custom yeah. tailored. Mm -hmm. Okutur is not gonna happen in four hours. However, uh, I'm I, I'm sure that since you know this town like the back of your hand, you know exactly where to go. So I'm interested to see how long it takes you to find a place. I, I know this town. Worker. Listen, Port knows where the haberdasher is. Nope. And has been here. Yeah. Nope. I, you said I was here when I was in the military. No, you, you said you were here. No, you said and you I helped was liberate here the town. One. And I said, nope. You were like, <laughs> when you were in the army, you went and traveled around. You were you met people from Ravo and you have been to Ravo, which is a very different town. Is this not a completely Raveau? other part of the town? This is not we're not. Of course, in this Raveau isn't Ravo. Oh, Ravo. Yes. Oh, Ravo is a very, very, very large metropolitan city okay well it shouldn't be hard for us to locate uh okay, excuse well, me I... sir Wh what's his name bentley bentley where <laughs> do we go for the ladies and myself and maybe ghost to find a nice Someone outfit maybe. where where's the district the haberdasher district uh well i i uh, my wife used to like to go to fan service to Nierders. Oh, Nierders. Yes. That place sounds. I heard about Nierders. That place sounds not like 
not very fancy. Like maybe yeah. they just. Oh no! It's, it's, it's no. Every time you get a shirt there, it's not as long as it should be. Like they just. <laughs> it's just all crop tops. <laughs> the crop top emporium. That's but perfect crop, for Blaze. Yeah. Crop right. tops are are that's it's is that that's the, the whole thing this is season? It, yeah. Is it leather? Are there straps? I'm down. Well, uh, if you're looking for something to wear soon, Nerdus probably has something interesting. I don't really know. It's been a while. My wife died, oh, 20 years ago now. Oh, that's a really long time. Okay, well, but the order is still around. <laughs> oh, where, okay. where exactly? She, she, he, just give it to me on this map. Just point circle yeah, where it is. It's only about 15. It's, it's, here in the, uh, it's here in the old part of the upper corner. Uh, it's a 15-minute walk. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to Nerder's. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right. So... I don't know why I do this to myself. So, uh, you make your way. Uh, by the way, you are super conspicuous. Like, oh yeah, because Always. of yeah, you guys are yeah. super duper conspicuous. We're but, about to be more conspicuous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why we really <laughs> God. Oh my God. We want to walk into this film. place we're supposed to be secretive about and be like, "Hello." <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, so it it only takes you about fifteen minutes. Uh, I, I assume you say goodbye to Khan or let him know that you're going somewhere. Sure. Or you just like you just yeah, bounce. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Sure. Don't wait up. <laughs> We're All going right. out. Uh, uh, you you don't need me to come with you to that horrible person's place, that Maison, do you? Unless you want to. Can no, I really, really is, don't. Though? You could circle it on this. No, map. I have no idea. You don't know where well, the governor's that, house that, is. That person was clearly insane and the possibly hallucinating. Has. You've but met he, us. We're have you met friends. any of us? Like, Even me on. said he was only one of the only legit, uh, the only legit people in the town. I forget what his title is already, but Lord yeah. Mayor. Yes, Lord and mayor. You, yes, that's one of the reasons he's probably insane. I don't think that's true, but but do what you need to do. I lives I, on the corner. I I, I, I will. <laughs> I'll Did I'll be point to it. No, I'll, I'll be spending my evening with Rachel. So uh, enjoy your time with the Lord Mayor. Thank you, Con. And please let me know. We how appreciate go. that. <laughs> yes. Um. Are you taking Are you taking the plant monster? Monster is a strong uh, word, Con. Wow. I mean, it's Con. technically accurate. Wow. <laughs> accurate. Okay, which. Are you taking the giant plant companion right. that eats dead people? No. Botanical. No. Can you have somebody just play with him every hour, and uh, we'll be back. Uh, Bye. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you just just have someone check in on him. It'll be fine. It's like, oh, fine. You got this. This is fine. You are the Bentley will it's take fine. care of it. It's fine. You know, stable boys are a dime a dozen. Anyway, so uh, yes, you make your way 15 minutes through town, uh, causing quite a scene. Um, just, I mean, mostly with people um, just kind of going, oh, there's a centaur, that's weird, and who are these strange people? And their clothing is clearly, I mean, you guys kind of look a mess, right? You were in some combats. Um, you, you, don't, you don't look like people who just like stepped out of their fancy town home. You look like hard-bitten adventurers. I'm sorry. So, I've got a wand of predestined. What's it? Predetermination. Pre, you, pre, you, pre digestion. You don't. You don't, and those don't exist. So what? <laughs> yeah, Press to digitate myself. I gotta look clean and crisp all the time. Sure. Take take a level of wizard so you can do that. I have a wand oh, of it, but you don't though. But I, I do though. But you don't. I mean, you have a stick that you hit yourself with and go, see, I'm clean. And everyone just goes, no, you're not at all. There's a stream over there. Take a bath. I have multiple multiple tunics. Multiple sticks. <laughs> you just <laughs> rotate them. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, gross. Anyway, let's, um, uh, let's can move I, along. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, are we going to like, sh can, is there a place where we can like look nice in four bells? That's what, uh, We're going to that's what Bentley said, go to Nyurders. I hope she got showers. Let's do this thing. <laughs> All right. So you make your way. Uh, you can't find it at first because you're looking at all the storefronts in this kind of square and you don't see anything. 
Um, uh, it's been yin, yes. So, so you, you, I'm yeah. sure ask ask someone uh, to point it to you, and they will actually point you down an alleyway. This is where the finest uh, types of sto clothing stores and haberdashers are, because no, you know, it's very exclusive. Can it's I true. ask, does this store have an encounter map? Because <laughs> if it does, we're not going. You're asking, you're asking a local encounter map? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's go to the store. Let's. Do All right. <laughs> the door to the store is quite comfortable for ghost. Store door. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, it is, is this going boutique -y to be boutique like we're not going to find stuff that fits us because that's it, what boutique -y means to me. Might be a bit of a squeeze, particularly for Blaze, mm, but you I can, can fit through it. You can fit through it. Okay, I don't think you have, have to, to, but all right. Gonna... Uh, and as you approach down the alley, it does have windows that uh, face the alley, but all you see is just junk i mean well, not junk i mean you see like it's like cloth and various different materials and stuff you like you can't see really There's into clutter. the store yeah it's just it's just piles of stuff over the windows mm. so you don't get quite a sense of what's what's inside however when you open the door and it is open uh, there's a little tinkle of a bell and as you all squeeze in uh this is a two-story space with uh a series of wooden shelves that run from floor to the ceiling about 20 feet above uh, 15 18 feet above uh, all the way around there is a single counter there are a number of tables piled with just stuff all kinds of different stuff and in the very back uh there is a, a single similarly small door set in one of the corners and as soon as the the bell tinkles and you make your way in you hear just a minute door opens and a woman um shocking kind of ice blue hair in a very i think kind of bouffant kind of like a combination undercut bouffant uh situation very very elongated pointed ears she's about she's a little under four feet tall very expressive face and she just kind of scampers up and looks at you and goes oh my who are you i i don't know <laughs> oh neither do i we're we're in a pickle here friend if you don't know who you are and i don't know who you are either but we're on even ground and that's what matters well i know who i am i'm yerder this is Nyerder's New Necessities. <laughs> Nyerder, we want to look, we want to look outstanding, okay? And I have this whole idea of what I want to look like, and I need to know if you sell what I'm looking for. Yes, probably. When okay, you say you want, want to look astounding, do you mean makeup, clothing, hat, gloves, jewelry, Ooh. magic? All of these things. I'm not opposed to any of those things. Ah, uh, well, it can add up very quickly, so you might want oh, to. Jeez, okay. Let's consider your concept like... <laughs> very, very closely, dear. What is okay, it you want to well, look like? I really just was looking for not like <gasps> Ooh, necessarily magic. A like... lion. Oh, I yes. Mean, I don't be Please a make lion. her look like a lion. <laughs> Why? Ooh. I mean, okay. A mermaid. Yes. No. A mermaid. No, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. Never. Mind. I dressed as a mermaid was killed. Apparently, mermaids are very unpleasant, and people don't like them. Oh well. <laughs> no, I, I want to look. They like, weren't a good customer anyway. Like, it's not a big deal. Yes. I want a cape. I want a cape with fur on the edges, and I want it to be like this, and be like la 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 la. And then I want sleeves with bells with fur on the edges, and I want to be like la 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 la. And I want to be like a '70s dream. Well, you don't understand the reference, but listen, I want to look real nice. With bell bottoms stuff. yes yes sure, yes i think i, I want can... it to be like a dress you know with a cape uh, uh like uh, think... the more like a singular bell bottom uh, yeah oh, one oh, bell bottom dress. okay uh any preference for color material um yes green and green. very nice material <laughs> with green fur around the edge but faux fur please i like to <laughs> faux fur. <laughs> just fake fake fur no just real fur i guess where we are is fine 
Listen. <laughs> yes. I want to be green. She'll kind green of... fur? Green fur. Green fur. Yes, I can do that, actually. Yes. I think. Give me a moment. Is it okay if it's still a bit warm? Ooh, I'll dry it. Sounds <laughs> All right. All right. Claire was uh, not squishy. Ju ju just that. No, I said I would dry it. <laughs> Don't question me. Don't piss okay. off Nearder. So, so uh, <laughs> cape and matching with bells. Oh, sure. Uh, so that's it, right? Yes. Just the cape and the dress. All right. And a tiara. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, yeah, just the cape and the bells. Tiara. Ooh, I do like tiaras. Any particular kind? <laughs> magical. Non magical. The kind that costs less than 2,000 gold. Boring. Less. less than? Like yes. a little less. bit less than? Or a Much lot less, less than? Do you have a magic tiara? Possibly. Okay. Well, are you interested I in buying a magic would... tiara? If you're interested in buying a magic tiara, I probably have one. Yes, I am. But not for 2,000 gold. Oh, dang, dude. We should have taken we the box. We make a deal. We should have taken the box. We should have taken the box. Old man winners. No, we can't. You're right. Not for a tiara. All right. Uh, how, when do you need it? Now? Tomorrow? Yeah. In a week? Today. Right now. <sighs> All right. Well, tell your friends they can wait outside. Wait. We want to buy stuff, too, though. What? Yeah. yeah. You all want things. Of course. Frequently, we all want things. Right now. Not all the time. But all I'm looking. Fine, I'm fine, fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Yes, what do you want? Uh, lots of pockets. You want lots of pockets. Yeah. What, a, what a very precise request. <laughs> lots of pockets. I'm or sure I can find something with... a myriad. Ah, very well. So you want me to use my own judgment to give you lots of pockets in pants, pockets in a coat, pockets in, in a shirt, pockets yes. in a bag that has extra bags attached to it? Yes. All of the above? Yes. Seek help. All right. Okay. But I can do it. <laughs> and you, Centaur, please don't tell uh -oh. me you want pants. I'm not doing pants oh, on short goodness, notice. Oh, no. No, no, no. The pants are leg jail. I'm not into that. Uh, I... uh, she she's wearing a dress, uh, and she'll kind of do a little slightly salacious wiggle and go, "I agree." <laughs> uh, I I just want something very shiny uh, to wear on my upper half. Something sh like a shiny tunic, maybe uh, maybe like a crop a cropped tunic. I have, crop. I have nice abs. Yes. I have nice abs. I want to show them off, but I also want to cover all the human bits. I have um, recently received a massive ship, a shipment of crop tops. I have oh. been waiting until <laughs> someone came in and requested. That's what Mama, I'm here for. Mama Fortuna told me that I should invest in crop tops. And if once again, she is correct. Uh, Mama. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's yes. what I'm here for. So, um, I, I also am looking into tiaras. So mermaid scale they're a little recycled from the previous story with the yes is it, is it shiny like purple sh like purpley shiny you know purpley green yeah yeah oh i can go with that as long as okay so i heard i heard i overheard your conversation with mirth my friend here uh and they don't like mermaids but dead mermaids i mean you can okay? tell me your names i won't remember them but that's sweet that's yes fine i'm blaze uh so dead mermaids are fine though right well or living ones that people can then kill apparently they're bastards all right, cool. De dead mermaid. I'm fine with dead mermaid. Uh, this scale. is a fishing town, and they lure fishermen to their death, and then drown them and eat their bodies. I think they're crap too. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Don't pretty worry. dark for page. a shopkeep. You know, we're on the same uh, page. The windows are covered. I'm, I'm really only concerned about how I look, so you know, you're, so you're... recycled mermaid scale. I can do that at a discount. All right, just don't Great. tell anyone where you got it. Um, can I get some matching gloves and a matching um, t sparkly headpiece? It doesn't have to be a tiara. A sparkly headpiece. Sparkly and that's it. Headpiece. <gasps> that's all I need. Do you want bangles for your antlers? Sure, that's beautiful. <gasps> oh, exciting. Yes. That I can do. Do me up. You yes. are going to be so loud. Mustache, what about you? <laughs> uh, this is a moment where Port is as serious and learned as anyone has ever been about any subject. And he says, yes. I require a white-on-white -white poet shirt 
made of a loose fitting blouse with full bishop sleeves, large frills in the front and the cuffs, V neck has to fit over my armor and look stunning. And then gives delivers all of the perfect measurements for the most perfect fit because I've done this before. Yeah. It's like, oh, I have several of those in the clearance aisle. You can pick it out yourself. All right. So, and she does, in fact. She'll point you to a section with some things held, and there are five or six different variations. Some of them have a little bit of brocade. Some of them are silk. Some of them are uh, perhaps a stouter fabric that is woven to still have a little bit of a sheen of silk. You can just pick out whatever you want. It's all 50% off, honey. Or you can buy two, get one free. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All Sounds right. like we're going to all be oh, getting shirt. suits. We're going to be looking like the bead. <laughs> How last year. Anyway, uh, so, uh, cloak, fur, green fur, preferably. Where's my knife? And she'll go scram- scamper around and pull out a very, very large, wicked-looking knife. Go, all right, green cloak with fur and bells and matching dress and bangles for the antlers. I'm so excited. Oh, and reuse the mermaid scales. Wipe the blood off first. Yes, and uh, uh, the pockets, just pockets. Pocket. Just, just uh, everything, uh, fine. Everything right. must have a lot of, I like to acquire a lot of things and I need to put those things on my person. We, and we don't ask questions, just go mm. yeah, mm-hmm. then. You don't okay. have a lot of candy as well. Do you? Hmm, you want do you perhaps? Are you perhaps interested in pockets that uh, maybe are a little bit bigger on the inside than they are at the outside? Yes. Well, you're going to need to borrow some money from your friends. Think about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I can completely satisfy that particular need. But it's more than 2000 Seriously. All right. So give me a moment. Uh, she will scamper back. Uh, and then she will scamper back in with a tray of... It's like someone took very, very fine pastries, like from a very like high, like a high street shop, and then put them in a bag and shook them up for a while, and then just dumped them onto a, a tray. Eat whatever you want. And then she will scamper off in the back. You hear a, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, baby. Yeah! Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> squeal, squeal, squeal. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, you wait. You can peruse the wares. There's nothing uh, overtly magical out here on display. There's all kinds of just weirdness. Uh, if you have any interest in jewelry or knickknacks or... Pettywax? Journals or special quills or any kind of cosmetic, um, any kind of like home remedy or medicine. There's just like piles of like, un, like not particularly well sorted stuff. Uh, but she will come back in probably only about 30 minutes, which is okay. should, should technically not be possible. Um, nice. However, she comes back hauling a bundle of something that's been wrapped in a canvas and she'll give me a help dear you have a strong one me <laughs> hoist it on the table dear hurry 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 okay <laughs> you hoist it and and then she will kind of dramatically flip the canvas off and there in piles are uh the fur it's green and if you touch it, it's still kind of warm. It's not wet though. So and and it is it is very, very green. It's not like a big floofy fur. It's a little bit bleaker. Yeah. Uh it's like a it's like a like a winter seal kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So it's it's I'm fairly done. refined looking. Uh and it does have the bells on, which are gonna be great for stealth later. Anyway, um No, the... no, belled sleeves. <laughs> Oh, the miscommunication. <laughs> she will. <laughs> Is it a crop top, sleeves though? Sleeves just needed to be belled, not bells on the sleeves. She will open a drawer, <laughs> reach inside without looking, pull out foot-long scissors and hold them up and then just go snip, 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 
down the down the sleeves as you hear these little silver bells tinkle tinkle off of it <laughs> and then just kind of go Ouch. no bells sorry thanks <laughs> uh mm, i'm going to need to get on your back dear hey. yes Am I back? Yes. Uh, what do you think I am? I have to fit the bustier. The bustier? Yes. You can't just put a crop top on without any support, dear. Okay. All right. Pop on. Who's going to go all natural under that crop top? Come promise. over here. Port looks Come away. Come over here next to the table. Oh. Come over here next to the table. All right. Boys, okay. turn away. Boys, turn away. Uh, <laughs> she will help you lift off your regular leather kind of vest. Uh, and then she will fit a nice kind of bustier around you. And it's not like a course. It doesn't have to be tied, but she just needs to measure the the hooks. And my waist um, is going to be snatched. Yeah. Well, your your human waist, your your horse waist is Yeah, well, here. you know, we don't talk about that. <laughs> right? Uh, it'll be fine as long as you're just, like, peeking out of a curve. Um, yeah. As as uh, and then she'll help you slip on this uh, very kind of sparkly... Um, vest made of it looks kind of like fish scale but significantly larger a little bit thicker it catches the light very nicely uh it does show off your abs and your swell arms your delts Thank are you. popping that's all i need uh and then she says oh wait here <laughs> and she goes oh, over and grabs a angles. grabs a box from and r runs back from the the back uh and she says now close your eyes dear okay do you do you trust me no that's so probably a good this. choice, but close them anyway. <laughs> Nerd Ner Ner is crazy. Uh, you yeah. feel you feel like a some jerking and and like she's clearly messing with your antlers. You can feel some things hitting your head, um, uh, and then after maybe thirty seconds, she goes, "All right, go go have a look in the glass and see what you think." I'm ready. <laughs> so she has. Um, it's amazing because the, um, the sheer amount, the sort of festooning of your antlers, you would think would be like gaudy and insane, but she somehow managed to get like 40 various different little trinkets on without it looking like too much and without kind of taking away from the very sort of graceful, dramatic shimmer of your new crop top. It actually looks, it looks very, very cool. Nyerder, you are a genius. Well, you know, sometimes a little bit of luxury is, in fact, a new necessity. That's what I always say. <laughs> I feel good. Did you get your shirt, dear? Yeah, I got three. All right. I said buy one, get one free. Oh. Second one is full price. Third one's full price. I thought it That's was fine, buy though. two, get one free. Nope. Listen, your prices are so bananas. I'm going to get all three. That's fine. That's 60 gold. All right, uh, pockets. Did you decide you wanted to borrow a bunch of money from your friends so you can have one that is an extra dimensional space inside of it? I mean, some, 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 sometimes they fail and then everything that you own gets sucked into the ether, but huh, <laughs> those are the breaks. Grandma it's also good for it's also good for dealing with husbands, I found. Oh, I extra, dimension, extra dimensional spaces, that is. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're to keep them in their own little corners. Can grandma borrow some money from you kids? I think I just spent all of mine on my antlers. That's fair. You look wonderful. Uh, the total for you is the total for you is going to be four. How much? Four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. How much oh, is the okay. magical bag of hold of the holding things? Six thousand. <laughs> you have to take all of our money. Maybe after next adventure, Grandma. Listen, yeah. we're going to be late Sorry, for this Grandma. party. We still don't know where we're going. We need to go, yes, Nyrder. Yeah. May maybe Mirth could check her inventory. But anyway. Wait, for what? For pockets? <laughs> sure. For, for oh, too much wait, gold? For, How much for gold too much gold? How much no. gold do I have? Check, check your, check your equipment. Let me look through my equipment real quick, everybody. Just uh, take a taste to relax. Take a yeah, taste so, and relax. I, I have a bag of holding. That yeah, exactly. So, okay. so at so let's just let, let's just play this out as uh, you and Yerder 
engage in kind of a back and forth and a little bit of like, ah, 6,000 is a lot and blah, blah, blah. So there's this like extensive negotiation scene. And then eventually Martha goes, oh, I have a bag of holding. Yeah, I have a bag of holding. Which is currently empty. (laughs) Yeah, I don't have anything in it yet. Yeah. So, uh. You already will I just wanted go. to put SJ in the bag of holding, but you told me no. No, <laughs> it wasn't big. It wasn't quite big enough for that. Yeah. Can you, what would it cost to rework this into a very nice clutch? Six thousand. What? Oh my gosh! You this can't just cut. Bag you can't just holding. change its size. It's an extra dimensional space. Do you know what happens if you get the calculations even a little bit off? Yeah. What was the point of having a, a negotiation months. scene if you ended up at the same price as the, the original scene? No, the fact of the matter is I have a bag of holding. We don't need anything from Yarder. Oh. They want a bag of holding. I got a bag of holding. I could just give it to the ghost. Let him hold the bag. Also, also, here, I, I can tell that black is your color. Here's a cloak that has... Here's a cloak that has some pockets. Here's some cargo pants. Uh, f- feel awkward. free to wear them with socks and sandals, dear. Um, <laughs> Leg comfortable and functional. Here's a shirt and here's a waistcoat that has pockets in it. I just gave you everything that needs pockets. It's going to be 50 gold. Um, one more question, Yerder. Yes. Uh, I need a fanny pack to keep my raisins in. Do you have any <laughs> food safe <laughs> fanny packs? So a small backpack. Ah, uh, it's waist not a. Pack. It's a waist pack. Yeah. A small backpack that you want to wear on your belt. Yep. Yeah, I'm like yeah. on my belt. Yeah, yeah. So a child's backpack that you wish to wear on your belt. I, it's pretty close. Depending on what creature we're talking about, yes, perhaps a child. Aisle two. Shelf seven. Oh, perfect. So yes, uh, there are in fact children's backpacks. But would they, uh, they work? all have? Would they function as a fanny pack. You uh, you can snip off the. I want to uh, pay things. her to snip it off. That's Hi. the point. Snip, snip. Uh, <laughs> rivet, rivet. There you go. <laughs> Good. Thank you. That's gonna be another twenty now, gold. Uh, before I, before I alter this one, and as soon as I cut it, you bought it. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you want the owlbear? Uh, do you want the dragon? Do you want the chimera? Do you want the hydra? I like this one that is sort of an angelic figure on it. Oh, okay. Sure. It's nice. So she, it's white. It has some gold stitching. I thought the dragon was cool, but okay, point. <laughs> so she'll snip, snip, and yes, you have effectively a child's school bag that you can wear on your belt, and you can wear it in the back if you want. Excellent. And or you can wear it in the front like a nerd. I put my raisins in there. Oh, uh, cool. She can probably sell you raisins. Did you say mine was fifteen hundred for all the pockets? Fifty. 50. Oh it's just cl- she just gave you all the black clothes that she had that had uh pockets in them. <laughs> Cargo just, stores. Yeah. The They're not fancy. They don't look cool. Rob Liefeld would be very super weird proud because of you, you have too many pockets, but you now oh, for 50 no. gold My have fear looking weird. A ton <laughs> of pockets. Good for you. <laughs> okay, so how much does mine run? Uh I got to subtract my golds. So, yeah, I have a question on that too. Whenever you're done, two hundred for the monkey, a hundred for the rest. The Wait, monkey. am I wearing a monkey? A green well, monkey. You wanted yes. green fur, Mark. Right, like that's <laughs> you wanted that's green fair. fur. You asked yeah, for that's it. Bad. That's true, Blaze. My bad. Don't worry about All it. Right. Three hundred gold. Got it. Okay, I did. I have a question. Um, out of character question. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm adding gold in D and D Beyond. So we. Added 2,000, but mine was 400, right? Yep. Okay. And that was gold, like SP. Yeah. Or whatever. Okay. GP. Yes. GP. GP. No. GP. It, well, in parentheses, it's 10 SP because one gold equals 10, 10 silver. silver. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the... It's you the got second the one. little toggles. It's the second one from the left. The, the left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's like one GP each. Yes. Right. Yeah. Or you okay, can just I type understand. in the new amount. Cool. Yeah, I have that. Okay. Um, Thank you. 
Okay, also, did we... Is there some type of tiara that's not magic that I can afford? Oh, the tiara. I think I have some crystal. Hold on. I'll be right back. Uh, and she'll look up at... She'll look up at your uh, antlers, Blaze, and just go, oh, this is my best. Uh, yeah, she'll come back with one of the one of the ones that has the the little hair, hairpins in it, so it's not like a full split. Yeah, okay. It's cool. you know, it's white metal. It's not silver, and it's got you know, it's Swarovski. Five oh, gold. Oh, I'm down. Yeah, I'm in. Five gold. It. <laughs> okay. She fi- she figures. That was it's like fine. my that was like my. Engagement. However, next time, be more precise about your order. It took me an extra two minutes to sew all those bells on. That was a waste okay, of my time. I'm sorry, you're right. That was insensitive of me. <laughs> I, I I appreciate your sense of accountability. And you're all I'll welcome back. I'll take the back. L on that one. I'll take the L on that you're one. You're all welcome back. You apparently have lots of cash. I'm happy to take it from you. I mean, trade it for <laughs> some of my hard-earned wares. And if you have any special requests, just let me know. I have another monkey if you need one. Ah, we're good for now. Thank you. Yeah, I neared her. Thanks. Thanks, Okay, cool. So that took an hour. So we have three bells now. We need to figure out where this place is going. So can we, like, mm-hmm. what's it when you collect information or whatever? Crowdsource? Investigate. Yeah, that one. Crowdsource. Yep. Are you all investigating together or are yeah. you yeah. Uh, yeah, splitting up to save time? Together. I rolled a 14. Uh, we should stay together. We have split the party before, and it was not a good idea. Let's stay together. I got a 19. I got a 7. I got a 2. The rolls <laughs> keep coming. Let's go. Coming. Well, so Wait, this, um, this is to try to see if you can find any uh, clues or information oh, about yeah, where you might be going at 8 bells. Just a 2. That's all I got. So, I'm not helpful at all. Um, so Port, you got a fairly high number, right? I got a 14. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Port does the whole Port thing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Port Manteau. I'm looking for a guy with a hat. He says he's the Lord Mayor. Nice to meet you. Um, and you eventually run into some people who kind of go, Oh, yes, I've heard of him. You, you want to go to the lower part of Old Town? Lower uh, Old Town, a- got it. Thanks. Yep. Uh, so you will have to kind of make your way down uh, a set of a set of winding yes. stairs that that go down the cliff face uh, to the lower part that is actually on the bay that Alternest overlooks. Uh, but that really only gets you into the right neighborhood. Uh, I'm going to say it is because Blaze stands out very clearly that um, you're able to get what you need. And so this is like an hour and a half, or what? Just for the sake of for the sake of the narrative, it takes you the full time and you're getting up close to the time where you need to need to make your appearance. Uh, when a little urchin child uh, pulls your tail, Blaze. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely me. What? Hello, urchin, urchin child. <laughs> the thing. Uh, you look delicious. What do you want? <laughs> I will kick you. <laughs> what do you want from you me? Just, you just... Kick it into the bay where it drowns. <laughs> Darn. Rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> Don't touch hey, me. What do you Thanks. Want? Hello. Are, are you the pretty horse lady that came into town today? I'm new to town. Yes. And you have pink hair. Yes. This kid's astute. And, and yeah. you're, and you're, you're friends of, of the, the Lord May, 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 Lord. The Lord Mayor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he's your friend? We have become acquainted. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, do you know where he lives, kid? Uh, He he said I should watch and see if you come. And if you come, I'm supposed to take you. And he said you would give me lots of money. Here's a tuppence, kid. Go buy yourself a scone. Yeah. Yeah, go Be a good lad, mind your studies. Run off now. Money. He said you would give me money. Yeah, I give right, him a tuppence. Uh, yeah, he here's a, a gold things, coin kid. for your trouble. How, how much do you give her? Uh, one gold coin. I feel like that's a lot. That yeah, nice. that's a ton. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, ha ha! <laughs> she takes it. And she's like, is she like almost wants to run away, but then she doesn't. Like, 
yes, this way. Uh, we and follow. she will, yeah, she will lead you through a a uh, warren of like some very old buildings made of stone that are not necessarily in great repair. Some some old buildings made of wood. Some newer buildings made of wood. Um, it's quite likely that that this close to shore, when storms get bad, there's probably damage. So this is not a nice part of town, but someone is at least attempting to keep it in, in decent repair. Uh, and she actually leads you back toward um, the cliff face um, and will point you towards a doorway that looks to be uh, effectively inset into the cliff face itself. And there is a big kind of big wooden sign that has painted in uh, kind of curly cued uh, letters, in it, very, very bright with like flowers and uh, various designs, carousel. We might have overdressed, guys. No, he, no. He, he's in there, the, the Lord, Ma Lord May. Lord Mayor. Yes, he's in there. Thank you for the, the carousel. Hey, thank, hey, yes, kid. thank you for the gold, pretty lady. Hey, kid. Yes. If you promise never to ever pull anyone's tail ever again in the rest of your life, I'll give you another gold. Sure. Seriously, <laughs> no more. I don't know I anyone. Will, I will I find you. I don't know anyone she, else who has will. tails. She will. Okay. You, I, but, yeah. All right. Here you go. All right. Mark it off. She now has two gold. I did it. And has begun her career of crime. Because <laughs> she has learned that conning people pays. Good for you. Anyway. Uh, but, it so looks, yes, uh, but Michael, it looks like we're still in the library. Oh, thank you. Uh, I will switch it to something more interesting. Ha ha. Hey. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. So the kind of just outside around town. Cool. So, yes, uh, you wish to make your way inside the carousel. The carousel is a bar. Oh, great. Nice. Well, we're pretty it's like one bars. of those. It's like one of those bars that don't have any windows in them because it doesn't have any windows in it. Mm. Um, that would be one reason. <laughs> <laughs> and it and, and probably doesn't get a lot of air circulation, so it's simultaneously kind of a little bit warm, but also kind of clammy, and air is a little bit smoky. damp. Yeah, yeah, smoky. It's it's a it's it's got a particular funk to it. Nice. I mean, not not entirely unpleasant, but it's clearly. Uh, I mean, we'll fit in perfectly here. I don't think any of us have yeah. showered. <laughs> like it's almost like the the green mill i'm used to this this is great <laughs> right right it's cgi fridays um <laughs> oh, i know right no. sorry to let you down i know it's the worst Oof. Is there it, a, does it oh, smell like fly it's leaf? a shoney's it's the one shoney's that's left no anyway no. yeah because they forgot to that's shut it down because they forgot it was there tucked oh, away no. in some warehouse somewhere but the wait staff just keeps showing up to work for some reason. All right. Pretty sure we still have those here. Uh, so I am curious. Uh, so Juice, do you want to run the NPC me? Sure. Uh, because there are some people in here. Give me one sec Ooh. to bring it up. Are we at the right place? You're at the place the little girl took two gold to send you. Yeah, but like... Um, but like, does that mean we're in the right place? Do we see the Lord Mayor? You do not. That's you a see, problem. You do see about ten people all kind of turn and look at you as you enter. Like they're not used to people entering the door. Yeah, Especially not people they've never seen before. Where's Albus Dumbledore? That's what I want to know. If you would What's like to be thing? an NPC in the game, <laughs> type exclamation point NPC. Athros me. Darvel. Yeah, Athros Darvel. Where's that guy? You, you don't see him. Gosh dang it. So do you. Can I yell NPC his me. Name? Yeah, you can absolutely yell his name. Can I yell his name, but can it be slightly wrong? Because I can't remember it. Sure. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me like a performance and we'll see how commanding okay. you are. We'll see how, how well it goes. All right. Uh, nine, but if it's a performance check, then I think you're uh, at plus six for that. 
I think I am too. I think my per- yeah, plus six. So 15. So uh, show us your pipes and, and let us know exactly how you call out for him. I'm like, Athro Star now. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, that's not his name, Athros Darnell. That's not his name, <laughs> isn't it? Dumb Albus Dumbledore. It's Alfred Dundalban. Dundaldorf. Donut Man. Arthos <laughs> Del Bordo. Okay, so after causing I'm getting a further co- from it, because you keep yelling ridiculous things. After after causing more. Uh, commotion. A lot of the people um, have decided that you guys are probably already drunk, so they kind of go, oh, okay, they belong here. I get that um, a lot, actually. And, and they go about, uh, you can see there is there's gambling going on in the back corner. Uh, there are a few people who are clearly um, work, oh, Mirth, you know exactly what these people people's profession is. They're here to help people who might have had a stressful day. Mm-hmm. So they're like, you know, stress relief, right? What? Counselors, basically. What do you mean? Yeah. I don't get it. Port investigates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a, a few of the, a few of them probably eye each of you. A few of them get very interested in in Blaze because I mean, that's an oddity. Cause novelty because of, of my jewelry. Wait, and you're novelty? very and you're very sparkly. Uh, you guys do, however, look like you just showed up in your prom gear. <laughs> To Taco Bell, we're like, to like Cracker Barrel. We're like, yeah, this is yeah. new, like showing up to Cracker Barrel. Like, we're here, all sparkly. Oh, wow, this is not. This is this is like the bad buffet in Vegas. Jeez, cool. This, this is how I earn my money like back. Way off strip. All right, cool. I have uh, the uh, I have the giveaway ready whenever you are. All right, cool. Let me know. Let me know what. You want me to roll it? G- g- give me a couple of names. A couple of names? Yeah. We have Nix Turnal. Ooh. And we have the original Zodi. Love it. Do you need more? Give me one more. Licity. Uh, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Zaris. I was oh, supposed to win. <laughs> That's funny. Darren? Darren. Like, da- like Darren Zaris. Okay, cool. I love it. All right. So, as you're causing this commotion, getting more and more off track with who you're calling for, a um, half orc man, uh, another, you haven't seen many of these around, at least not in Orlon, uh, will kind of poke his head out of a doorway and see you. Uh, and then kind of make a beeline toward you, not in a super aggressive way, but clearly like he sees something that might be a problem. This guy is fit, right? Uh, He's not carrying a weapon, uh, but he looks like he probably doesn't need it. Uh, And he will come over and say, what are you doing out here yelling? Can't you see people are trying to have a nice time? Oh, no, it's dark. We're, we're we're looking for the Lord Mayor. The Lord Mayor, he's up. Oh, I'm gonna say he's up there, but yeah, I'm not supposed to say that kind of stuff. Uh, you mean our Lord Mayor? Oh yeah, is he busy? Right, our current Lord Mayor. Is he busy relaxing right now? I uh, tip uh, <laughs> probably. Um, come you're in, on, you're Dumbledore. In you're in safe hands with us. We're on the same wavelength. We just are looking for him, man. Talk about hands to this what, do, what do you, what do you want him for? I, I, I can go in and ask him if, if he's willing to see you, but I need to well, know what you want to Well, don't interrupt him, him. Like, oh my God. Yeah. It, it could take a while. He's with Nyx. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what can I ask That's what exactly fair. Nyx's specialty is? What isn't Nyx's specialty? Ooh. I don't know. I'm asking you, sir. I don't know much either. I just know that Nyx is in high demand. Does Nyx, okay. can Nyx perform the Italian chandelier? Oh no, she's I, into Tex-Mex. I, I don't know what, I don't know what either of those things are. Yes, so you probably, do. So probably. Okay. Now I'm hungry. 
So yeah. <laughs> for Listen, for Italian or for Tex Mex? He told uh, us to come here at eight bells, and is it not eight bells? We are here. I don't have a watch, but and the bells it don't work. Bells, and the I'm bells don't you. don't it's work eight down bells. here. We are on time, probably, sir. But probably uh tell you what. Or madam. I'll, I'll go. It's a guy. That's a Darren. guy. Darren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So was, yeah, I'm I'm Darren. Darren the Darren half orc. The half orc. <laughs> <laughs> it's I a would, little family name. I would never dare a half orc. It means he who eats the hearts of his enemies in Orcish. Oh. It, here it so. means average white male. <laughs> <laughs> my Can't middle name confirm. is My middle name is Tad. Oh god. Which means eternal conqueror. <laughs> so, yes, uh, I, I'll, I'll go I'll I'll go in back and wait until things, you know, quiet down for a second and they take a breather uh and then i'll uh why don't you go uh go sit down and uh, uh and, and talk to mama fortuna oh wait how do i know that name uh Nyerder Nyerder. mentioned her Nyerder. Nyerder oh. mentioned her. yeah i mean you, you guys are you guys are new in town right she knew about the crop tops mm -hmm. yeah she knows a lot of stuff Probably want to go talk to her. She's real special. Hmm. You got I don't... money. You got money, right? Hmm. I mean, enough. Does it cost money talk to, to talk in this place? I mean, yeah. With with, with her, yes. Um... Do, you, do you have to like buy her like an appetizer plate first, or? Nah, she just sometimes sees things, oh. and then people. Oh. You got lots of pockets. No, I'll pay someone to see things. Yeah, she sometimes sees things, and people pay her a pretty penny for her insight. I have ugly right. pennies. You go first, ghost. I'm gonna talk to all these ladies who just seem to be hanging out, waiting for me to talk to them. If you know what I mean. Did ladies I, and like, dudes. Does, does yep. Port does Port know about um a, Port? Does Port understand what's going on here in this establishment? I don't know. Is uh, Port something that I should clue Port into, or is Port gonna like accidentally fall in love with someone who's gonna charge him later? I'm just wondering. I am a yeah, I, Port I is know. a man of the world and has traveled okay, so and has definitely good. spent time in a brothel, so okay. not necessarily partaking, but like just an opportunity to chat up beautiful ladies, regardless of the scenario, is is enticing. I just wanted to know if you were good. Okay, but you're good. Yeah, Perfect. no, I know, I know the score. All right, cool. My intelligence so you, is average. Thank you. <laughs> so you, you've, you've, yeah, you figured out that there maybe is a little bit of something, something happening, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm Don't worry about it. The lady that sees things. That sounds awesome. Uh, yeah. So this is, uh, she's actually quite young. You think maybe in her twenties, um, and, um, pretty, um seems very out of place uh she is seated at a table by herself seem completely content to be there um it looks like she's drinking tea or something it doesn't uh, look like alcohol of any kind uh and as you approach before you get up to her she just kind of looks over at you and smiles and reaches out her hand Oh, you found me. How nice. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Do you want to talk to us as a group? Oh, I can do readings individually or as a group. Do we get a group on? No. Do you have I'm sorry. <laughs> group I, I used to expired. offer them, but they were a real they were a real money loser for me. <laughs> yeah, sense, it's a scam. Yeah. It's a scam. Is Groupon yeah. still a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. No clue. <laughs> it was a thing, but it's a real money loser. Uh, I had like 50 people showing up a day, and they also they had the group on. They would argue about who was splitting which part of it. It was just a real nightmare. I should have first seen it <laughs> because. <laughs> yeah. The irony. Yeah. Cool. Um, so who would like to go first? Oh, it's 10 gold, by the way. Oh. oh I but but I, I, I can. I, I can sense that you have recently come into money. So it shouldn't be Well, I'll strike one for you, Mama Fortuna, but 
You know, I trust you. <laughs> cool. Uh, so who was going first? I'll go first. All right. Uh, I would like you to give me. Oh, dear. Uh, go ahead and give me a D20 roll. Oh, dear. Was that was that a centaur joke? Uh, no. Uh, I got a two. I got a two. <sighs> All right. Trying to find my I got a fancy thing yesterday uh, from a creator that I met on Twitter. and I'm trying to open it up and can't find it. So I'll just have to wing. Um, she will pull out a deck of cards and start kind of she'll lay them out face down and then do a little bit of do a little bit of hand work you know close work with them it's very obvious that she's quite skilled at manipulating the card um and then she will flip over card which is the devil ah this signifies person who struggles with an aspect of themselves part that they a part that they suppress now now do this may this may reference you or it may reference someone who is close to you tell me what you think uh yeah i think that references um uh mirth who's traveling with us and mirth you're there right she can't talk right now, but she's listening. Ah. She's, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. I've got a PDF, a PDF open. Oh, well, it appears that this card is meant for you, Marth. Um, So, uh, Blaze, would you roll a d20 on Mirth's behalf? Yes. I got you. Okay. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay, got it. I got the pizza. Yeah, you, don't, you don't want me to roll. I got the pizza. No, my rolls are bad enough as it is, though. My rolls are bad. Hold on. <laughs> this is it, though. Here we go. Eight. Eight. And what was what is it for? Because I might be able to add something. To it. No, no, it's just a straight D20 roll. Think of it oh, as a random. Oh, yeah, bad news. Eight. I mean, it might uh, be good news. She pulls out another card and lays it, and it is the three of stabs. Stabs says, or staves? Oh, staves. 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 Mm. Yes. Wands in rods. some. In some ro wands or rods in some decks. Three of staves. Ah, uh, you do. You carry a. You carry a burden, Mirth. Uh, or perhaps multiple burdens, and your burden has only gotten stronger. Recently. Um. But I foresee that the burden is making you stronger. And that the next time you are faced with that burden, you will overcome. So make a note to yourself, Mirth, that the next time that you need to uh, make a will save to resist some sort of um, negative consequence, that you may do so at advantage. Ooh, it's a boon. Just the next time. Uh, okay. All right. That's 10 gold, by the way. Uh, I, I'm doing a group reading, but it's the cost scales with the number of people. So you could do it individually too, but it's, sometimes it's more fun to share the conversation with friends. Anyone mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I will, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll step up. I and, and, my 10 gold and the, some, some candies on the table. All right. Roll a d20. Uh, Nine. Nine. Um, she pulls out the moon. Ah. This is the card of dreams and visions and, well, sometimes insanity. Or certainly the, the ability to perceive other parts of reality, things that other people cannot see hear things that other people cannot hear yeah, um, dead people. potentially it's interesting that you your mind went straight there i think i suggest that there might be a story there but don't don't influence me mm -hmm. uh so but you you think that this refers to you yeah wait 
Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Pull another card, please. Another G20. 12. Ah, 12. The Lovers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it. many times the cards are simply suggestive. They don't always mean, for example, death usually means um, a translation or an evolution, not necessarily the physical death of the body. Good. Um, likewise, the lovers can indeed signify that another has carnal interest in you, which is possible. Mm. Um, but cute. it can also mean a sense of togetherness. Hmm. Uh, it can mean two being joined into something greater than uh, into a whole that is greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah. Um, so I see in your future at a time of need, you will find a strength within yourself that will help you overcome. So uh, the next time you make a skill check, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the next time you fail a skill check, mm -hmm. you may roll it again. Ooh. Look. As, as perhaps a, a, another voice from within you uh, is able to speak out and guide your actions or work to help you cool. succeed. Well, we haven't had Mirth pull a card yet. Would you like to pull a card? I didn't Ten pull gold. a card, but I got one. You know what you I mean? You got one, yes. It, uh, the okay, sig I'll pull a card the, also. the signifier is not always in my con. Okay, I'll pull one. Okay, roll a d20. It's going to be one. What? Ah. Whoa. It is the hanged man. Oh, God. Mm. Cool, 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 cool. The hanged man cool. is, is a fool. <laughs> Fair. But who, through suffering, learns wisdom. Uh, someone who has perhaps uh, a well of resolve within themselves that is belied by their foolish exterior. At this point, this... Port comes and walks over and sits down. Hey, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did I miss? I was going to, I was going to ask who this might signify in your life, but I think I that's become clear. <laughs> Hi, I, I'm Zodi. A portmanteau. It's a pleasure. Yes. I also have, I need you to understand, Michael, uh, that I have found the the oldest male prostitute who looks like a grandpa and paid him 20 gold to chat up ghosts because I think I'm doing ghosts a favor. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and, and he's, so um, this, this, this gentleman... Uh, who is still pretty suave, right? Whoa, um, yeah, like a like a real white haired Sean Connery, Liam Neeson type. Yes, this is a this is a silver fox. Hmm. Um, he he will. Uh, you won't have noticed this until you hear um, kind of an old fashioned mm -hmm. dance tune, like like a, like a you know a slowish uh, yeah. kind kind of a swing tune. Uh, and it's something that that perhaps Granny would have would have remembered from her youth. Um, time in the and war. The, this this debonair silver fox man will come over to you and look at you and go, "Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all." Hmm. Oh well, I got paid, and say, <laughs> uh, "Would you like a dance?" So his shtick is that he has a portable pottery wheel that he can wheel around to the table, and they do a little <laughs> ghost thing. Do you get it? We'll see how we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right. We'll see. God, Jesus. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Do you accept that he's very debonair? Oh no no no! He Ghost probably reminds you of your third husband, who you did not poison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He Ghost died war? by purely natural causes. <laughs> but not Nim. So yes, she takes the dance. Okay, so. Ghost and this man then go off and dance. That's lovely. Uh, but yes, Z Z Zodi, very... Uh, oh, I see. The cards are the cards are spot on tonight, I can tell. Oh, wait. So this is Zodi? Yeah. 
Oh, Mama Fortuna is just a stage name that I use. There's been one in town for, oh, generations. I kind of inherited the gig from the from the last one who wanted to retire somewhere nicer. Got it. Yeah. Are you supposed to yes. tell us that stuff or it's kind of breaking the fourth uh, wall, isn't it? It doesn't really matter. I've already got your money. So um, <laughs> why don't you, why don't we go ahead and understand what the future holds for uh, our friend? Is that me? Nope. Mirth is drawing. Okay. So draw a card. Meg, you muted. Hello, I draw a 17. A 17. Oh. The Ace of Chalices. This is most Ooh. auspicious. I don't know. Okay. You will find a great treasure in a place that you believe to be empty. Port looks over at you and winks. <laughs> uh, you... There isn't a mechanic, there is a, uh, it's an ace, so there is a plot-based, not a mechanical uh, benefit to that. So you will learn what that does when it triggers. All right. I'm sorry, dear, I didn't, uh, the this cards didn't speak for you tonight. Unless you, Port, wish to draw, and then perhaps uh, we'll learn something about your friend Blaze here. Sure. You never, I don't think you ever gave her your name, but she speaks it to you. Port? I did give, my, give her my name. No, Blaze. Oh. I don't think Blaze ever said that what her name was, but she uses she her name. She knew it anyway. Yeah. You're... Zodi's magic. I think cool. she's real. She's real. Yes. She's Can magical. the dice please stay on the dice pad, please? Uh, 14. Ah, 14 is the Wheel of Fortune. <gasps> <gasps> the Wheel of Pottery, though? <laughs> <laughs> I think no. ghosts already on the wheel of fortune. I'm really um, excited. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this this can be this card can be a a blessing, and it can also be represent potential difficulties as well. Mm. Uh, but it is, in fact, a most auspicious card for you. You are Blaze. You are on the right track. I have a sense that you aren't, you don't have a course in mind for your life, and yet you are on a very well-defined course that will reveal itself over time. This is what the card speaks to me. Um, go ahead and roll the second die. Oh, sorry. I yeah, got distracted by chat. Yeah, well, roll the uh, second die slash pull, pull a second card. I, I pulled a two. Thank goodness. Oh, wow. Ah. So this would be the two of pentacles. Ah. You said duality. Pentacles, pentacles yes. with a P? Pentacles, yeah. Okay. Uh, ah, yes. Duality. This This makes perfect sense with the Wheel of Fortune, um, your fate is currently balanced. And any sort of tilt one way or the other uh, could make a large change. So be cautious in your choices and your actions, because even the most minor thing can have significant repercussion in your destiny. Uh, you may choose... Thanks, no pressure. <laughs> You may choose to fail an attack roll or save. If you do so, you may then choose to succeed at an attack roll or save. Oh. Regardless of the roll. Ah, interesting. Okay, I like so that. that. That's these are each one time things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like if she takes so the I, L one time, then she gets a win. Like I have to preempt the dub with an L. Basically. Yep, yep. Okay. And it, it can't be like, oh, I'm gonna choose I'm gonna go stab a rat and choose to right. fake that. Like mm -hmm. it has to Something be legit. Important. Right. Yes, yeah, right, so or Zodi yeah. will know and she will withdraw the boon. Well, I think uh, the cards are done. Fair. The cards are done speaking for tonight, but feel free to come. Oh. He'll be back. See you again soon. So wow. great. Uh Darren will come over. 
and say, um, he's uh, we're ready to see you now. We are past halftime. Okay, let's take a break. All right. Break time. We have stuff time. now. We have yes, you have to stuff. Help us and less gold. Okay. You have nothing. Oh, okay, yeah, you got some, but you have you bought nothing that will actually be helpful. <laughs> just so we're clear. Well, I'm. From what are we, we doing look shopping? good? Yeah, right, I got pockets. All the things I wanted were more expensive than we had. Yep. Okay, break time. Back in five. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get this mid roll movie queued up. Give me one sec here. Yeah. dump with me zero daylight hey everybody so um having six hi i'm megan amell and i play mirth on the DD campaign with c plus content mirth is a short she's about five one satyr and she's a sorcerer uh she does not show people that she's a satyr or a sorcerer she tries to kind of keep a low profile uh in order to maintain the ability to do business in certain areas where fey Fey folk folk aren't aren't necessarily necessarily looked looked kindly upon she is very charismatic she can basically talk her way in and out of anything for the most part she's not terribly intelligent um she's not strong but her spells definitely pack a punch although she won't always use them uh so far (laughs) port has not found out that she is a satyr sorcerer but he's on to her a little bit um mirth dreams of a very strong powerful version of herself uh during our first few sessions episodes and those things are within her she does wish to someday be a strong proud satyr um who uses her powers and wields her powers and 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 is able to um do those things that's in the back of her mind she does she does long for those things but she also really enjoys being someone who's reliable, who you can go to, who can get anything that you need. She takes a lot of pride in being able to help in situations and find you things um, and and work with people. So <laughs> she's kind of torn between those two worlds of, you know, I'm this powerful satyr and everybody should know and I should, you know... And that world of like, I really like getting things for people. And I like working with all these different people and being the go-to person. Um, and I can't necessarily do that if everyone knows I'm a satyr. So she's very torn in two directions a lot of the time. But she will go to great lengths to keep it a secret. She won't let us die, hopefully, <laughs> to keep it a secret. But we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see what goes down, I guess. Hey, bud. How you doing there, pal? Oh, I'm great, pal. My name is Justus. It's 100% real. I promise you. So I'm just going to run in. I'm going to see for it twice, and then we'll be done. That's the plan. No! Holy shit! That was not the plan. Oh, no! Why? 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 Why would you do that? No! That was a terrible plan! Why did you why did you do that for? That I don't care! You're on fire! Oh no 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 god why oh that was pretty badass. Parkour. Wow god the wolf's after me! Holy sh- Misha! You just zenoed a wolf at me. Oh god. Actually I can take the four skin that I can't interact with because I can't stand it. Oh god, I'm out of stamina. Ripperoni juice. <gasps> I landed on Quirky. You saved me. God damn it. Damn. Who put a who put a wall there? Rude. I just realized that my backpack says big dick on it. Good to talk to you, bud. All right then. You have a great one. You too, bud. All right, pal. Good good job. Good talk. 
Yay! Oh, that's no one heard that because I had muted. My bad. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, oh. the, uh, the the what Zero was saying was actually the mid roll from last week. I didn't have ah. the 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 uh, Meg video in time to get it set up, so I needed to switch it. No worries. It was a good one though. We learned some. We learned some important things about Mirth and where she wants to go. Yeah. This is actually a good time while while Lisa Tree is coming back to talk about um, what will happen next week, which is there will be a new ghost. Um, yes. Specifically, Morrowind, Morrowind will have completed his tour of duty, and will will enter the hall of of ghosts of ghosts of, past of uh, of episodes past. Yeah. Uh, okay. He and Zam will be holding hands in the annals of the internet. Um, um pardon <laughs> yeah hi welcome back lisa tree yeah. i'm still heating up some soup i'm sorry what kind of soup <laughs> uh broccoli cheddar soup i'm basic i got some from the panera bread There's line nothing... like, why is that's not basic chicken noodle is basic Bro uh is i got something in my eye too is it broccoli <laughs> might be broccoli wow I, you're not making the soup right if it's in your eye uh, yeah, yeah, I caught that. I caught that while it was happening. Yeah, making soup is is a it should be a low risk activity. Yeah, yeah, should be an entire broccoli in the eye. Yeah, she had like a a full well, stock of broccoli. It was just like a wank. Florette. Yeah, a florette, a florette of broccoli. A florette to the eye. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, you have gotten your fortune told or determined by the Magnificent Zodi. Uh, and uh, Darren is basically waiting to take you back uh, to the Lord Mayor's chambers. Let's go. All right. Yeah, let's do mm -hmm. it. He will see you through uh, a kind of a very narrow hallway, and you all kind of press against the wall to allow this very tall person, somewhat mysterious, um, covered from head to toe in kind of black, gauze almost like a very very long can't tell much about the person other than they're humanoid uh like you can't really get a sense of gender or species or age or anything like that other than the fact that they are tall and mysterious uh and darren will go nix <laughs> as nix walks by nix uh the the figure very slightly nods in your direction as you call name also and then we'll uh ghost past. you're welcome thanks chief you're welcome all oh, right uh did anyone grab ghost off the dance floor or is ghost gonna miss out on this conversation uh we should probably grab ghost it's okay. safe i mean one does not simply grab ghost that usually ends <laughs> up in stabberations Get some stabbage mm -hmm. i um I, I i giggle as i as i'm pulled away from my <laughs> my dashing suitor oh no, no. uh so, so he will, uh, as he sees you have to go, he will, uh, he will extend you out and then oh. twirl you back in Ooh. and dip you Ooh. Uh, very, oh. very dramatically. Uh, and then as, as, a, as a proper gentleman would, just hold onto your head and bow a little bit and <sighs> give you a little bit of a toss out and let you go. And then kind of oh get, get back on the dance floor and kind of groove by himself. So handsome. I'm going to make sure I don't steal from him. <laughs> kill him last 
do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Get, give it, given your history with your previous husbands, I'm just saying yeah. the prognosis is not good. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, cool. You're not married to him yet. All right. Yet. Uh, so uh, Darren will, will knock on a, a door uh, and you hear, come in. I'm mostly decent. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I want to go back to the dance floor. <laughs> you can if you want to. You okay. can if you want to. No, no, no. I would cool. keep Ghost from leaving. All right. You just grab Ghost by a pocket. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. That's the problem. You're now covered in pockets, so it's going to be really easy to grapple you. Yeah. Beautiful. So, uh, Darren will kind of push the door in and go back to doing his job. He, he, cons- he considers that a, a job well done. He's hard the place from anyone else who might cause any any troubles. Um, uh, and there in this uh, kind of low-lit room, there, there are three steps from the door uh, that kind of go down, which make this uh, room a little bit taller, seeming a little bit more cavernous. Um, it's all worked in stone, right? Because this is literally, this entire place is carved into the cliff face. Um, but in here, the artisans uh, kind of went the extra mile. So it's got... Uh, probably not structural columns, but it's got columns carved and they're very ornate. Um, it looks like the the furniture even is, uh, maybe not the furniture itself, but like where the furniture is, like uh, plinths have been created out of stone so that the wood work and the cushions kind of look almost organically coming out. The place is, is fairly well done. It's not of particularly human style, um, nor is it one that you relate to, but it's clear that whoever crafted this this chamber was not it's in a style that you wouldn't recognize and doesn't really resonate with something about the scale is a bit off uh and it doesn't seem like any of the historical human architecture that you have been around nor the fact that it's carved from live stone does it seem to be particularly fake are we in diagon alley uh i'm in diagon alley (laughs) <laughs> i just i just sorry i just placed that i used to work i used to work yep i'm in diagonally uh 100 if i duck you can see it. the dragon at the top of green God. yeah i love it uh, sorry that was just a i just no I it's just perfect loved, it's i perfect. love the place i don't think we have the copyright permission for this <laughs> uh Bad. it's fine it's it's actually a real photo from universal oh is it i love it yep so but regardless, this is the part, this is the tourist trap part of town where they recreate uh, novels that are really popular. Uh, anyway, so he is lounging on some sort of chaise long. Uh, he's wearing a um, silken robe that like everything apparently that he owns is very, very ornate and not necessarily in very good repair. It's basically like a woman's peignoir, only... He's wearing it because he can. Uh, he's not. This he, guy's got pizzazz. Yeah. He, he's he's not uh, wearing his hat, so he's got this kind of uh, not like wavy, thick, gingerish hair uh, that he's I got. Still feel underdressed. He's got pulled back. Ginger, he's got pulled yeah. back a little bit. I mean, and he's like, this doesn't happen by accident because his uh, the the robe is is belted. He's got it tied, but it's like open all the way down. Right. So he clearly guy. he's posed. He's right. posed. He knows what's happening. He was he's like, set, let he's, me get set up. He first. set himself up <laughs> and then but bring him in. He he's just like you know, absently toying uh, at uh, a tray with some cheese and fruit or something on it. And it's like, oh my friends, I I wasn't expecting you. Welcome, <laughs> come in. He's doing the what Burt. a pleasure to see you again. He's doing the I'm Burt in. Reynolds on I'm a very I'm sorry. Run. I'm sorry if I made you wait. I had some. <laughs> Previous engagements I had to see too. Engagement. We, we totally met your previous understand. engagement in the hallway. Oh, yeah. Nix. High five. Yes. yes. I think it might be Port's future engagement if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I don't know. I... <laughs> Joking, I don't but, not <laughs> but not really. Joking, but not really. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we're, all, we're all friends here. Uh, so I'm oh, so God. glad you could join me. My goodness, you ladies look astounding. I hope all that effort wasn't for little old me. 
No, I just had this in my traveler's pack. No, we went to the store and we got it specifically Lord, for tonight. Lord, <laughs> God, man. Read the yes, room, yeah? Of course. Yo. There's no need to be embarrassed. I I tend to do that to people. Mm-hmm. You know, the effects that we sometimes have. My mother said mm-hmm. it was a curse, but I found it to be quite a source of pleasure in my life. Am I right? And he gives you a little Absolutely. bit of a nudge there for it. Oh yes, and you're like, yeah, we sure. Wouldn't... I know all about that. I'm real good at this stuff. We absolutely wouldn't have dreamed of missing our engagement. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm sorry if I made you wait. It's just that my uh, my stamina sometimes surprises even me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, can I eat this cheese? Yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome you to it. You have no idea where the cheese has been. Mark. Yeah, the cheese. Is just, I want to eat the cheese. Mm. Eat it the came cheese? from my. Good. It came from my cheese cellar. You have oh, a I cheese trust cellar. I man's cheese cellar. One hundred percent. Do you? Of I course. do. I my I give everybody. Tr- Are you kidding? Have you met me? I trust everyone. This guy, I trust this cheese. This cheese is going in this face. It's. Um, it's um, 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 um. it's very 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 good this is high high quality cheese yeah like well, this is gonna let me eat stuff. this okay you're cheese? making me really hungry I'm i need to go grab my food <laughs> <laughs> okay the cheese the cheese all right cheese. Sorry. Uh, uh, i i even have some uh some fondue with greens in it for your uh oh you know it's kind of like a soup it's like thin like a soup but it's a little bit thicker you can't quite put it on a cracker might want to eat with a spoon Ooh, yeah, i think you might come out I knew that your centaur friend was uh, into vegetables. Prepared a little something just in case you decided to deign to grace me with your presence. Ah. So, what have you been getting up to in my fabulous town other than making yourselves fabulous, obviously? Hmm. We met with our contact and Contact? Oh, yes. I thought I was your only contact in town. Have you already made more friends? Oh, I'm crushed. Contacts, one for each eye. I Listen, don't know what that means. I don't get with it. With a face, with a face like this, I just we make contacts. You know what I mean? Oh, I believe it. Wait, I'm sure they're m- drawn to you like moths to a flame. Is Mirth's catchphrase also? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> dost sure thou, dost, dost thou understand what I've said? Uh, <laughs> we, yeah, well, dost uh, thou get me. <laughs> dost. <thou. laughs> We'll figure you it out. Dig, We're workshopping sir. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dig. I don't do manual labor. It's hell on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I have people for that. No, but seriously, I have people who do lots of digging. Sometimes there's things that need to be covered up. The bodies. <laughs> um it's 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 fortuitous particularly like we were definitely looking forward to meeting with you tonight and now of course you are also have it's great because we have a purpose that perhaps you can help us out with and then maybe we can help you out with something that you need help with. oh yes exchanging favors Mm. surely this will bond us together forever Uh, maybe depends on what your offer is uh, that sounded very packed like and I'm a little concerned about that. Oh no, don't worry about it. But seriously, uh, what what is it? What is uh, it but seriously, offering? we need to get portage into the uh into the under town, lower town, underground, under dark, dark town, dank mm-hmm. dank tunes. Mm-hmm. Substation. I don't know. Uh, what was it called yep. again? The 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 oh, below under- Oh the Undercity. Undercity. Oh, yeah. 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 I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Now, what on earth could you? The place is absolutely filthy. I have no idea what you could want down there. Well, I'm certainly going to change. Full of like rats and monsters and things that go bump in the night, Uh and you know, plague and poison and disease and you know, it's getting more fun sounding every time you open your mouth. Mm, It's true. It's Uh, true. I can. (laughs) I know I can paint a beautiful picture, but I didn't know I was that talented. I'm not quite sure, actually, why we're going down there. We just have to follow an investigation. Um, but we were hoping that maybe you could so help us. So your mission us. is simply to go into the Undercity? Well, we haven't gotten all of our marching orders yet. And frankly... Really? It's not, it's it's not our policy. Tell, something tells me that an intelligent man like you simply just decide, hey, I need to go to the Undercity. No, no, no. We're doing this for our, for our benefactor, but we can't talk about the details you understand listen all we can tell you is it has to do with 
temperatures of undersurface versus surface. It's very sciencey. We're doing some different research and it's really important that we get the temperatures of these places. And that's what we've been paid to do and that's what we would like to do. Okay, and we need your help to do it. So are you gonna help us or no? Whoa, whoa, Mer what Mer <laughs> our friend Mirth means to say is we would love your help I, and in exchange, I'm sorry. We, we'd love to there, help you. There for a moment you became less attractive. Ah, but now. You're ba you're back to being spectacular. Okay. Great. Um. <laughs> oh well, I'm certainly not going to pry into your business. I'm sure it's something very, very important. Um, I don't even know, really, to be honest with you. Well, let's see. I think we could come to an arrangement, a trade, if you will. I might have some use for your particular talents not that i know what they are but i can guess <laughs> i mean you travel with dead bodies and you carry swords and you apparently take missions from mysterious benefactors without understanding any of the conditions so that's the kind of trust i like so right, in the, the spirit of blind trust i have a bit of evidence <gasps> that i would dearly Ooh. love someone to recover from it would make a world of difference to me and to the common man of Aldernest. Okay. Uh, of okay. whom I am, you know, the You the represent. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> and I want to keep doing so. So, let's just say, hypothetically, that there were a certain pretender to the Lord Mayor crown, not that there's a crown, or any pay, but it's, you know, it's a feather in one's cap. Uh, and it does come with certain temporal power I am interested in exercising for the good of man. Let's just say that the current, one of the current Lord Mayors came to that title through marriage to his wife. Sort of a hereditary kind of right handed down throughout the family. And let's just say that that particular wife was not entirely human. Let's just say, not that I'm judging, I'm all for it. However, the folks in Orlando might think differently if they realize that their current official Lord Mayor got his title by marrying someone who wasn't of pure blood. So all I need, I mean, I've done my best, and I think I've done a fairly good job understanding where such proof might lie. All I need are some intrepid adventurers who are interesting, interested in, in trading favors, scratching my back so I can scratch yours, to go to her family's ancestral graveyard, make your way into the tomb, and recover what I believe to be a genealogy that's been secreted away there that will prove to all who might be interested, like specifically the local magistrates and things who make these decisions, that the uh, the inheritance of the title of Lord Mayor by one Kelvin is invalid under law, thus removing one of my primary competitors and freeing me up to do more for the common man here in Alderneston, and frankly, in other places too. Sound good? Sounds great. I didn't great. lose you, did I, dear? I, I mean, know. I know no, what with your what that. with your interest in temperature gradients and uh, oh, listen. We got to do okay. Humidity and things. I'm sure that that was very boring to you. However, does it sound good? Does it sound interesting? Does it sound like the kind of spice that you'd like to have in your life? Yes, we're in. Yeah. Yeah, let's excellent, go. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I mean, it probably won't be dangerous, but it might be. I'm not worried. Okay, we're in. Yeah. Dangers I mean, are middle names. It is. There have been a few. <laughs> Because I care about you all so much, and I love new friends, and I hate to see the bad things happen to them, I should probably warn you that over the past few months, there have been a few incidents with the dead. You know the type, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you mean like they were uh, dead, and then they stopped being dead, and they started right. so the, the undead. The, oh, the unpleasant undead. kind of incidents with the dead. Yeah. yeah. The unpleasant dead. We met a unicorn. Yeah. We get you. Yeah. yeah. We did? Yeah, I, Blaze killed a unicorn. That, that's a bit of a leap for me, dear. Unicorn. But that's fine. I'm sure we'll have all the time in the world for you to regale me with your tales of, of accomplishment and intrigue. She doesn't Sorry, like it you when you get tail? too close to the tail. Don't mm. touch the tail. Don't, 
Don't touch no. the tail. She doesn't have a tail. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways. I know it can it can be confusing. I have a hard time figuring out which of you lovely ladies to look at, but I was. Oh. I'm the one with the tail. Yes, you are, <laughs> and many other things. I'm the one with the tail. Yes, yes. So, um, yes, get along, get the book, bring it back to me, uh, and then I can, I think, grant you access to the Undercity. For whatever Ooh. mysterious purpose and mysterious patron. It's not Kelvin, is it? You're not double-crossing me with Kelvin. I won't stand for that. Who's Kelvin? No. Kelvin? No. Just Who's Kelvin? Kelvin, Who's the Kelvin? other Lord Mayor, who I'm trying to oh. depose, dear. Oh, no. Do no, keep up. No. Do keep up. It's God, not that complicated. Never. Why? It's not, no. Not who? Kelvin? Hmm. I thought you were talking about temperature. Yeah, like it's how we're defining temperature. Oh, right, yeah. temperatures. They're and so Kelvin, fascinating. And Kelvin, and we would like, never. We're not uh, measuring no. in Kelvin. We're what? Gonna this is going to be Celsius. freedom units. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. We're using freedom units. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. How's that cheese, wait, Murph? Wait, stop. Stop. Tell me about these freedom units. They sound <laughs> right up my alley. Yeah, Are Murph. you are you saying that you have a way of converting the traditional ways of, uh, weights and measures to some sort of new formula that can be claimed as something that is a part of the identity of something that like maybe is a free city or a league of free cities? Oh yes, yeah, we yes. can talk to you about that. Independent weights and measures, independent mm -hmm. currency system. Oh, so many ideas. Ah, mm -hmm. I knew I liked you people from the moment I saw you. All well, right. Get along, get along. <laughs> D do we have everything we need to know where this book is and how to get it? Nah, we can figure it out. Uh, go see, uh, go ask Darren to send you off to Bumataki. Bumataki, got it. Bumataki, right. Bumataki will will know everything that you need okay. to know. He can Perfect. draw you a map if you can get him. Get, if you can get him away from his children. How many children? Oh, he must have seven or eight right now. He's got <laughs> summer kids. Some are here. Some are there. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Just go tell Darren, take you to Bumataki. Uh, Bumataki can tell you where you need to go and give you a map or whatever. Uh, and also have him send me some wine, please. I'm quite parched all this conversation. <laughs> of course. All well, right. excellent. Get along with you. Get along, get along. Oh, okay. It's been a real yeah. pleasure, though. Do come back, hopefully alive. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, alive, like alive, live. Not like don't come back undead. If you be if you become undead, please don't come back. Can't make any promises. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm dead. He feels drawn to already. Uh, yeah. Mm, yes. Well, let's pray it doesn't happen. <laughs> All right. On with you, friends. Have a good night. Bye, Shut the door on your friend. way out. All right. Uh, you talk to Darren. Darren will lead you to Bumataki. Bumataki is in a room off of kind of the main bar area. Uh, probably it was at one time a storage room, but it looks like it's been hastily cleared out. Uh, Bumataki is a tabaxi, in fact. Uh, you ha you know these exist. You might have seen one or two, but they are very, very rare in Orland. Uh, they uh, are native to a couple of places, but the nearest by would be the Ilrian Island. Uh, so this is a cat person. <laughs> ah. So a, a feline humanoid, um, yeah. bipedal, so not like a not like a cat centaur, but a bipedal cat person. Um, and uh, he is in there kind of playing with six or seven very small cat people who look like they are about the same age. His cat children. They're, 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 they're kind of talking a little bit and they're, you know, they're, they're making a few, but most of it's just like childish burble. And, you know, they're, they're kind of uh, wobbling around so they can, you don't know how old they are, but they're clearly not infants, but also not, you know, like fully independent children. They're toddlers. Really? Tod that's the word I'm looking for. A single guy, no kids, don't <laughs> understand the lingo. Yeah. How do I get one of these? Can I like, yeah. pick one up? Like, this isn't like a box you, of free kittens at the grocery <laughs> store. But it's going to take a little while for out. you to get one. It's got a lot. It's I want the one with the mittens. I'm not <laughs> there. there. You've got so them. many. How yeah. do I get a baby, says Mirth. I mean, there's a way that you can have one of his kittens, but it's going to take a while. Oh, and yeah, if you know anything enough. about feline anatomy, it not might not be pleasant. So, Ooh. yes, look it up. Anyway, so, uh, hey, hey, the, and the language they are speaking is not one that you've heard before. 
It's barbed. Uh, yes. Boom taxi. Yeah. We need to uh, locate the book. Oh, hi. Sorry. Uh, uh, yes. Hello. My name children, is Portmanteau. Children, quiet. He'll switch um, to he'll switch to Orlando. Mm. Since that's what you're speaking. Yes. Uh, but it's accented. Right. Right. Sure. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. We are. We've been sent by our friend to uh, to find a book. You know the book, and we need to retrieve the book. And he said you knew where the book was and how we could get it. You know the book. Oh, yes, the yes. Book. In in the crypt. Yes. yes. You need you need to know. Yes, that that I can provide you. I was I was recently detained and questioned by some soldiers who are working on behalf of Kelvin. I, I'm concerned that they might know that we are snooping around. But thank goodness the, the true Lord Mayor rescued me, paid off a substantial sum, in fact, to, to free me and bring me back home to my children. Um, and I, I noticed that you had difficulty pronouncing my name. My, my, my friends here in, in Orlan just call me Boo. Oh, Boo. Boo. And you're, it, it you're is, a cat in my father. Language, it, in, in in my language, it's Bumataki, but the accent is all wrong, so you can just simply call me Boo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cat cat and father. I am Boo. a father. Got it. And did as you can see, my my fantastic children. My wife. Yeah, we didn't miss that. My yeah. wife is out running errands at the. Moment. And what a beautiful litter you have. Adorable kids. We don't we don't call them that. They're not animals. But that's fine. And I adopt one of them. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there a place where I can ad adopt one of these children? <laughs> I would like I would like to say that you're gonna have two or three, uh, but my wife would kill me. So <laughs> they're not pets, Mirth. <laughs> no, they're I know. Not I just was saying, pets. like, if I, like if I was gonna have children. No, I'm serious. Lifetime, I'm serious. If my wife <laughs> wasn't coming back soon, I would absolutely give you two or three of these. <laughs> they're little nightmares. Uh, but you know, I love them. They're my own children. So yes, yes. Uh, and he will he will provide you with the location of. Uh, the ancestral plot. If you wish to go, we do wish to go to the ancestral yep. plot. Ancestral plot. So we, might. we need to advance uh, this ancestral plot. Yes, he will also provide you with the timing of the um, planned patrols by Lord Mayor Kelvin's troops, some of whom you've met. Mm -hmm. uh, the The challenge won't be getting into the graveyard or getting into from there into the crypt itself the challenge will be getting in and out undetected uh and so he and he d does say to be cautious because uh the fact that he was detained might just be because he's tabaxi um and they don't they tend to harass people who aren't human and aren't from Aldernest in general uh but there's some chance that they might have been fishing for information or they might have got a sense that um that Darval was potentially looking into something he shouldn't. But Boo is very nice. Uh, in, in between, like, you know, yelling at kids and keeping them from climbing all over everywhere. And, you know, and you can hold several if you want. Okay, yes. They're very yeah. scratchy, those nails. They're very, they're very scratchy, but they're also super cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mirth can deal with them. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, all right, give me my children back. My wife will be here, and she won't like it if I. I'd like to roll to see if I can hear Mirth's biological clock ticking. <laughs> I was at eighteen on the dice. <laughs> you, you get it. You get a sense that you you, you probably get a sense that Mirth is a uh, full on squee mode, mm. and Yikes. probably wants to give up adventuring and just adopt three cat children. I do. I want all the cat children. How do I get cat children? But see, so you adopt cat children, then you get cat teenagers. No. Uh, Any kind of teenager. They're even scratchier. Yeah, they're, they're, they're worse. so catty. The whiskers start coming <laughs> in. They start sitting on fences and screaming at each other all night long. Yeah, it's a problem. They're always on that hot tin roof. It's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, I had a question for Cat Daddy Boo. Mm hmm. Just boo is fine. There's no, there's no need in my culture to refer to the fact that I am a tabaxi and that I'm also a father. It is assumed. Okay, that's fair. Um, the the ancestral grounds, like it, standard cemetery stuff, 
gates yes. and stuff like yeah. no no secret wards or anything hidden there because i've i flipped open some coffins before and found an unpleasant explosion i mean I, I i did scout the location and i didn't run into anything frightening like that i mean it's a it's a creepy place because it's full of dead people but I wasn't set. I wasn't set on fire. I didn't oh. have my face melted by. Perfect. So I'm in. Thank you. Just All right. Basic yeah. groundwork. You have Damn. one of my children attached to your leg. You might want to leave that here. Ooh, or we could not. <laughs> He's like out under your skirt. <laughs> You're like hiding it, but the little tail All is the out. No, the, the little paw <laughs> is out doing this underneath your skirt. <laughs> I'm trying to run away with it. <laughs> no, I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, so he'll whistle, and the, the child will scamper, scamper out from underneath your skirt and come back and sit on his head. <sighs> All right. Um, anything else I can do for you? I think that's I'm it. ready to okay. go. So, I'm happy. Uh, you can. Uh, you can follow the instructions, uh, and with his uh, with his guidance, uh, you can easily avoid the patrols. There are a couple of there are a couple of close calls, but you didn't run into anything that suggests that um, the patrols were increased in number or frequency. So the the schedule that he provided you uh, appears to be accurate, uh, and you make your way up. This is. Uh, in the same quarter of the town as the society's chapter house, uh, but it is much closer to the river that splits the town in two. Uh, it's part of an even older portion of town, uh, and one where the predominant style, although the majority of the old quarter is an elven style, the predominant style here is very kind of human, but archaic. And, uh, for no particular reason, if you would like to open up World 20 and put yourselves on a map, just so you can get a sense of what it looks like. Yeah, that would be a good choice. It is also super duper dark. Dork. Yeah. Ooh, that is dark. Not yeah. for me. What's going on here? Yeah, you oh, can see. You wait, can no, see. I have goggles. I have goggles. Yes. I have goggles of night. I give you goggles of night. I did give you goggles of night. That was a yeah. mistake. All right. Uh, you want me to like step on them? No, it's fine. It's fine. I also have goggles of not. Wait, no, wait. you don't. I can't see <laughs> anything. I can just see my character. Like, <laughs> no, yes, that's, that's the way it should be. Uh, I'm going to give you that is uh, dark vision 60 feet right there, Blaze. Yeah, nice. Cool. And I let's give you. Oh, it's and... so dark. I hate it. Can you I have... use my little glowing charm? Do you have a glowing charm? Yeah, that little thing that I got from that lady from the person. The tiefling the thing that lights up when I touch it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you can pull out a witch glass, and uh, it will give off a little tiny bit of light. I mean, we'll say it gives off dim light for ten feet. Can I do it's that? It's not. It's not like a street lamp. It's it's relatively dim. You I certainly mean... can. As long as you can see us until we get in away from like potential like guards or whatever, because then if we need to, we can light up the area, right? So like having a little flashlight thing is great. Can I light my hooded lantern? You certainly may light your oh, hooded, hooded lantern. That's probably a good idea. Um, well, I just remember that we're trying to be sneaky. Um, oh, can I ask my party if they would like me to? light this lantern so that way we can all see a little bit better i uh i think we should get a little bit closer to the crypt and if you just follow me i can see right now okay because of my paladin out. training can i hold on to your <laughs> child's backpack yeah around your yeah absolutely yeah okay, great thank you i may have to reload this uh to get all the lighting changes to take effect uh and and Ghost, did you light your lantern or not? Um, I'm not. I'm going to hold on, and I'm just going to literally... I'm also going to hold on to the fanny pack. Okay. Yeah, oh. I can see just a little bit now, though. I have a little bit of light, because I pulled yep. the lantern. Yeah, I gave you just a teensy, tiny amount of light. Yeah, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, uh, and other people should be able to see the little bit of light that uh, Mirth is giving off. All mm -hmm. right. So, move yourselves where you want to move yourselves. 
Wait, hold on. Port, you can't go that fast. Why? You can't because, you. yeah, you disappear as soon as you leave. Well, I mean, I'm assuming that they're following me. Do you okay. mean to move, move like one okay. square at a time? Yes. One. Everybody go. <laughs> yes. We're going. Okay. This is a fair Ring. representation of what it takes to leave people in the dark. <laughs> Well, oh, we lost Murph. Barbie, trust you. Murph, Wait, Murph. I got zoomed problems. I got zooms problems. You got zoomed. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Is this a low okay. wall? Uh, looks like. Low uh, wall. it's it's about five uh five six feet. Uh, however, just to your left port, uh, this area over here, that is actually a gate. Oh. 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 All right. I can I can head up the rear because I can see. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, okay, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm gonna look okay, at I'm the gate. Mirth. Is it is it locked? Can we get uh, in the gate? It is in fact locked. From the inside or the outside? Outside. Oh, well then I unlock it. There's there's a keyhole. Oh, from the inside. Uh, no, from the outside. Hey, why, why would someone lock themselves inside a graveyard? Well, I mean, the lock is on the inside. It doesn't matter. Um, the lock's on the outside. Okay. Uh, ghost, I'm going to need you yeah. to come open this lock. I can pop a lock, but I'm going to have to turn on that lantern so I can see what I'm doing. Just use yeah. Mirth's. It'll be at disadvantage. Dim light. <sighs> Fine. Do the lantern then. All right. And you, you have a bullseye lantern, right? Uh, hooded. Hooded lantern, yeah. So, so you can you can set it such that it casts a small area of light and doesn't, you know, shine like a beacon. Yeah, right. I okay. will just for the just for the sake of it not being so complicated, I will give you a little. Go ahead and make your roll, not with disadvantage, uh, and I'll give you a little bit of a. Okay, that's with the thieves' tools, right? Yep. Oh. Uh... That's a ten. Um, I might have to use that uh, that that little bonus, that little boon. Uh, yeah, you failed. So you may use that boon. Rolled a two. Okay, twenty-two. Yes. So um, as your um, you know you fail, right? You, mm -hmm. you you hit it and it's just whatever and then suddenly there's this weird like you see Zodi's kind of smiling face and it's mm -hmm. almost like it's almost like she kind of reaches out and touches the lock and then it goes ping and you know it's in your head and you don't like actually see her but like she's very present with you uh and then it's like she kind of goes oh no, oh well and then touches the lock and it pops open she is magic huh neat yeah she is we opened the gate. Yes. Uh, you should now have... Uh, actually, I may refresh it. I should have successfully given you a glow there. Yes. Let me see if that worked. Mm -hmm. It did work. Good, good, good. So now everyone has a little bit of glow or can see in the dark. Hey. Uh, so this is... Uh, it has not been well cared for. Um, it is old. It is run down. I mean, someone comes and keeps completely overgrown with brambles etc but it this is not what you would expect of a, a apparently prestigious family it's like it's sure. just kind of been left left to go fallow so what do you do i walk in yep yep you can see gravestones some small trees, some brushes. Uh, there to uh, your kind of north, north east, there port is what looks to be a, a, a larger kind of. The one with the giant full... skull thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are, are we looking? We're looking for a crypt, though, right? Specifically? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is uh is Blaze coming? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. No, Blaze is just uh, sitting back there. It seems like Blaze yeah, is. I told, uh, you I'm, I told you I'm heading up the rear. You take taking up the rear. Got it. 
<laughs> there we go. Okay, now she moves. I was gonna say because uh, <laughs> that was the taking out the rear just means I'm just gonna stand here. Right. I'm just not gonna come in. This is perfect. Uh, well, then I'm safe. Oh, I need to give you the dimming. Because now, there we go. That's what it should look like. Nice and dark oh. for you there. Oh, cool. Perfect. Ah, excellent. Oop. So, um, as you step further in, Mirth, you are holding the witch class out, right? As a way of yes. giving yourself a little bit of light. Yes. It begins to glow. Oh, no. Brighter. One of you is oh, a witch. No significantly brighter there's, which is good because there's you can see, magic here because you can there. see better oh. uh and as it does this faintly luminescent mist begins to kind of seep up out of the ground oh, as it geez. does as it does as it does you know it's well, radioactive this is where they dumped all the um <laughs> and in fact, shortly thereafter, there's a little bit of something happening. A little bit of like, maybe you feel the ground move a little bit. Maybe no. you hear a little no. bit of a sound happening uh, mm -hmm. from, from somewhere, mm. like kind of like- Like directly, the ice cream truck is here. Yay! And, yeah, <laughs> kind of like directly beneath your feet. Uh, and at the same time, you hear similar sounds coming from other parts of the graveyard mm. uh, directly beneath three of the four of you. Oh. Um, no. No. Oh, can we move? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Can we move well. out of the way as they come up? Or uh, we can roll initiative and see what happens. Okay. Uh, so, what this is, is um, you see a hand just shoot out and begin to try to grab. Mm -hmm. And then you see another hand and another hand and then two hands. Um, some of them are smaller than the others. So maybe halflings and humans. I don't know. But it appears to be more than one. It's more than one person's worth of hands. Uh, just erupt out of the ground around you and begin to try to grab for your feet. Uh, I will be, actually, let me, let me see, because the question is, uh, do you have a chance to, or is anyone surprised? Uh, yes. No one has a passive perception high enough. So you, you just heard um, a little bit of something and we're kind of looking around to get a sense of, of where the sound was coming from. And you probably, uh, Port Blaze and Ghost probably just realized, oh, the sound was coming from beneath us and started to look down uh, when you realized that, uh, oh, it's not just sound, it's hands. Hands coming out of the ground to mm -hmm. grab us. So they will go ahead and get a free... I need initiative, though. Initiative Meg rolled an O2. No, it's a 17. It oh. just got bad light on it. Okay, I rolled ghost. a 10. Uh, I mean, I'll, just walk, I'll just work down the list, Ghost. Ooh, right. I rolled a bad, which is an on, 8 total. Oh, sorry. Ghost. 11. I'm not Ghost. Please. Uh, I rolled a 10 plus 3, so 13. Mirth. Uh, I rolled a 20. Ooh. Well done. Port. 8. Well, that's right. <laughs> Poor. So, Poor. this family of people? Yeah. Mm. That's sweet. <laughs> Lizzo. Uh, and then uh, you hear other <gasps> moaning coming from deeper in. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but Port has a pretty high dex, so this is going to be. And then. Ooh. Three. Oh, no. Okay. So the first thing that happens is 
this is not exactly how surprise works, but this makes more sense to me. So I'm just going to do it this way. Uh, so the first thing that happens is we're going to get some of that. Uh, so port. Yo. That is a 19. That ties. Oh, no, 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 no. It's 18. Never mind. That misses. Limbs try to grab you. 18. Mirth. Limbs try to grab you. 22. Oh, yeah. They I'm do. Oh, uh, Blaze. Limbs try to grab you. Natural. 20. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. So, uh, you guys are grabbed and restrained. Uh, Port obviously is Every not. Every time. Yes, it's true. Um, and... Mirth takes five points of necrotic damage Ouch. as the, the disgusting undead flesh touches you and it's like it burns, but it's like a cold burn and you can almost feel a little bit of your life energy sucked out. Baleos takes good God. I apologize for this in advance. Mm. 19 points of damage. Yikes. And it is necrotic. So you do not have, well, you're not raging, but you wouldn't have it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's okay. Uh, if you and and this all happens, the division in, into turns and rounds is somewhat you know meta. You you feel like they're actively sucking your life out, not like it's just like a pulse and then gone. So it's probably not a good idea to let them hang on to you. I'm just saying that, Blaze, because you have a tendency to let things chew on you for a long time. I do. I it do. It feels yeah. like these are gonna these are just gonna keep sucking. Uh, but you feel like you can just uh, like I mean, muscle with the, with, muscle with your way the, out. Of it. Yeah, with the nineteen damage, I would probably take this a little more seriously. Probably so. Probably so. And yeah. these aren't cute. These aren't cute. They smell horrible. All the skin has fallen off. So it's it's super duper gross. Now, so we'll just call that like it was a trap or something. But it was. It's fine. Uh, but I, I'm trying to not kill you. Out, kill you guys all in one round. Um, what this is not trying yeah <laughs> I, I i wasn't planning on a on a crit and then a, a roll of uh fours fives yeah. and sixes rolling dice must be in your wheelhouse <laughs> good god we right. have bad fortune yeah. i don't get it <laughs> this is terrible fortune it's not in my Maybe later wheelhouse <laughs> oh Maybe god later. uh its speed is 30 um wait yeah. i see an, i see an angry thing oh see a large second. angry thing oh it got oh. worse just now no uh yes uh this thing is i mean it's part bone it's part flesh it's part weird like human centipede and stuff but on the outside it's a real mess like, it is not attractive. And it's also clear that it perhaps also is not just one. Like, it's made up of a kind of conglomeration of bits and mm. pieces, uh, but in, a, like, a super gross way. It's, a, it's an abomination. It's something. Uh, and I need Port and Mirth to make dexterity <laughs> saves, please. Okay. Dexterity saves, huh? Yep. No. Oh, I'm nowhere near as good at changing my background. I should keep that up. I, I got, got a 19. A, a weird crypt. Ah, yes, that will save. Dexterity plus four. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Okay. Um. Ooh, 15 and four. 19. Okay. Uh, that is good we're news. We're twinsies, you both save. Oh, yay. We're twinsies. Oh, so uh, this thing kind of lumbers. I mean, it moves the same speed as a person would, but it, because it's large and kind of sloppy and weird, it kind of limps very quickly towards you. All of its weird appendages and pseudopods and whatever kind of flashing out. And as soon as it gets within range of you guys, all of its kind of bits flare up and around and kind of point at you guys. Uh. And there's this brief, brief moment of a little bit of a glow and then suddenly the glow becomes a bolt of energy that shoots through both you and uh, both Port and Mirth. Um, you, however, will take half damage, which is, uh, I think, a good thing. 
Um, Wait, it automatically hit us? Yep, you failed the save. Oh, you, you, you made the save with the Joltek hat. What type of energy is it? Uh, it's lightning energy. Okay. Uh, 9, 14, 15. Did I get blasted too? No, it's a straight line. No, just Fort mm -hmm. Mirth. 26, 32. So that is going to be 16 points of lightning damage to both of you. Cheese and rice, dude. As it, and it, as it does, it goes, it's this horrible, guttural, screaming, wailing sound that it makes as it uh, unleashes weird eldritch energy into your bodies. So any points of damage? Uh, 16. Oh my gosh. I think it's right, 32. Okay. Two, yeah, 16. Oh no. Yeah, uh, that was its go. It is now Koi's uh, turn. No, no, no. Mirth turn. I should make that list. Oh, no. The Mirth Mobile. Okay, I'm going to have to heal myself because I'm about to die. Mirth's about uh, to die. <laughs> Bad news bears. Um, yeah, so I'm, I just took 16. Okay, I'm totally 100% about to die. So we're going to go uh let's do three charges on the wand are those d6 d8 d8 that's right each charge is a d8 and then add three once you add them all up right okay uh so... just because you would know this the hands that are wrapped around your ankles are actively sucking your life out if you wish to factor that into how many charges you dump is she being grabbed i thought it was blaze we both got grabbed. Oh yep. no, bud. Yeah. We both got got juice. Nope. We both got got. Yeah, yeah you can you can good. attempt to pull yourself out of there. But that would use your action. All right. Um, I'm going to. I'm just going to heal myself with. Uh, we'll do four of them, four charges. So. I'm gonna do three, and then I'll do one. Uh. So fifteen. 17 plus 3, 20. So I give myself 20 Beautiful. life back. That's a significant chunk of health. Yeah. 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 You have a bonus action and a move, yes. but um, okay. you're currently restrained. Do, right? Yep, you're currently restrained. Unless okay. you have something, that, unless like you have something you can do as a bonus action. Mm. Yeah, Check you, your you bonus can squirm, actions. but it's just for flavor. Actions. Bonus, Bonus actions. actions. Two weapon fighting. <laughs> Do that. <Yep. laughs> I'd like nope. to fight with my two weapons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, use, you, you already used your action on the wand. Spell, 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 spell. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I don't think you have any bonus action spells. Not that you would cast them because Port is right there. I know. Uh, cool. Um, the hands. Uh, more of them comes out of the ground. Oh, like good. they're starting to like they're okay. grabbing onto and pulling themselves out. Uh, so it is definitely one like adult human sized creature, and then maybe like three smaller, maybe halflings, but increasingly looking like they might be kids. Uh, uh crawling, I know, right? Crawling their way out of the ground, uh, to come and give you more hugs. I uh, don't want those tabaxi children anymore. Uh, I just oh. want everyone to know that. At the end of your turn, <laughs> however, uh, go ahead and give me another strength save. Strength Mirth. save. Apparently. Oh, I'm... and can I do my save with advantage? Because that strength. was my boon. Yeah, you can choose on this one, yeah. Does she have to choose before rolling or after failure? Uh, it's after failure. Oh, it's after failure. Okay, so let me just roll and see what happens. And my strength is plus zero. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> uh, uh, well, that's a four, so I'm going to roll again. <laughs> <laughs> and I got an eight. That's twice plus. as good. <laughs> plus zero is, uh, is eight. Plus zero is, uh, yeah, that's eight. So Yeah, no, no, no. We, we badly need a mechanic for chat to give you guys uh inspiration 
uh, because you're going to need it. Yeah, uh, I'm not inspired. <laughs> I have an eight. Although so, if you turn it sideways, I have infinity. <laughs> so, so you, you try to wiggle. Uh, however, the hands stay on you. Uh, okay. And you, uh, good God. Uh-oh. That's 11 points no. of damage. Oh, stop hurting me. Why are you doing this, Michael? It's a, that's a, it's a six Michael, and a five. I can't, I'm rolling on fire. What did Meg do to you? These are, my, these are my the new fancy house. new dice, and they are rolling like fire. I need Ooh, fancy Wait, what do they look like? Did you say 11 damage? Ouch. Yeah. On, on a 2d6, I rolled a five and a six. Show oh me on the God. map where Rude. she hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Clear yeah. skies, Rachel. Right in my HP. Oh, man. I think I can even, I think I can even flash up. So... This is the five is this fancy uh, dice cagey hollow metal. And then this one is stainless uh, steel. And the blue is actually enamel as that's a six and a five. Oh, so, you have fancy dice. I'm going to turn off the dice cam in case I need to say, oops, that was a natural one. So you guys don't die. Not we that don't I see any do dice. That. I don't see dice. I would totally do that. You see dice? Oh, you know what? I didn't hit transition. I see your there face. You go. Ooh, <laughs> dice board. Ooh. 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 Lucky. Ooh. But yeah. Ooh. Oh, you got those ones. I yeah. like those. But that that that's the uh that's the eleven points of damage. Those are so. the culprits, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's it, huh? Okay, okay. Brand okay. new. I'm gonna turn that off so I can uh attempt to save your lives. <laughs> Maybe. Just for fun. Maybe. Yeah, stop showing all your net We play games for fun and sometimes <laughs> killing people isn't fun. Uh, but sometimes it's fun if uh, things hurt real bad. So cool. Uh, that that's what happens there. Uh, and then uh, Blaze. Yes. Because uh, it's their turn. Four. Necrotic damage to you. I can I can live with that. Uh, and Port. Yo. Uh, that is a. I'm not grabbed. Ooh. Yeah, but it's it's their turn. It's oh. their attack. They're not attacking. They're not trying to hit the the ladies because they already have them grabbed. Right. I think they are. They are trying to hit you. Uh, that is going to be a teen on the die. A what teen? Sixteen on the die. So that's a twenty total. That'll hit. Which will hit you. Uh, they do grab you, uh, and that's ten points of damage. I am resistant to necrotic. Is that you half? So you, yep, it's halved. You are grabbed, but they're not super strong. Um, even Mirth has a slightly less than 50% chance of to get out. Uh, but they are, they are unnaturally powerful to you. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, uh, cool. Next up is Blaze. Oh, great. Um, I'm pretty mad. I'm pretty mad. I think... Oh, you should I'm be. Feeling, I'm feeling I'm feeling mad. I'm feeling mad. I don't know. Is anyone else mad. feeling it? Anyone I'm else? feeling it. I'm feeling it, Blaze. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Get mad, Blaze. <laughs> oh, oh, Why does oh, you getting oh. mad sound like you're constipated, though? Oh yeah. no, no, I was, I wasn't mad yet. I was taking a, I was taking a poop. Oh right, right, right. Was, it was the was a poop. pre rage. Yeah. Dump. Pre rage. Pre rage dump. dump. Okay, now I'm yes. mad. All right. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, I would like to rage, please. And uh. I okay so okay Ken question. has one rage please question but Ken has um can I okay so there's one big human size that is a thick that is thick by the way like that is thick undead yep. whatever the heck yes um, it, it it is larger than human it's, uh, can about, someone please it's about ten feet clip tall. that is thick it's got a, that has got, got booty that has got booty so um okay what is holding me is it one of the like baby Baby booty monsters. Uh, it's it's hands all over you. It's like they they've reached out and they've just grabbed each of your hands feet and they're just the they're just nice. and and and, and they're literally hands. leveraging. They're holding onto your hooves and pulling themselves out of the ground. And you can okay. see their little heads popping out of the ground, going uh, reaching trying out, trying to reach a fire on your body. I don't think killing I like it. <laughs> I just you. Do, you. do do I have to roll for my wild search? Yes, you do. <gasps> Yay! Because you raged. I raged. I raged. Okay. Sweetlicity. Wah, wah, I, got, wah. I got a necrotic four, damage, which is 
Uh, magic infuses one weapon of your choice that you're holding until your rage ends. The weapon's damage type changes to force and it changes the light and throne properties with normal rage of 20 feet and a long rage of 60 feet. If that the is weapon leaves your hand, the weapon reappears in your hand at the end of the current turn. Frigging awesome. That's yeah, the Xena right? Chuck. Your, your great sword has now turned into a Xena Chuck. Oh, so yeah. And it does force damage, which almost nothing is resistant to. Yeah, force, force damage is real nice. The force is with me. Oh, the, force geez, is, bud. the force is with you. Oh, jeez, bud. <laughs> yes, okay. yes. Um, so... Yeah, so uh, what do you want to do? So you are still grabbed, but you saw Murph like kind of dance around a little bit. So you get the sense that um, the authors who created this particular creature were nice and didn't make you spend your action uh, as a saving throw. Uh, so right. you probably don't need to worry about getting out, given that you'll be able to make a saving throw at advantage because you're raging. So, which would what would you like to attack? I want to attack the big, the big thick one, the ten foot, the ten footer. Because you can, you you can boomerang your great sword at him. I no, no, no. Yeah. Every, Is she attacking the the four square thing or the bigger of the little guys? bigger of the little guys i think do you okay. want me to attack the big, the big no dude? no i just want to clarify um what oh. it is you think you're attacking because i think michael thinks you're attacking the big 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 guy yes this is is 10 square full of writhing body parts and people it's not think of it as like one big mass is it they're a, a family trap? and they're connected hmm? do we get the sense that they that they would like move with us uh you get a sense that they can move but not that they would move with you Okay. If you can get away from them, think of it. Think of it like a swarm, because that's technically what it is. I know okay. that's so meta, but that. Should I wait? Uh, hey, hey, friends and adventurers, <laughs> should I, should I attack the the thing with heads first, or should I attack the things that are holding us down? Because I feel like we need to take care of this this little issue before we need to take care of that big issue. I mean, it just shot a lightning bolt at your friends. So, can you sh go get the big guy? Get the big guy? Yeah. Okay. Can I can I throw? Can no, I throw don't do my... that. Because it said once it left your hand, you lose your thing, right? No, no. Once no, it I, comes no, back. It comes back. Oh shit. It returns to my it's Yeah, a... it's like Yes. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> or charge it with your with your horse power. Uh I'm gonna five, ten, fifteen. Uh you could in theory back up and get a charge on it uh but there's like rocks and bushes and stuff in the way yeah i thought they were holding me down too yeah you would have to i think you would then I would have, have to, break, to use my break your way out yeah uh yeah i kind of want to just throw my sword at the mother that's what your her. wild magic is telling you you should do yeah i do. feel it in my heart so i'm gonna throw a sword at that mean guy yes okay do it so is uh, first, that's my d20. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. You're doing great. <gasps> Nat 20! <laughs> <laughs> that is Good job. beautiful. Of course it is. A that's champion. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Well, guess what? It will hit. Nice. Yes. Oh, man, I'm so good. All right. Y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> do it um okay. anyway okay so now i crap what was that i was too busy gloating um yeah so you're gonna roll your <laughs> roll your roll your damage die twice so it roll 4d6 and then add seven 4d6 so many d6s okay i have four okay i only have two d6 at a time just yeah. oh, oh. roll twice add it up add seven okay Can, I have look at this guy gm explain how to roll so 4d6 four. So, and a two and a one. So, four, five, six, seven. Gross. Plus um, and then seven. Plus seven. Fourteen. 14. That's decent. <laughs> I don't no, believe I mean, he thinks those are de decent. We need to celebrate the, the small wins. Yes, and oh. it was super duper cool. Uh, you guys just see her do her rage thing and then just like, like it's oh. nothing just rip out the greatsword and like throw it straight at the thing and it spins over end over end in slow-mo and it just sticks straight into it and then <sighs> pops back into her hand and says i can do this all day that was very uh very cinematic and very very cool so it was 14 damage 
Cool, cool. Cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Port. Papa Port? Wait, no, Ghost. Oh, yeah, sorry, Ghost. Yes. Can't read my own writing. Ghost. They're both four letters. I'd like to I'd like to first clarify that this is not normal for graveyards or cemeteries. <laughs> You're uh, repping for your hometown. <laughs> now guys, I grew up in a graveyard. It wasn't quite this bad. No, it's it's quite lovely. It's very quiet. Usually there's not screaming or undead things crawling out of the ground. They usually stay under there, so everyone has their space. But uh yep. I'd like to apologize. And um uh, um I'm going to set down my lantern so I can use both hands to yep. use no problem. the hand free. Um, not being careful with it particularly. I'm just kind of like setting it down. You and... you basically get one free object interaction per round, per turn. So take your turn. Yeah. Just you can set Plant it. it. No big deal. Plant it and swing. Um, so I'm going to attack with, I'm going to make two little daggers appear. Slash slash. Slash slash. Uh, at the you throw it at the big guy or are you stab it at the swarm? I'm stabbing at the swarm. I want to deal cool. with this problem first. Blaze is clearly uh, doing just great. <laughs> Dad, full confidence in her ability. Yes. Uh, first attack, psychic blaze. That's a twelve. Uh, twelve hits. Nice. Okay. Um. Am I considered flank? It's a swarm, so I don't know if that considered flanking flank. is not really a thing. It's as long as it has enemy one of its enemies within five feet of it, which okay. it does, then you can sneak attack. Okay. As long as you don't also have disadvantage on the attack. I'm a distraction. You yeah. are. Thank you, babe. You are also within five feet of it, so you count. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so that's with sneak attack for. Um... 19 damage with the first blade. Ooh. Nice. Uh, you, you just, you, you take one of your blades and you skewer the large kind of adult sized one uh, right through the eye socket and yeah. you hit it so hard that the head just pops off and kind of goes rolling off into the dark and its body collapses. Yeah, uh, let's go. It's still, it's still active, but you did a really significant <laughs> amount of damage to it. Let's, let's let's see what swing number two does to this. Yep. Do that again. The thing you did before. <laughs> That's a twenty-three to hit. That's gonna oh, hit. Oh yeah, no doubt. All right. This one is just a single D six. Uh, that's D four. It's D four because it's a bonus action. D four. Thank you. Thank you. D four plus I think four. I think yes. your your deck's been up. Yeah. Um, that is a six. Six damage. Thank you. Uh, that is beautiful. Uh, that is enough. So we'll just say with that second one, you do a slice and pop, pop, pop. Three more little heads pop off. Aw. And roll into the, and similarly roll into the darkness. I feel a little sad. They're still sad making for sound it. as they roll away, uh, but the, the limbs that were grasping onto everyone fall away. And you don't feel that, that sucking of your life force out anymore. So we can consider the swarm to have been vanquished. Hey. Yay. Huzzah. It disappears. Yay. Now it's Port's turn. It's Port's turn. Port, Port, Port turn. holds aloft his magic sword and says, I have the power. And flames erupt, lighting the area and just generally being pretty cool looking. Yep. Uh, let me, just because it's easier. I'm just going to switch it to. Reload. Let's see if that fixes it. You guys, you guys should all be able to see now. Okay. Indeed. Um, cool. I am going. It doesn't to... quite go. It, the radius isn't quite that big, but it's close enough. I am going to then go Bing, 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 and attack with the rapier. Yes. Uh, you guys can all, by the way, now see. There's a half guy here. There's a lady and her cat over here. Uh oh and pop here yeah oh there's a lot of zomboids 
Okay. Yeah. So yes, you move over to the uh, big gross one. Mm hmm. And I assume you're going to. I'm going to stab. That sounds like a reasonable plan to me. Yeah, uh, it's not a great roll though. It's an eleven. That's gonna miss, unfortunately. Boo earns. Yay. Uh, so now, thank goodness you're closer. Mm. Uh, because these guys have a chance to, um, you're kind of expecting the typical, like, uh, zombie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, they couldn't be fast you... zombies. That's not a thing. Oh, yeah. They, these are, um. And 5e is a little bit different, but these all kind of, um, they, they slowly have crawled out of the ground and they're just kind of looking listlessly around. But as soon as you move forward with the light, mm -hmm, their mm -hmm. eyes, they're, they, they flash up. Their they get eyes scared by the head. light and they run away. No, they swarm you. No. Oh. Swarm. I parry and repost. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 5, 10. What the heck, bud? Harry and repost. Uh, I, like I immediately regret my decision to get closer. <laughs> they like you. I'm they very like popular. You. So charismatic. Five, 40. <laughs> uh, that one is not good. That one had to double move. I, I uh, attack of opportunity. Nope, you don't. I don't. <laughs> Uh, I, I, attacks of opportunity only when an enemy leaves what in your, one of your threatened squares so they can move around in it likewise you can move around in theirs um, and apropos of nothing in case there is any confusion there, it, there are no negative hit points in 5e when you hit zero on your next round you will start making death saves which is a special type of, of save that basically if you get why are you worried about that that's not going to happen you hit zero, I'm just saying why are you worried zero. about it why are you even you gotta roll talking about a 10 it? And you're good. Why are you even talking it. about it? I'm a little, if I'm you're all a one, it's it. two I'm fails. A worried about it. Just talk. Just look. Your your goal is to get to three successes before three fails. A twenty counts as two successes. A one counts as, as two fails. If you get to three, oh you're dead. Dead. So I don't know why you worried about this. It's not going to happen. Uh, because I'm just saying it's happened before. Murphy's anyway, going to shoot them all with the crossbow. Probably so. Uh, but not before uh, they try to claw you a bunch. It's not their turn. It is. Oh. They moved up. Oh, Three of them man. moved in distance and can multi-attack you. The other one had to dying. use its action to uh, move. Listen, poor uh, world. So I'm not dying. Two I'm attacks. living. Um, You're gonna die. Dude. Nope. That's an actual one and an 18. So the first one misses you. The 18 does one, not hit. I know. Yeah, the first one misses you with both. The second one misses and a 20. So that's one hit. And the third one is a natural 20 and a 19. You son so of a three. bitch. Three hits, one crit. So I'll do. The... I demand new when D. You, when you hit zero. GM dice three change, hits. please. <laughs> uh, the three hits are nine, ten, seventeen. So I'm dead. Uh, is what you're saying? No. However, the crit is a five. Well, sorry. What was the total damage? 22 divided by half because necrotic uh, no this is just slashing damage oh well then i'm straight up dead you are not dead you are unconscious okay mm -hmm. got it so they cool uh good thing i'm the healer wait it's a bad thing i'm a healer heal. <laughs> yes um <laughs> Let's see, what does it want to do? It wants to... Thanks for the yeah. raid, Flint Bucket. I appreciate you. Dark work! Um, the you came at an intense super time. gross creature. It just got murdered. Uh, <laughs> it's, My favorite one. <laughs> it's, te it's tentacles and various external organs and stuff start to wave around in a very ornate pattern. And as it does, the slight glow coming off of it ripples around it uh, like a shield. How nice for it. Yes. It's, oh, a, real, it's a real jerk ball. Uh, and then it's going to... 
five, ten, <coughs> excuse me, 15 uh, up here. And it is then going to try to give you a little bite there, Blaze. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can definitely afford that. Is this uh, a shield like that's, a... That's an... Ele- it, it, yeah, it, it does something around itself, and then uh, okay. uh, it moves forward and gives a bite. That is an 11, however, to hit. I'm assuming uh, that misses you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that misses me. Uh, and you were not reckless before, correct? Correct. Yeah, I didn't... Okay. Cool. So it, it, it misses you, and it's all up in your grill. Uh, Mirth, what are you doing? You are not restrained. You have free I'm, movement. I'm going to have to end up healing people. It's like, do damage or heal people. I'm going to have to heal people. Like, people are almost dead. And I feel like I got to heal them because otherwise, who's going to heal them, you know? I, I don't know. A lot you of can, pressure you can, right now. No, just smack it. Smack it. I still have 14 points it. of health. Yeah, port's no, fine. No, I'm not. Like, but what port. about. Oh, what do you mean, port's, port's fine? About, <laughs> Port's yeah, I'm worried about port. Just let the zombies the eat thing. Port's brain. If I mean, Port dies, we're in night. trouble because Port's our actual healer. Mm. You think Port's going to die? I'm going to die. Yeah, he might yeah. die. If it matters to you, he looks Marth. bad. That's, that's like standard. No, like bad, bad. Oh, okay. I understand what you mean. Yeah, like real bad. <laughs> uh, Mirth, you can get to within... Uh, if I'll, I'll move you to show you where I'm thinking, you can move around this guy to get yeah. to here without leaving its threatened space to be adjacent to port. Okay. If, yeah, if let you, me if do you that because okay. I need to heal him because it's like, and this might be a terrible yeah. idea. I don't know. We're gonna uh, not not allowing one of your friends to be uh, unconscious and bleeding out when it has three enemies around it is probably a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, okay, don't double. This, by the way, decision? okay. If so, another thing that I was leading into: if you are unconscious, you are effectively incapacitated. If someone hits you with a melee attack, it is an automatic automatic crit. You don't take more damage because mm. you're at zero, but it counts as a critical fail on your death, which means mm. two death mm, saves. That's painful. So oh, no. two hits, three hits. Now they still have to roll to hit, uh, but it is at advantage. And two hits is four, four death saves. That die. is that's death. Yeah, I don't okay, want to die. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna roll. I just lost the die. Uh, it's fine though. But like, I'm gonna roll four charges for port. Yes. Is what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Six, twelve. Oh, want want celebrated too early. Oh, jeez, Meg. That's- 16 and then plus three right so 19 yep. points Beautiful. how do i go back to hit points oh yep you just add 19. i lost this guy so you are actually doing okay i think you're over half i'm at 20 hit points now i think why did it give me 20 from 19. It should have only given you 19. all right i'm at 19. 19. cool because there's Unless no negative one, hit points, right? There's no negative hit points. Yeah. No, so I cool. was definitely... I was at like uh, 15 hit points, and then you hit me from okay. way more yeah. than 15. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a death from massive damage, but it has to go negative your maximum hit points. Oh, yeah. No, so not even close. Like wow. Negative 30-some-odd or whatever, then you would be killed outright. Right. Which can happen at low levels. Yeah, and yeah, at high yeah. levels sometimes. But anyway, so you are prone. Mm-hmm. However... Yeah. You are alive and actually fairly healthy. Uh, it's Blaze's turn. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Meg. You're okay. the best, Meg. I mean, I have enough, no problem, do enough, Port. Do I have enough space to back up and charge? Uh, if you back other, up, other side. There it he is. will uh, get a free attack on you. Oh, okay. Mm. Can I get reckless? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling getting Move reckless on this. Oh, remind, reckless. Me, remind me what your rage roll was again. Uh, four. Wait, oh, rage roll? Hey, Frank. Yeah, you rolled a four. What was the effect? I keep forgetting that. Oh, um, it the, the effect? Oh, it's, it's the throw and mm-hmm. return. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, you could throw it at him from five feet away, but it would be a disadvantage range attack, right. so you probably just want to hit him. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Um, I'm going to get reckless. Yeah. Let's get dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. I forget what that means, but... Um, but I think I want to do it anyway. You attack with advantage. That means you roll with advantage. You attack with advantage, and every attack okay. against you gets it. All right. So I roll a d20 twice. 2d20, then add your mm -hmm. plus whatever to hit from your grade. Okay. I got an eight, a 19. 19 first. Nice. And roll again and see if you get a 20. No, I got a 19, uh, the highest. Yeah. Plus. Plus the. Six or seven. Can't remember which. So a seven? Yep. I think. So 25 will 100% hit almost everything you 100 percent hit it do you get okay. damage 2d6 uh, plus 7 all right 2d6 i rolled d4s last time guys oh uh, i know your heart wasn't uh, in it oh well no. this is a d6 it's a square one yeah it's too yeah. late yeah like normal die 2d6 denna was right yeah no i know yeah denna let me know i was like oh that's embarrassing oh i got a one and a one so that's great um so two so two d6 plus so nine nine okay yeah yep yep uh i mean it's 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 hard to tell this thing is just a big old mess um let me go ahead and get that off. uh but it's starting to look like you're making a dent in it uh ghost Oh, well, I'm alarmed. I, I'm happy to see that port is back in the land of the living, or less, the more conscious than unconscious variety. But uh, yep. So I'm gonna be able to focus in on the big thing in front of me, um, and I'm gonna do my best to square up next to Blaze and do the double slashies. Uh, yeah. All right. That first one, um, which was gonna have my uh, sneak attack. Well. Do I have to announce it's, that I have sneak attack? No, before the after you hit. After you hit. Oh, okay, cool. Um, it's a 10. That you do not hit. Okay. Uh, the second one with my offhand is a 22. Yeah. 100% okay. hits. It's a d4 plus 2d6. Plus 4. 14 damage with my offhand. Ooh. May I use my bonus to with the capital? Your e? second attack is your bonus action. Oh, that's right. No, yeah, you are okay. Yeah, but it's now. I mean, you guys are whittling away at it. It's now definitely yeah. feeling it. I mean, you you hit a couple of gross organs, and they just like <laughs> popped, and a bunch of like putrid stuff starts flowing out. It's like parts of it are deflating. It's mm. super duper gross, guys. Oh, it's super, super nasty. Gross. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm uncomfortable. I want to throw up. I just okay. bought these clothes. Port. <laughs> right. 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 You, you throw up and then it goes in all the pockets. Oh, no. <laughs> Pocket puke. I definitely Port. took off my, my poet shirt before we went adventuring, just for the record, <laughs> Ghost. You have three. You have I, three. I, I know, but I, 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 why would I ruin them? I know what happens. So, Port, uh, yep. it takes half of your movement to stand up. That's fine. There is no, there's no standing up provoking kind of thing. You can just stand up. Cool. Which you probably want to do because yes. you don't want to be pro. Correct. I'm going to lay on hands myself as a bonus action. Yes. I'm going to attack a zombie, I guess. Grandma, grandpa, or half man? Uh, or, yeah, or... I'm going to uh, go the for the one with the exposed brain directly north of me. Yeah, lady with a cat. La I guess lady a with the cat. Yeah. I'm gonna attack the cat first. Yeah. Um. No, I'm not. That's mean. Yes, that's a hit. That is an what, 18 what? on the dice plus six. Oh yeah. So 24. What was the cat's name from Pet Cemetery? I don't remember. I haven't seen it in a million yeah. billion years. Um. So this is gonna be. Uh. I'm gonna throw in a smite too. Do it. And it's gonna be a whole bucket of damage. Yeah. Yeah, bucket. Get it. All right. So that is 16, 20 plus the smite, which I have to go to a different page to see the thing of the damages of the thing. Uh, Where are you? Oh, man. oh my God, bud. Why I, think it, I think on your actions or attacks, if you scroll all the way down. Isn't it limited yeah. use? 
No. Uh, you just spend a spell slot. Divine Smite. Yeah, yeah, I know it was the damage I needed to see. So an additional 2d8, an additional yeah. 3d8 because I'm dead. Yeah. Roll it up. Give me the total. It'll take all of it. Uh, 27 damage total. Radiant. Ooh, that is quite good, in fact. Uh, you just plow into this thing. Oh my. Uh, and it's it's very, very, like, you you nearly cleave it in half. It's not and, dead? Um, <laughs> you uh -oh. think it should be? <laughs> oh no. Well, I mean, it like, you was hit dead it, the whole time. Uh, you hit it, and it, like, knocks it down to its knees, and you can see the, the red glow fade from its eyes. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, What? Wait. Zombies are, zombies are weird. Are they fighting. durable, or did it somehow come back from being dead again uh meta they have a thing called undead fortitude yeah they are reduced to zero hit points they must make a constitution saving throw with the dc uh oh no is any uh is your did you, your smite does radiant damage though right yeah radiant ah never mind Never mind. Ooh, Any ring. other type of damage, if they make a if they make a, a con save, mm. they they pop from zero back up to one, and you can keep hitting this thing at one as long as it keeps making its saves, it keeps coming back. Mm -hmm. But that's right, paladin radiant damage smite, it's gone, obliterated. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I figured. Uh, and as you kill it, you realize that it is an elf or a half, or was an elf or half elf. Cool. Uh, so that's one down. Uh, now they get to go. And you have killed this one. Take that one off. So now you've got three on you. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are just going to try to claw, claw, claw. Claw? Claw, claw. Claw! claw. Hey, Lissa, uh, what does that sound go? <laughs> uh, so the high on that one was a 14. <clears throat> that, neither of those hit. Place uh, know those 18 sounds. does not hit. So that's two of the three that haven't hit you. Uh, and an 18, so all three failed to hit you. Ha -ha. Oh, nice. Ha -ha. They're clawing <laughs> away at your armor. <laughs> Adventure. But may <laughs> maybe maybe whatever vision they have in their empty eye socket is somewhat blurred from the flash of my magnificence as you destroy one of them. <laughs> so that's their go. Um, the This creature, the big disgusting one, really wants to do bad things to you uh but it blew its big one with the with the weird lightning bolty thing so instead it is just going to try to bite blaze uh with advantage oh. because you were reckless uh so reckless uh, that is an 18 to hit yeah you got me okay so the piercing damage which you will have is god dang I probably should be rolling different dice. <laughs> uh, no, it was favorable for you last time. So uh, 13. So you'll take six total of that one. Oh, I can. I... The poison damage, however, I don't believe you can have. She can't have oh, it. Oh, I'll have it. All right. Uh, this was much more favorable. <laughs> Two twos and a one. So that's five total poison damage that you take all of. Okay, that's cool. I still have three HP. Uh, we're yeah. good. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. yep. It's all good. It's fine. Um, Mirth. Yes. Mirth. This thing looks bad. Yes. Bad Is ass. That, how, are, how do all the people look? Uh, all the people look good? I look almost flawless right now. Because okay. I, I, right. I did magic <laughs> you're fingers You're covered in disgusting zombie pus, but other than that, you're fine. Blaze does not look good. <clears throat> Okay, Pardon me. Blaze, does not Blaze look looks fantastic and beautiful, uh, with all the trinkets in your antlers and stuff like that. But Blaze looks like she's <laughs> Blaze looks a little bit because when it yeah. when it uh, bit, some of its disgusting slobber got into her, her wounds. And you see black oh, lines no. flowing through the veins. Going oh, no. up. Uh, it adds to veins, the look. Veins yeah. on the side of her face. <laughs> black veins heaving. Necrotic breath. 
aside from mm, necrotic breath. <laughs> um, as as long as you stay adjacent, as long as you stay adjacent to the big thing, it can't get an AOP on you. So if you want to move right. over and heal her, however, it also doesn't look good. It doesn't so, look good. Like she could murder it with so a little like damage. If you, po if you it, start poking like at if it, I crossbow it. You would be shooting with disadvantage. Oh. Don't yeah, you're you're adjacent to it, so ranged weapons. And your crossbow doesn't news. do a lot of damage. Uh, just saying, just saying. Then... No, just saying. It, then it gets a fr an attack of opportunity on you because you're leaving yes. its threatening threatened square or whatever. What's Port yeah. looking at right now? Is he being like overwhelmed by the things? I'm around fine. Him? He's got three zombies trying to murder. I'm him. fine. Yes. Okay, so he's not go really take care of Blaze. <laughs> Mirth, go take care of Blaze. I got this. We'll say he's not paying attention to you. Okay, Mirth, go I'm do it. I'm going to. I'm, I'll hit it with something then. Because uh, I'm going to end its life, right? Or do I need to go take care of Blaze? I it's, believe it's, in you. It's your choice. I can attempt Just to hit it, Mirth! Sometimes okay. the best defense is a good offense, but it's, it's right. entirely your choice. Hit it so we can quit it! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to do a. I'm gonna do a second level chaos bolt. Uh, hold on, that that is a ranged attack. Oh, uh, so I'm too close. Uh, you need a well, touch you'll spell. Well, you'll be attacking with you'll be attacking with disadvantage because it's a ranged uh, attack. Do you have a touch spell? Uh, no, let me I see don't here. Have any touch spells? Touching me. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, touching you. You, you do have a second level spell. Um. However, starts with what? a C. Uh, chaos bolt? No, second level spell. Starts with a C. Second level, second level spell. spell. Ends, ends with a round of madness. <laughs> I saw that one, but I, I didn't think you were talking about that one. Crown of madness. Uh, but I don't want to use a crown of madness. It, it's, also, it's also not a humanoid. It's technically undead. So yeah, 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 that'd be too dangerous. Yeah. I feel like you can um, you can ro roll the dice and attack with disadvantage. Uh, you do have, however, a magic missile uh, that does not require an attack roll. You can always magic missile. You can always oh, magic missile. Okay. It always hits. It's just roll the die. Uh, roll the. Uh... There's right, always money in the then. banana stand, Mirth. Yeah. A magic missile. I got magic missiles. And if you, if you cast it at second level, that will give you four darts. So, nice. Four d four. Yeah, four d four. Nice. Plus All right. four. So let me grab a couple D4s here. Yeah, we got some D4s. All right. Uh, I got three D4s. Oh, okay. But I'm going to be rolling four of them, yeah? Yep. Four D4 plus four. Oh, that is unfortunate. E. Six, and then there's ten, so 14. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's average. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, that's going to be a 50. Hold on. Let me double check. It's, it's real close. 48. Yep. Yeah, that's 52. Uh, three. Uh, yeah. So as we'll say Port's distracted, but maybe he sees something on his eyes. Um, Mirth sketches a quick glyph in the air in front of her, and her eyes flash a little bit. And then these four darts just kind of spring out in a wide arc around this creature and then all simultaneously slam into its flesh, setting off little tiny detonations of eldritch energy deep inside its organs. And the whole thing just kind of goes plop, 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 plop. Ah, uh, gross. And like it's it deflates so and there's like little, little fountains and jets of disgusting putrid oh, stuff spraying so out gross. all over everywhere how much ichor uh, it's so much. so much ichor so <laughs> much it's like it's like ichor all the way down yeah so <laughs> so yes mirth uh, before ichor never been sicker well done and and we can determine whether whether <laughs> wow whether uh so court much. notices that or not uh blaze it is your turn Okay, um, am I still reckless, or...? Uh, it's at the beginning of your turn, or when you attack, you decide. And then it lasts until the start of your next turn. Okay, I would like to, I'd like to be reckless again. You're always yep. reckless. That's absolutely true. So I roll attack with advantage, right? Uh, you need to move to a place where you can attack something, because big guy, I will move him 
Yep. Oh, big okay. guy is gone. Oh, big guy's gone. Yeah. Oh. He exploded. Oh my god. So much exploding. All you saw from your perspective as this as this disgusting necrotic poison hits your flesh and you can feel it just like ah oh, sickening you. There's I can little, feel it. There's a little You can't see your face, <laughs> Meg. Light, I know. I know. It explodes can, all over you. Can I I'm doing the can thing. I, I thought you were doing charge, the math thing. Can I charge grandpa? No, but I did get it just in case I need to do it. Uh yeah, I would say that now straight line. Uh, I, I'm going to say that its body is right there and it's real slippery. You just are going to need to move up to him. Okay, I'll need to move up to it. All right, yeah. then I'm going to move up to him and I can then be reckless, right? Yep, and whack him okay. real hard. And I'm going to whack him real hard, hopefully. Oh my. Well, we'll see. I'm going to roll for advantage. Okay, I got him. I mean, eight. it's been a while for grandpa. You, <laughs> might just, you, know, you might be able to distract him. I just yeah, murdered I grandma, right? And an 18. Okay. So I probably... Yeah. 18 hits all day. Okay. All day. They're, they're wearing whatever they were buried in. They, they don't have any armor or anything like that. <laughs> okay. Um, so this I'm one gonna... is also an elf. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still going to bop him. Yeah. I don't blame you. Still going to bop him. Uh, so I rolled 2d6s, right? 2d6 at 7. At 7. Okay, I got a five and a four. That's a lot better than last time. So nine plus seven, 16. Grandpa, 16 damage. Get ready. Yes. Take that, Grandpa. You, you cleave into his side, and it goes in deep, and you hear ribs cracking, and there's a, <sighs> there's a little I'm, bit of a I'm, sound, I'm sound as, <laughs> as gas escapes, and it smells really bad. <laughs> ah. Oh, yo! And, 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 oh. and, like, his spine oh, kind of fractures a little bit, and now he's walking at a bent angle, still up. Okay. Still up, man. But, like, mostly not, though. Eh. Ghost. Oh, looks all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying still you think it looks dead. good, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up and um, I'm gonna hit the little the the little guy. Yeah, yep. That one is also an elf. Well, half of an elf. Yeah. The oh, top gosh. half. Yeah, it's it's half of an elf. It's not a half elf. <laughs> um, I got a twenty to hit non natural. Oh, 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 no doubt. All right, that is the sneak attack. Half elf. Ten damage. Okay, and you have a bonus. Mm -hmm. And you have a bonus. Uh, that is a eighteen to hit. Yep. Uh, eight damage. No, no, sorry, Ooh. six damage. Six damage. Six damage. Cool. Good job, Port. Thanks. Port uh, is going to attack the crawly one. Yeah, the crawly one. No, wait. Did yeah. Lisa Tree did a lot of damage to the first one. I'm gonna attack Grandpa. I want to get one of them down before that's their yeah. turn to attack. Yeah, he's gassy. We don't like yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Your sword might ignite. Uh, that oh, is yeah. a twelve might ignite something him. plus uh six eighteen to hit. Yeah, one hundred percent. Hit on the die. All right. Uh, so this is. Uh, <laughs> 10, 15 Meg. damage. 15 damage. <laughs> uh, and that is just... That is and fire, fire and, and regular piercing. piercing. Beautiful. Uh, it's... Uh, ah, he does not make his save. Uh, so we'll say that you stab him in the gut and there's... <clears throat> as some of the flammable gases ignite, affecting effectively popping up the Christmas cracker. Mm -hmm. uh, and instead of confetti, it's dried up old jerky guts mm. that spray everywhere. And he is down. Aha. Grandpa gone. Portmanteau. Tell him. Grandpa did. <laughs> uh, it is now their go. Uh, Grandma doesn't like port. Uh, and half... <laughs> Half of an elf doesn't like Ghost Grandma. That's fair. So we have a natural one and a 12 to hit Port. That will not so that's hit. That's not going to work. And then for Ghost, 
we have uh, two sevens, nope. which I don't think are going to hit you at 11 there. Uh, let me double check. It's 11 or 12. 12. Yeah. So they also miss. Uh, maybe because he is having a hard time. He's trying to stand up but doesn't have legs. Good deal, Mirth. <laughs> yes. I'm going to... Does anyone need healing at this point? Uh, uh, you can... No, just... just... I'm looking around. Him. Everybody looks decent. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm pretty wrecked, but uh, I'm not anywhere near these guys. They're not targeting me. So as long okay. as we don't have some sort of terrible like new boss man coming up. And you also don't have not yet. Uh, you also don't have um <laughs> anyone adjacent, any enemies adjacent to you, Martha. So if you wanted yeah. to use your crossbow, you wouldn't have disadvantage. Oh, okay, nice. All right, so let's go. Let's do the crossbow. Let's do the crossbow. Bow for show. Bonus action load. Action fire. Yeah. Sh you shooting grandma or you shooting half half of an elf? Um, uh, I guess. Wait, grandpa's still up, right? No, grandpa's gone. Oh, okay. Grandpa the, and cat lady are gone. The half elf is hurt. The other one is at I'm 100%. I'm going to go for the, the half elf. I'm going to go half for Half of an elf. Yeah. The I'm going to go for half the half of, elf. of an elf. Half yes. of elf. Okay, Shoot. so do I have to roll? Roll to I hit. hit first, right? If you hit, okay. do damage. Yep. Guys, follow Lissati's TikTok. I rolled an eighteen. <laughs> eighteen hits all day. Okay, and then I'm rolling. My crossbow is. God, I haven't used it in a while, so now I like don't even know. My crossbow is. I think it's D eight plus three. It is one D eight plus four. three, and then I get a plus. Five to my hit. Oh, we already did that. Yeah. Okay. So let's go D8. Mm -mm -mm. That is not my D8. Do, 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 do. All right. D8 plus three. Yep. Oh, so boy. So one plus three is four. Math lady. <laughs> okay. You you hit him. It's, it, you, it like goes straight into his skull. And this time the red lights in his eyes fade out and then flare back up. And as he starts to drop, he kind of, um, he doesn't stand back up because he doesn't have legs, but he starts to go down and then, then comes back up. Uh, so you killed him, but he's not dead. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. Blaze. Cool, cool. Cool, right. cool. I, I'm feeling cool. reckless again. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Move yourself to be able to attack someone. Yeah. Put that recklessness to good use. Wait, I can throw. Can't I throw my? You can, or oh, you wait, can throw. Wait. Yeah, you can throw all day. Throw all day. Yeah. Your ragey thing. Yeah, I can throw. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my sword because I have three Make your attack. Yep. Um. So I. Okay. Oh, I got a nat twenty. Ooh! Ha ha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should just okay. always throw your sword because it's nat twenties every time. Clearly, <laughs> clearly. Okay, so that means. Uh, I... you, he is now several quarters and eighths of an elf. It doesn't matter. Uh, your minimum damage is enough to kill him and it's a critical hit and therefore his undead fortitude does not apply. So you just, hey. you pin him to the ground and then the sword falls over and slices it to little bits and then it pops Get... back into your hand. Melted. Nerd. Got him. <laughs> Was that, is that your catchphrase? Get melted, nerd? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Yep, that's it. So, uh, one. Ghost, it is only Grandma left. I mean, other Grandma. Bad Grandma. Check bad that grandma. one off. You, you, uh, Get melted, move nerd. Up, move <laughs> up and try and hit Gram Grams. That is a 25. Yep. <laughs> All right. Sneak attack. Nine damage. Cool. Bonus. Uh, bonus is uh, 13 to hit. Hits. Oh, wow. Uh, eight damage. Ooh. Max. I'm Ooh. just imagining Grandma Ghost saying, It's Knit Knit Pearl! Boom, boom, boom! This is what we kicked you the first time. <laughs> Beautiful. Port? Uh, yeah. Port is going to attack. Yeah, you probably should. And will <laughs> very likely hit with a 17. Yes. And rolled incredibly low with the damage. So that is a total 
of a whopping amount of damage <laughs> forthcoming. Ten. Ten damage. Someday. Ten damage. Ten. <laughs> she looks bad, but she is still up. Uh, it is her go. Uh, she didn't like that knit knit pearl joke there, ghost. Sorry, ghost. Uh, right. So she is going to uh, hit <laughs> one. 21, Thanks, and then the other one is 13, 20, so no. 21, 21 hits. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, with these guys are just here to be annoying. They don't do that much damage. Uh, so, oh, ho, ho. four points of damage. Can you take it? Mm, I don't know. Listen, that would kill me. Don't make fun. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing just fine. Graham Graham's doing good. Let me just... Mirth. <laughs> yes. There's one enemy that you can see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna crossbow. Bonus action load, action fire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got this. Uh, twenty. But then twenty. Now twenty. Oh, yep. For Beautiful. a hit. Why they yep. go on those Double ones? Double damage, bud. Yeah, roll your damage <laughs> die twice and then add your plus three damage oh i get two of these now nice 28 yep okay and then plus three uh, uh five okay that's terrible and plus three is eight isn't it plus six nope the static does not it doesn't double, double? Um, yeah it doesn't uh, double bummer so eight total so five and five is ten and three is thirteen. Oh, wait okay, what 13. Did you double? Oh, no, I have two die. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That's my bad. It's just five. I tried to make it more exciting. Five plus three it's is eight. just five, and then three is eight. Math yeah. lady strikes again. Math is hard. Oh, on, Listen, uh, I was <laughs> trying to both double, but then double again to make it better. However, however, no Grams, Grams has taken a, a good amount of damage, and because it's a crit, she does not get to use her undead fortitude, and therefore she dies how fortunous uh, this yeah. uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. so okay, you just fly up to do there. and pop her uh like right in the center mass and it flings her back pins her to one of the gravestones nice. uh and the lights go out and nice shot there uh mirth good job everybody yeah. yep. hey right. uh blaze let me let me touch you come over here <laughs> that's not the first time i've heard that Right. I literally paid someone. I literally paid a child to stay off of me. Okay. I mean, I don't have to, but I feel like you know what's gonna happen okay. if I do. Court. Court. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. You're gonna feel real nice. Too wholesome. That's wholesome family content. Uh, uh, I'm going to that's cure a very poor thing to wounds say, isn't it? and lay on hands, and it's not gonna give you a ton, but it'll help. That's better than zero. Uh, nine total. With the cure wounds, cure well the cure wounds was a four, and then I have okay. five more lay on hands points that I can dump Got into it. her Got with it. a bonus. Or no, that's not a bonus. That's actually a full action. I assume we're out of combat. It, it combat. doesn't matter. You're you're not in you're not okay. in initiative anymore. But we are still on the map. Yes. Um, oh. that's that's what I got for you right now, bud. Uh, actually, I might have more. Hold on. But don't hold on. I'll figure it out. Do do what you're doing. I need to charge up this wand again. It's come in handy quite a few times. It sure true. has. Uh, I will say that now that uh, Port's sword is lit up and you can see everything, uh, you can see that the entrance, there is a freestanding building over here with an entrance in it. Mm. Nice. Mm. It uh, seems rather crypt-like. Take another, or heal another four points with my healing hands. Your hands are so healing. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Okay. And any what more healing is going to have to come from uh, Mirth, unless... Can I get to I'm... it through the way I'm going towards? Uh, don't worry about placement on the map at the moment. Oh, okay. I, so you can, uh, if you want to walk over and give her a tap, you can give her a tap. I'm at 16. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, but I feel like be we better, might run though. into some stuff, you know? So I've got I got some charges left on this thing. I've used hold on, let me think about this for a second. Uh is that seventeen? I used four and four, so I'm at nine charges. So I'll use three on you. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay. 
Um, here we go. I have a question though. Is it? It's it's always the number of d6s plus the static. D8s. D8s. So wouldn't it yep, be yeah. make more sense to do like one charge, one charge, one charge versus doing three and one? I think there will turn so. But you don't triple the static, right? Or do you? You don't triple the static. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 gonna say, however, that that's that that's so what. Just, that's that's super meta. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I I'll say just it. Pretend it's like it's combat, and you are gonna use it. Okay. Um. So yeah, so sixteen. I don't know what you guys were talking okay. about. Sixteen. Uh, it, 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 theoretically, you could cheese it by saying, "Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap." one to get right, the three cool. and then i'm gonna tap you again for one to get the three uh, to get the okay. extra incremental but i would probably say since i made the magic item that the static bonus only applies once in you know an arbitrary number it's of totally time. fine i wasn't right. sure if like mechanically the person like mirth knows but you know in the heat of yeah. combat you want to dump all in exactly. versus like taking your time yeah mm -hmm. it's it's really there more for combat than anything else but it can certainly be used out of combat um so yeah, you you jump how many points back into place? Uh Oh shoot, what did I say? 13? 13? Is that what I said? Or no, I, 16. I'm sorry, it was plus 16, 16. 16. Yeah, yeah, I I healed myself. Cool. Oh, okay. How's everyone feeling? I feel feel real nice. So healthy. Feel real I feel good. Feel really healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I feel still feel fancy. I still feel like I look real good. I yeah. Make you look great. You look great, Thanks. Meg. Don't have a change. Oh, I actually am not feeling too hot, though. I'm kind of injured. <laughs> you should take care of that. While you take care of that, might I suggest that Ghost take a look at the door to that crypt? Sure. Yeah. No, I pick up my lantern and I, I just... I just oh, uh, here. Can you heal me? Can I... Oh, I'm sorry. Port, can Port heal me? I, I'm going to bing Ghost and give him light on his uh, hat. So he doesn't have to worry about the lantern thing. Oh, okay. gotcha. Oh, thank you. Now the 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 light will one hundred percent be seen by everyone. The, the advantage of the hood lantern is that it can. Of course, you're holding your glowing sword now. So uh, yeah, at this point, the cat's out of the bag. Okay. As they say. As they say. As they say. Um, I have one more, basically cure wounds, Meg, and it uses a spell oh, slot. Should I just wand myself? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the wand only has six more charges. I get it, but um, all I can do is one d eight plus one you, and it's way okay, more I'm effective wand. for me to have that in my back pocket in case I need to like cast yeah, an actual spell fine. or. I'll, I'll just wand me. I'll use two charges, and that'll leave us with four charges. Or yeah. you know, smite something. Yeah, your spell a... slots are often used for. Uh, cool. So ghost, uh, go ahead and get. It is in fact locked. You want to go ahead and give us a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, uh, time out, though. What's, I have a question about the mechanics of 5e. Can't we do, like, a short rest or something and use some hit dice or something? You can certainly do a short rest if you would like. Can yeah, we? Let's do a short rest. Do I don't really know how that works. Can you t explain it? Uh, it's an hour. You choose oh, a number of... It's an hour? Uh, it's yeah. an hour. Do we yeah, feel we've been like sitting for an okay? hour in silence. Mm -hmm. Not in silence. You just can't, in, you can't engage in strenuous stuff. Uh, so you can yeah. you can Inside. you can post up you can post up in a relatively <laughs> clean corner of the graveyard and catch your breath, um, and you can roll up to your total number of hit die. Uh, so roll your whatever your hit die is, add your con mod, as if you were rolling for hit die at level With up. D sixes. Uh, uh, it is whatever your hit die is, which I think yours. Is oh, mine's an eight. Yeah. So uh, you roll. I think, oh, I think maybe everyone. No, you're a barbarian. Shouldn't you have an eight? You're a barbarian. Yours, yours is higher. Uh, Where does it oh. say that in this? Do I have to use my melee? I don't know what a hit die is. Melee? <laughs> my hit die? I don't know what it is either. Oh, I don't know where D to find it. D you can click on D short D rest at the top 12. of the screen. Click on short rest and then select the number of die. Oh, my hit, hit 1 die 12. is 1d10. What's a, is yeah. this a 12? Oh, one yeah, yours is no, a 12. You, uh, yeah, barbarian's 12. Both. Fighters and paladins, I think, are tens. A lot of people are eights, and wizards, and I think sorcerers are sixes. I keep yeah. forgetting how convenient D and D Beyond is. I know, right? Be four. There's just Sponsor so much us. information. 
It takes the guesswork out of playing so that you can focus on fun. The got, jingle writes itself. I got eight. I don't understand what I did. <laughs> what are you, what are you trying to do? So if you click on short rest, yeah, and then it pops click up on it, the right. Click, yeah, click gotcha. the number of boxes that you want to spend. Right. So if you're real low, just use them all. Like it, there's no point in saving them, right? Because you're gonna you're probably not gonna take another short rest. I don't know if that's meta. I guess I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's late <laughs> at night. You'll take a long rest. Yeah. Uh, before you take another short rest, uh, the challenge is you're not gonna get them all back in the morning. You'll get basically. Well, it's better to be full health now than true that. Or there may not be a tomorrow morning. Do you know what I mean, Merv? Mm -hmm. Dost yeah. thou comprehendeth what I have said? Um, yeah. So, yeah. So if you want to, Merv, probably the easiest thing to do is just to roll a d6 plus one, and then if you hit full before you roll four of those, then you're good. And if otherwise, you just roll four. That makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, so, Dragonfire. I'm like down like a lot of points though. Yeah, yeah. Like twelve. Then, then probably just roll d6 to to Port's point. Just roll four d6 plus four. Okay. See what that gets you. Why do I roll plus two and she only rolls plus one? Constitution bonus is added. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Eighteen. What am I supposed to add to it? Eighteen. Plus four. Or do I just add the four because it's plus one for each one? So one for twenty-two. Each one. Okay, yeah. so that heals me all the way up. Cool. There you cool. Go. Glad you glad you thought of that short rest, Mirth. Good job. Yeah, thanks. I'm, just for for completeness, I'll click off all that. four of those so that when you take a long uh, the the appropriate amount will come. So you've spent all your hit die, but you're at full. Is everyone feeling healthy? Yes. I feel so good. So healthy. Yes. Pick the lock. Pick Attempt the, to lock. Pick the lock. Can we move over here now? 18. You should. Uh, 18 will pick the lock. We're so uh, proud. Jimmy it loose. Now, uh, do, don't even worry about moving. What happens here? Oh, we're not moving? Oh, Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Hey. Such nerds, I swear. <laughs> um. But people have, uh, did you put your sword up there, Port? What do you mean? Uh, is your sword still out and glowing? Okay, your, so your I would have put it away during the short rest, but I feel like before I entered the haunted crypt, I would probably have done the thing. Okay. Uh, yes, that That's probably, fair. that makes good sense. I'm just going to turn daylight on then, again, just to make it easy so we don't also, he has awesome. light on his yeah, hat. Yeah, exactly. Pink. So, I mean, it's cooler if you can kind of see the shadows and stuff. I do appreciate the nuance. I mean, it's not like I spent time like setting up the lighting, putting in lighting sources or anything. Listen, bud, you don't have to ruin it for yourself. <laughs> I know. I know. I I know. So cool. Yes, this is what you see. Ooh. You see a crypt, in fact. Hmm. Uh, it's quite nice. It is not of human design. Maybe it's of elven design. Can I roll design it's, check? It's it's elvishy. I got a nine on uh, architecture. Yeah, no. Mm. Uh, you have no idea. I okay. want to do it though. I got a seven on architecture. <laughs> yeah, don't know. Architecture check. <laughs> Uh, I think that's a flying buttress. What do you think, Mirth? A, dra a dragon <laughs> built this for sure. A definitely draconic in nature. No, no, it's a mermaid. It definitely. <laughs> dragon mermaids are a thing. Don't lie Trust to me. Trust me, I'm wearing it. a mermaid. I know my mermaids. You have a monkey on you. We all know it. It's not a mermaid. Yeah, Get out of here. It's a monkey off my hey. back. Not oh, jeez, but. So right now, all you can really see is. I mean, to ping that. All you can really see is. What do you do? Is a hallway? I mean, I You're, guess I'm gonna. Oh go, yeah. I am going to switch our uh, voice to a different host because Michael keeps cutting out. Oh. Give me one sec. I mean, you keep going, but if you notice something okay. weird, uh, you may need to reconnect to chat. Okay. So, uh, I can. Yeah, you can now see a little bit. There is a statue. 
right about here uh, of an elven woman. Uh, you Oh, you can't see other stuff. Yeah, that's what you can see. She has her back to you, though. Um, that's the main thing in this in this center circle here. Yep. Uh, okay. so it's on a dais. Uh, these are some sorts of magical lights. Amadeus. Okay. Amadeus. Um, ghost from where you are, kind of here on this uh, uh, plinth. You think there's probably a body in there? Sarcophagus, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there is a statue of a cat. Yeah. Uh, sitting, kind of looking down, as if it's maybe mourning its master or something. Um, I'm just trying to get in front of it so I can see the elf lady. Ah, uh, it is an elf lady uh, carved out of alabaster, and she's holding a book. We need that book. Well, we need to get in this because I think the book's in there's there. There's a book in her hands. There's a. I know. I think that's indicative of the fact that there's a book in the sarcophagus. Yeah. I think we got to open this thing up. Uh, it's a book book. It's not a it's not a stone book. Oh, she's like hold I, it's not just yeah, a statue yeah. book. It's the book. The book. It, it's a okay. book. I'm gonna go get that book. Or if you like books. Yeah, I love books. I'm gonna go get that book. Okay. You're a book. Do it. Should I like approach with caution? Nope. <laughs> just gonna go get it. I want the book. book? Yeah. You're a book. Be sure. Safe. 20, 25. Gonna I'm there. Day. I'm there. Oh wait, it's the other side. My bad. Yeah. I'm there. Give me that book, lady. So you guys, you guys step up to it and uh, pull the book out of our hands. Uh, I'm gonna ask her if I can have it. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm gonna do it anyway, and then I'm gonna take it. Okay. Maybe <laughs> is your magical detection doohickey going off? I don't really have any magical detection. Yes, you do. You have the witch glass. Oh, yeah. Can I check that thing out? Uh, it, it's still glowing a bit. Um, I, do you put the glove on so it doesn't just glow when you, whenever you touch it? Yes. Okay, so uh, as you enter into this area, it does glow. And as you move the um, witch glass near the book, it similarly glows a little bit brighter. Ooh, this is magic, you guys. <laughs> oh, 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 it's magic. Uh -oh. You guys, know. <laughs> this is magic. All right, so, um, yeah, you, I'm you just gonna... You just chilling out on the stairs there, Blaze? Taking up yeah. the rear. Okay. I'm just going to ask about... I'm, I'm just going to ask stairs. her if I can have the book. The statue mysteriously says nothing. Whoa. Okay. I think that means no. We're surprised. I think I'm taking it. Uh, can I turn on divine sense? Yes. As an action, I can detect good and evil until the end of my next turn. You can sense anything affected by the hallow oh. spell or mm. know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Oh, I have yes. magic aware. I have magic awareness too. Yes, I mean, you do. Uh, guys, um, there's all although, these things we didn't even know about you. I get, yeah, I guess Murph. <laughs> I feel like we don't even know you. I guess so. Murph you, kind of has... you are, you are, you are where you are, Port, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Boom. Oh my gosh, I hate when you ask us about our location. Yeah. Uh, You're standing in that specific exactly spot, you right? Got there. You Age, sex, pick up a sex. slight ping of undeadness here. By by where Meg the Math Lady is? I yep. mean, sorry, where and Mirth the here. Math Lady is? is. <laughs> <laughs> and where? What was the second ping? Sorry, I missed it. Here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to okay. point those out to, the, to my friends. And uh, it's not total cover. It's close, but not quite. There's one over here, too. Uh, okay, so I think that it, are these a sarcophagi or ca mm -hmm. caskets or something? Yeah, uh, these the square two bits are. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is just a statue. Okay, so so maybe from it within. So I tell you, I tell all of you within these two uh, caskets or sarcophagi, there 
there's some evil and then also that something on in or around that statue is also evil so just uh yeah, it's be careful it's, it's i'm sorry dead. undead i'm gonna move yeah. over here i'm gonna okay. move by by ghost I'm gonna move um, up. Can I move oh. closer, a little bit closer to Matt, uh, Matt Mirth to help in yep. case something like crazy happens? You guys can see that the the ping over the thing that is well, you don't know, but uh, very much like this sarcophagus. This sarcophagus, sarcophagus. sarcophagus had a cat sitting on it, looking down. Mm. This has a doll. Oh, Ew, no. kind of oh. kind of laid on top of no, it. No, I'm not okay with that. No. Mirth is staying away from this sarcophagus. <laughs> Mirth's not cool. Will all. save. DC twenty. You can never leave. This is the this is the Hotel California. Uh, okay. So what are you doing? Uh, the, I would like the book to take is right the, there. Uh, I would like to take the book. Okay. <laughs> Do I have to roll anything to take the book? No, you just pull it out. Okay. Oh. Good. And initiative. Uh, 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 <laughs> Mirth. This is terrible uh, news, guys. Bum, 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 uh, bum, bum, bum. 16 for Mirth. Blaze. Uh, I rolled a 10, so 13. Fort. Uh, I rolled a 1, so 5. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I know. I, I'm going to switch guys. dice. Five? I know, Meg. What do you want from oh me? Oh my God. I want higher rolls. Me too. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we just got one. See, I want yeast rolls. Ooh, those sound mm. good too. Yeast rolls? Yeah. yeah. Oh, ghost. I didn't, I didn't call for yours. What'd you get? 17. How could you forget about ghost? Because I was worried that he would get a higher initiative, then, but he didn't. Been here for years. <laughs> oh yeah, mother truckers. Also, is the are you saying the book lady's initiative is better than ours? Oh yeah. This is terrible news. Aren't you the book lady? No, the book lady is the lady I took the no. book from. But you have yeah, the book, so now book. you're the book lady. No, she's working. She's the book list lady. She is now the book list lady. You are the book lady. Uh oh, geez, Rage. At a moment. Um <laughs> For the moment, you are the the book lady, uh, until the book decides that it doesn't like being your possession. So, give me a second to move these to the appropriate layer. We'll just put it there. So, the book, the cat, and the doll are suddenly surrounded in this coruscating greenish uh, eldritch light mm. and they uh, begin to I mean you're holding on to the book so maybe it can't levitate but it feels like it wants to levitate uh, the cat and the doll levitate in the air uh, and they are all going to attack you guys because why wouldn't they the Not book obviously. is attacking us yeah, yeah of course I it laugh is. haughtily you are going to eat those laughs. I'm going to eat that book. <laughs> uh, this I one. To like paralyze the book? I don't know. This one is going to move through. When you say and ghost. this one. Oh, that one. The doll flies forward towards you blaze and you kind of set yourself uh, against its attack and then it moves mm -hmm. through your body no that's oh, normal yeah. it, it moves Gross. through your body ghost which is actually mm -hmm. kind of a familiar feeling because it just wants mm -hmm. to be on the other side it also wants to show off what it can do um oh they're showing off for us uh oh, so it's going to attempt to st stab you their ghost and miss uh and then it is going to teleport uh -oh. What does it do to me? <laughs> it's going to teleport uh, to here. <laughs> Got him. And make another attack uh, against Mirth. That is going to be a 21, I oh, believe. Oh, that's going to hit Mirth. Oh, yikes. That hits me. Uh, that's going to hit yep. any of us, honestly. Uh, and you take... Oh, that's a d4 and a d6. 
no, 2d6. Uh, so d4, d6 is six, 10 points of damage. Tickle Final, damage. which is stabby damage uh, from the little knife that it has in its hand. And the uh, five points is psychic damage. Ooh. Uh, the other one, the cat is going to pounce over here and uh, attempt to get blaze uh that is however a um, two yeah. so it is going to then teleport to here and <laughs> attempt to hit blaze with a 15 which i think misses right misses yes okay cool uh and then the one that's in your hands mirth is going to uh, it's like using its i guess it's using its pages and they're super sharp uh, <laughs> oh dear that's a 19 so 23 that paper cut though uh yeah that paper cut though that's 12 points of damage for mirth <laughs> yeah why do you that hate is, meg the math lady that's, so much that's six, six slicey slicey and six psychic damage crippled, crippled. okay yep and then it's going to teleport to here and go after ghost what do each of these things have two attacks so far yeah oh uh however that's a 14 which i don't think hits ghost oh way to miss ghost but destroy meg the sweet dear math lady and let's yeah, see Cat, like, what can i say doll okay cool uh yeah it is now uh ghost turn um just uh i can i can tell i can send some aggressive vibes uh, yeah they're trying to kill you yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna wager that i am i am i smart enough to figure out that these are not worth trying to reason with ghost to ghost i'm gonna talk to that book ghost to ghost. yeah the only ghosts okay. that you ever reason with are the ones that make up your your personality gotcha. they're not okay these are also kind of blurry, uh, which is going to be a problem because you're going to attack with damage, which means no stick attack. Yeah. Okie dokes. Because they're kind of phasing in and out, and that uh, glow around okay. them makes them a little bit difficult to pinpoint. Okay. All right. No sneaks today. That's all right. Yeah. Um, that's that's still a that's still a sixteen uh, twenty four to hit. Uh, with disadvantage. Does my disadvantage get canceled out with the advantage? You don't have advantage. With um with Blaze? Uh that's only uh having an enemy within five uh, targeting something with an enemy within five feet of it only allows you to sneak attack. It's not grant advantage. Having advantage also gives you the ability to sneak attack even okay. if it's not next to someone, but okay. yeah. I got yeah. you. Okay. Thank you. I learned. Um I got a nineteen then. Yeah, for sure. Hits all day. Cool, cool, cool. That is nine damage. Uh, nine. nine. Oh, no, it isn't magical. Uh, it's psychic damage. Psychic. Yeah. Um, and almost uh, almost nothing is immune to psychic, psychic damage. Uh, okay. and, and you are attacking... Uh, book, that book. is book, right? Book, book. And may I use a bonus? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, with disadvantage... Let's say 10. 10 is going to miss, however. That's okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we are now going to go to Blaze. Hello. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I'm real mad. I'm real mad about Mirth's paper cut. Mirth got Ow. paper cut. And Help you know what? Blaze. He loves those books. I How do can love you do them. this to her? You're ruining How? it. Uh, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm real mad. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm ready to rage. I'm ready to rage. Now I'm angry. Now yeah. I'm angry. Uh we'll keep first first off, I gotta roll to to get my wild surge. Yes. I got a one. What does I one do? One. I will tell you what one does, my friend. <laughs> my 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 friendo. Okay, shadowy tendrils lash around yeah. creature of my choice that I can see within thirty feet must succeed on a Constitution saving throw or take one d twelve necrotic damage. I'm assuming you're targeting all of them. 
Yes, I also gain 1d12 temporary hit points. Nice. Yep. Roll, roll the d12 for your hit points first. Okay. The hit points. 12, 12, 12, 12. Oh my god, there's so many sides to if these. If you want okay. to donate some of them to me also. Just just gonna... Sure. <laughs> okay, I got five for my hit points. So five Great. temporary hit points. Yeah, hit temp and add five. Uh, so Cat uh, is going to fail, I'm sure, with a uh, five. Uh, Book is going to get a 12, which I think is the DC. What's the DC, Lisa Tree? Uh, the DC equals 11. 11. So the, the book uh, makes their, makes its, and the doll uh, fails. Okay. So, so just roll a D safe one. Your choice if you want to roll a D12 and apply it to all the D12 separately. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just can I just roll and let's see. Just roll roll a D12. Yeah, it's okay. fine either way. Okay, okay I rolled me. nine. I'm just gonna apply that to both. Uh, all three actually. Uh, so uh, cat and doll take four. And book takes two. Yeah. Uh, they are resistant to, they are resistant to necrotic damage because they're undead. And the book <laughs> took its, uh, got got its saving throw. Uh, so cool. But but still, that was just part of your rage. Now, what do you want to do? Now. I assume, I assume we want to hit something. I want to hit something. <laughs> you uh, I want to hit the book. I want to hit the book. I'm mad at the book. Okay, yeah. hit the book. But I'm reckless. I'm feeling reckless, my You're friend. You're reckless, which means which. So you have disadvantage because they're blurry. You have advantage because you are reckless. Therefore, you just roll a d twenty. D twenty. One roll. Let's go. You are. You have less wreck than the rest of us. Seven. Plus. <laughs> plus. I always forget what the plus is. Get yeah. wreck less, nerd. Uh, I always forget which one I'm supposed to look at. Your attack. Uh, it's the first number next to in the box next to your greatsword. It's either six or seven. Uh, seven. Okay. Seven. So fourteen. Fourteen hits. <gasps> Huzzah! Yeah. Huzzah! Oh, frick, I'm amazing. Okay. Now I have to do two two d six. Plus. Plus seven. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wait. Plus five. Five. Plus five, plus two for raging. You always add two okay. when you're raging. Ooh, yes, yes. Well, okay. until you level up. Also, okay. juice is overrated. Okay, yeah. I got a six, a three, nine, plus seven. So, 16. Ooh. Yeah. The, the book is starting to look a little bit uh, worse for wear. Nice. Yeah, take that information. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, it's the evidence that you need, but that's fine. Uh, Books. <laughs> what? Is it really? Crap. Yes, we have to get this book. How do we get yeah. it without we killing the, it? We gotta beat the spirit out of it first, and then yeah, we can yeah. have it. We gotta defeat up the ghost. We gotta beat the soul out, and then we yeah. we the corpse. Merith, we I, think you're, I think you're next. Okay, so let's do. Um, oh yeah, I got a metaphor. It's fine. It's a matter. Uh, let me look at what's the board looking like. Oh, we're like right like that. Okay, so let's do. Um. I'm not, I'm like right next to this thing, huh? Yep. Can I attack the other thing? Uh, you, as long as you are attacking with range and there is an enemy within melee of you, you'll be attacking with advantage. Okay, I'm going to attack the book. Yep. And I'm going to attack the book with my crossbow. Oh. That will be a disadvantage. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. You're going to be attacking with, you're going to be attacking with disadvantage anyway because they're blurry. So you can't double okay, disadvantage. Let's do, double let's hate. Do, can I do like a um a oh can I do a cantrip? Can I do a firebolt? Yeah. Those are at will. Ooh. Let me throw yep. a firebolt. Let me just throw a firebolt. I'm saying F if he sees me, he sees me. I'm throwing I'm this literally firebolt. right next to you, bud. Yeah. I know, but you could be distracted by the thing in front of me, and I might just <laughs> throw like a tiki firebolt out the side, yeah. you know? Yeah, no. Fireball. Anyway, so you're gonna fire a bolt. Roll, roll two d twenty. Take the lower. Okay. Uh. Well, and I have plus six to my hit. So yeah. 
on that. Pretty good. Uh, nine and 14. So nine plus six is 15. You hit. Uh, are you Perfect. shooting at the doll or are you shooting at what? The book, I'm shooting said. the book. The book, okay. Okay, so 1d10. <laughs> You're chopping it and setting it on fire. That's fine. Are you kidding me right now? How much damage? I do one damage to it. Well, yep, one damage. Oh, <laughs> okay. Better than the good news. Good news is it doesn't turn to ash. <gasps> yes. Yes. I fired a book. Or, okay, you can I do that the little. whole time. Listen, no, I accidentally <laughs> I farted into a flame. It was crazy. That's why I'm I only not, did not one, an idiot. That's why I only did one point of You damage. did a magic. I Port. farted into this flame. You did Port. a magic. It's your turn. Yeah, well, I'm stunned. I lose a turn because of this deceit. Can I turn, can I turn and wink at him? <laughs> yes, you can turn okay. and wink at him. Like, ha ha, I can do it all on. For shame. I mean, uh, you can well turn around and do this. Blow out your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. I'm attacking. Oh, the... oh, did I not mention that I cast spells? Oops. <laughs> I am attacking the creepy doll because it's right yes, in front of me. Please. And I miss with the natural one because of my stunning, because of yes. Mirth's stun, stunning you just, revelation. You're prepared to stab it and then your, your head turns. And you go, yeah. what? And you just stab the air. Yeah. Beautiful. This is your fault. Wow. You okay, now I'm it. rolling my eyes at you because let's go, bud. I can't see okay. it because I'm just I'm the world is spinning around me right now. I'm cat att attempts to attack Blaze with an 18. That's gonna be a hit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh you take three points of slashing damage and four points of psychic damage, so a total of seven. Whatever. I have temporary HP. Yeah. Ghost. <laughs> uh Stab book. book is going to try to attack you. Uh, miss and a hit. Uh, you take uh, an amazing five points of uh, slashy damage and four points of psychic damage, so a total of nine. Uh, and Doll is going to, I don't know, try to attack port. Uh, miss and 21. Uh, you take a total of 10. And it is now ghosts go. Do it, I'm ghosts. Gonna, I'm going to attack the darkness. I'm going <laughs> to slash at the book. ghost book. Yes. Are there any girls there? <laughs> That's a 12. Uh, ba -ba 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 miss. Okay. Double check. Uh, yeah, miss. Attack number yep. two. Yep. Ooh, ooh, that's a critical miss. That's a one. Oh, boo. Uh, Blaze. All right. Uh, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling reckless on this cat, yo. Oh yeah, okay. reckless. I think I still have um I think I still have a uh, disadvantage the, and then advantage, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So it's just flat roll. Now the book is the one that's been damaged, not the cat. Just so you know. Right. Are we? I'm worried about destroying oh, yeah. it though. Good, good. Good point. Good point. So you're I'm worried about it. Like, I'm gonna attack the cat. Do it. My cat, my cat just left me and made me feel bad. So <laughs> you guys like, I'm out. This is personal. Yeah. I don't like the way it's going. Okay, I got an 18. Beautiful. Um, so with disadvantage. Oh, yes, yeah, right. You have flight roll. Yeah. So yes, you hit. Um. So then I roll 2d6. Yep. I got four plus seven, which is 11. Plus two. Okay. The seven so, is with plus two. Oh, the yeah. seven's with plus two. It's usually plus. It's usually plus five. Okay. Yeah. Until you're raging. Cool. Uh, it is significantly more damaged. Uh, it is now uh, Mirth. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, gosh, maybe I should ease up on the fire and like just crossbow <laughs> this book. Can I crossbow the book? Uh, also, magic missile. Remember, doesn't require roll. It just hits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could magic missile. Let's do that. That sounds good. The so let's magic missile. Um, I'm going to magic missile. Uh... Oh, and that's the one I can cast second level at first level or whatever. Yeah, you can upcast it to get an extra yeah. to make it 44 plus 4. Okay. 
So let's do that. You can also split the missiles between different things, right? So like if you, you think can, you you can. I'm not saying you should, but yeah. for future reference, if there were like two targets, right. you could be like, I'm sending two over here yeah. and two over there. No, yeah, that's fair. It, it okay. almost it they do so little damage, it almost never makes sense to do so, but you right. certainly can. Okay, so cool. Six and one more of these. Nine. And then four, I'm allowed to add to it, right? So 13. Uh, who are you hitting with that? Uh, the book. Aha! You blast the book out of the air. It with doesn't the... uh, It doesn't look great, but it's not on fire. With the power nice. of force. Woo! Yay! Uh, so that's one down. Uh, so now she casted another spell there, Port. Uh, and it is, in fact... Uh, <laughs> Your turn. This time I just turned to you and I go, eh. It's my turn. This, because, because it automatically hits, I, I imagine that, that Mirth just turns and looks at Port and then casts a spell, and then the little darts fly out around you and then hit without you even looking. Now I'm just flexing. Now I'm just like, yeah, you know what else I can do, Port? Watch this. <laughs> Pew, finger guns. Pow, pow. I got all the spells. All right. It's my turn already? Yeah. Okay. I rolled marginally better that time. Um, that's going to be a 13 to hit the creepy doll. No. Okay. Rip. Man. Creepy doll, creepy doll doesn't like you. I'm not rolling uh, hot. I'm going to change dice again. Yep. Yeah, creepy doll doesn't, doesn't get his thing back. Creepy doll misses on both. Cat. Good. Uh, 17 against you, Blaze. I think that hits you. Are you uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you take it. Mm. Uh, that's five. So two. You take seven total damage. I already have. The damage. Easy peasy. That's nothing, cat. Yeah, cat. Suck it. Ghost. <gasps> Ghost. Gun show. I'm going to go also attempt to hit the cat. Yep. Yeet that cat, Moro. <laughs> That was a miss on the first attack. Yeah, okay. It was, a one, it was a one. I got yeah. another one? Yeah, I guess. Well, with disadvantage. Yeah. Sure. Uh, that's a 13. Wait. So close, but no. Are we all rolling disadvantage even on melee attacks? Yes. Oh, shit. Well, it's a good thing I missed both times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any attack against them uh, is it? Is there blur? Right. Uh, Beleza. All right, uh, I'm gonna do the same old thing. I'm yeah. gonna get reckless uh, <laughs> against the cat. Living life reckless. Do you get to reckless any as many times as you want? Yep, it's just a decision that's made at the start of your turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. the scary it's part like, is if they attack me. Yeah, yeah, yeah they like, get advantage. You wake up every morning, you just choose violence. You know. Uh, <laughs> I but hit, but I'm not rolling super well with attacks, so. I hit an eleven. Nope. That's yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, Mirth. Mirth is is gonna probably have to heal herself real quick because she just realized she was showing off to <laughs> to pour and that she's actually about to die. So I'm gonna use three of the wand charges on myself. Cool. Roll that up, and we'll do port. All right. I'm going to. Ugh. I wish I had something that would help with this particular problem. This is plus three, right? Yep. Okay, so 15. Okay. All right. Um, I will attack. Just get good, Port. With disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. It's You know what? I did get good. My low roll is an 11, so that's uh, 17. Nice. 17 hits. Nice. All right. Getting good was what I needed to do all along. Yeah. Easy peasy. All along. Uh, that's going to be 13 points of damage six of it is okay. fire if it matters yep yeah it doesn't it takes all of it uh it's looking bad but it's not down uh and uh mm. they get to go so uh creepy doll really doesn't like port because it hit creepy doll yeah really come hard. at me bro uh and it is going to get a 19 which does hit you mm -hmm. if i'm not mistaken yep uh so that's going to be Plus two is eight. Total? Eight what? Type. Uh, 
Uh, it's a mixture of slashing and psychic. Okay. Uh, uh, this one's going to split between Blaze and Ghost. So oh, Blaze, man. the first attack is going to be a hit with a 20. Uh, you take two, six, three, so three plus four. You take seven total after the half. And against Ghost, it is going to be a miss. Wow. Ghost, it is your turn. Let's try it again. Um, real angry, real angry, angry cat, angry grandma. And, and just because it's fun, I'm going to say that, that it moved. It's still, I mean, you can still target it, but yeah, just offensive. Uh, 14. 14 does hit. Thank God. Thank God. Got it. Okay. Five damage. Okay. Kitty cat is down. Yo! <laughs> nice. That was min. That Yay, was min. way to murder a cat, you monsters. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, it, it just returns to being a statue. Oh, uh, yeah, see? Fine. A Ghost, broken statue? Uh, you, you have a move and a bonus action left, so you can absolutely move over to adjacent to the doll and stab out. Or oh, attempt okay. to. Fantastic, thank you. Or you um, can throw from where you are. It doesn't really matter. I like to. I'm a gr grandma. Grandma likes to get up into things business. Yeah, not always, but this. Uh, I like melee. You got up into that old man's business real quick. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 grandma got game. Hey. I got an eight. I don't think that hits the ball. An eight. An eight. Absolutely misses. No, uh, Blaze. Dolls the worst. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go reckless. And Let's move roll. over next to it and try to hit the oh, creepy yes. doll. That is important. That is important. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna move. Them. I'm gonna move next to it, and then, and uh, then, get it. Nineteen. One hundred. And... Yep. Yeah, one hundred percent hits. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. I did eleven plus seven. Yes, creepy doll mm. is broken in twain. Yay! Yeah, it falls. It falls into pieces and rolls on the floor, and then its one broken eye rotates up to look at you. I crush it Ew. with my foot. <laughs> I will ask Jonathan Colton next time I see him if I can borrow that song. Um, cool. <laughs> you have the book. This was a trial. Yay! You have yeah. broken some statues. Do you want to loot the tomb? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Well, no. I, we got to see if there are more undead to kill. First off, no. Like, yeah, I like, I like there's probably there's probably nothing in here. We just murdered everything. Right. So there's probably loot. Well, considering that it's eleven thirty, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that Port it probably still has the detect good and evil up because that was very short moves over in this general direction, looks in this room, and sees a very, very powerful source of undead kind of oh. in this wall. Yeah. There is oh. a gilded skull set uh -huh. into the wall uh -huh. that is radiating very powerful undead energy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's not moving. No. Right. I'm out. So let's because get you it. haven't entered the room. I'm out. So should we just should we just listen? Leave it this here? Is a we have to leave. Cliffhanger? Is that what you're Mer saying? Cliffhanger? Uh, you can cliffhanger it on this thing, but it. How's everyone's we're, health? How many? Did, how meta is that, listen, Michael? Listen, Mirth is going to tell everyone no, she doesn't feel well, and we're <laughs> leaving. And they're all going <laughs> to give in to it because she's just so dang charismatic. Mirth, now that we know that you have all these spells that you've never been using, <laughs> you are, you're fine. Like, you're good to go. Just. You can unload no, the full we're not arsenal. Good to go, dude. This is like serious evil you're detecting. Mm -hmm. And this girl That's why we is have to not destroy on it. fire, okay? She's hurting for certain. <laughs> you have I will Just say this, Court. You guys have had a rough night. See? Sometimes the powers that be give you a sign that maybe it's just not the right time yeah. to defile the, the, this crypt any further. <laughs> yes, it's true. Can the, I roll to see if I convince them? I'll roll at disadvantage even. You don't even have to. Yeah, sure. 
Okay. But you can you can certainly do it just to get a set or just roll, roll your. Trust me right now because I just did a bunch of stuff. But oh, that's true. also he should know that like I know some stuff and you should trust me, man. Okay, persuasion is plus six, so this is what we're doing. Okay, seventeen. Yes. Am I rolling with disadvantage though? Hold on. I don't. It doesn't matter. 18, boom, <laughs> 17, <laughs> plus six, 23, well, Mirth, well, Mirth, Mirth says, you're making get some good. Here. You're making some good points, Mirth. <laughs> the, the, the saints uh, also speak in your, in your heart for it and say, CR4. Hmm. All right. Well, listen, I don't want anybody to die, and it's my nature as a protector to make yes. sure, like, we got what we came for. It just means that we're going to have to come back another time to, to vanquish it because as yeah. a paladin, it's kind of my duty to do these sorts of things, it's right? It's true. Yeah, man, you can, you can absolutely come anywhere. back. You can come right? back when you're rested and can take a couple of fireballs. Yeah, dude, they're they're not going anywhere. They're in that oh wall. They're, they're stuck. I think they're stuck in here, yeah. Grandma's excited that she's not going to be around for fireballs. <laughs> right oh grandma's like God. i i am out of here let someone else drive <laughs> for the fireballs <laughs> go sit margaritas on the beach yes they go speech so you have recovered the book it's a little bit worse for wear but not destroyed because you didn't hit it with fire and set it on fire. Mm. um we tried our best though <laughs> you did try your best <laughs> we did try. so you make your way back Downtown. And uh, all, all told, you were gone Walking for fast. probably a couple of hours. Because again, you have Faces to fast. time your ag time your exit to not get caught by the guards. But because you have cat daddy booze, that's right, feline father booze, um, <laughs> uh, intelligence, you're able to skirt the guards and you make your way back to the carousel, where Darren will greet you at the door and say, "Oh, back back so soon." D ran. We got it. We ran. Rolling. We get things done quick. You got what? Do you mean like we got it, or do you like? Are you referring to something in particular? I don't know what's happened. Yeah, I don't think Darren knows about. What we're you doing. did. You're beautiful, Darren. Don't ever change. And we walk in. You're looking great, Darren. <laughs> you, brought him, yeah. you brought him his wine, right? Da By the way, uh, Darren uh, is is a really handsome half uh, half orc. I'm just, really I mean, looking. is he pulling double duties like? As a bouncer and as a no, oh. I mean he might he might be a little bit of a thirst trap. It's like oh I'm your Darren, mm -hmm. and then people go ah but mm -hmm. yeah but you can have Sheila instead. They're like oh mm -hmm. I'll be thinking mm -hmm. of Darren. Um, <laughs> I think Moro is our thirst trap for this game. Okay, we're gonna have to find something <laughs> next week. Yes. So, um, but Darren will lead you back to the grotto uh, where Ethra's Darvel. Uh, is is lounging. He has since put on a shirt. Um, oh, I know, right? Uh, but he probably unbuttons it a little bit as you come in. It's like, oh, yes, <laughs> I have to make myself presentable, <laughs> sexy. A little rub, a little bit of oil. Um, this guy's style is impeccable. Oh, oh, welcome back, my friends. Just come back so soon. What I assume of... you have good news. What... Not that you're crawling back here with a tail between your legs to say you were scared off by a few. Why I don't know shadows in the dark. Why with the tail jokes? Christ. She's sensitive. <laughs> over and You're over right. Again. You're right. That that was that was insensitive of me. I do apologize. Good night, Pucker. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. Uh, important questions first, though. What type of oil and what is that scent? Where did oh, the oil come from? It's almond oil with a little bit of lang lang and mmm. Oh, the Ilrian Islands. Very expensive. Mm. I like. But it keeps me supple. Chef's kiss, my friend. Yes. Oh, I was with you uh, until supple. <laughs> I'll have I'll have someone send you a bottle. Your your breast seems oh, very yeah. moist indeed. Ah, uh, tender, tender but firm, just the way I like it. <laughs> I mean, I do my isometrics. I keep toned. <laughs> I mean, you have to keep up an appearance if you're a Lord Mayor, right? And hopefully. A Lord Mayor for a good long time with, I'm assuming, the evidence that you brought for me. Yeah, it's in perfect condition. Show a mirth. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Mm. Smells a little scorched, but let's see. Of, it's a little bit sulfury. <laughs> he flips it open and looks and looks as a guy. Ah, yes, these are definitely not human names. Ah, excellent, excellent. I'm sure that we can 
we can verify some of these historically. This will make a interesting petition uh, between the, before the magistrates. I suspect I will be wearing that that fancy medallion around my shoulders any day now. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's face it. You were already in good with a uh, Lord Mayor, but you're soon to be in good with the Lord Mayor. Uh, oh, right. uh, Thanks, Albus. Yes. May he yes. reign forever. <laughs> yeah, so at least another five at least another five weeks. I'll get I'm sure I'll get bored with this sooner or later. I mean I have uh, many irons in the fire and Aldernest is not the only one. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for have, our payment. You have proven that my faith in you, when I first saw you, I knew there was something special there. And I am very, very rarely wrong. Once again, I am correct. Ha ha. So, we are friends. Yes, I will fetch you a key. Uh, and he leaves the room very briefly. And you hear some rummaging around and some things falling. And uh, ow! Uh, and he comes back in. Uh, and he hands you a very, very ornate key. Um, there are many ways to get into the Undercity. Mm, collapsed culverts and through the sewers. Ugh, disgusting, am I right? This will take you into uh, a much more civilized entrance. Uh, I'm sure that you will find it much easier to measure your barometric pressure and temperature gradients yes, or, right. or water yes. pH or whatever mm -hmm. boring nonsense you were talking about before. Uh, I do need that key back, though. I have a few extra endeavors that sometimes require some mm, additional circumspect measures and having access to the undercity helps with that so but you're free to use it for the next oh two or three days does that sound fair yeah yeah, yeah if we down, don't die we'll bring good. it back yeah. excellent excellent I, well please don't die I've got. I've grown accustomed to your faces. And, and where's uh, the door that and this other key... parts? If I'm to be frank. <laughs> oh, 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 Frank, <laughs> you. Yes, yes, yes. Frank? I will say this: as long as I am Lord Mayor, you will have a friend in the highest office in the town. Hear that, Blaze? And perhaps, and perhaps mm. after your boring little mission is done, I can find some more use for your talent, for the good of the common man, of course. It's Sound like a plan? Sound, Sound like a plan? plan. Sound yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. Right. Excellent. Right. Land in there. But you, you, he told us where the key hole is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. He can tell. He'll. He can tell you where yeah. the key hole is. And Thank you, Franklin Donovan. It's been uh, very good talking with you. And Frankie. Been very helpful. Yes. Well, Mirth, um, if you want, I can have a word with Bumataki. I mean, he does have seven children. I. Mean, I he was talking about how they just took to you. His boys can yeah, swim. Yeah, and then we went into the crypt and we started being grabbed by children and I don't want any anymore. Oh, so that just... sounds disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I'm so horrible. glad I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the goodness you grabbing. all made it out yeah. more or less alive. None of you more got bit by a zombie or anything, did you? <laughs> no, why? Bitten? No. I don't know. Ah. Apparently people turn into zombies if they get bit by zombies. Weird. Something oh. about getting bit and then you have these black, disgusting veins in your face. No, oh. I don't know anything oh, about whoa. that. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, just whoa, whoa. Mirth. <laughs> no, Mirth, that's just a varicose vein. You're fine. Oh. <laughs> all up in your face. I detect evil on Mirth. What do I, <laughs> do I get anything off of you? Uh, uh, she, is, she is not, she is not oh, celestial. She is not fiendish, mm -hmm. and she is not undead. And mm -hmm. you are not an oath of the ancients, paladin. Therefore, you cannot also detect fate. It, but it says I can detect good or evil. In yeah, addition to those things, detect good or evil. The only things specifically: hallowed spell, fiendish, undead, or celestial, because that's evil stuff. It's, it's not alignment. You can't detect alignment. Oh, okay, gotcha. Alignment is not such a big thing in five E. Righto. So like, yeah, I, like you can't detect an evil person. Know. Yes. But if you were Oath of the Ancients, you could in fact detect that she was Fae from the very beginning, which is why you aren't Oath of the Ancients. Oh. So, he will say, it is very late and I need my beauty sleep because I have another couple of appointments coming up tomorrow. Is that <laughs> <a> mean? <laughs> so, uh, enjoy the key and your boring science stuff. 
uh, and come back safe. And uh, next time, perhaps you'll allow me to lay out a spread and I can show you the, the bounty that the city has to offer. As long as it's there's no cheese. Wait, are it's you mostly about fish. food? Oh, yeah, it's I'm most, into all it's of mostly that. fish, but it's good fish. Right. It's good fish. All right, all right. I'm in. have a nice stew, white fish. fish. You got a nice white fish? Nice white fish, some Dover sole, a little bit of butter, a little bit of lemon, some capers on top. Mwah, Ooh, right? Capers. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm in. Uh, Always it's enjoy so a good caper. Nice to make such fascinating friends. And next time, we'll plan for dinner party, and you can tell me the stories of how you came here and how you came to become so fascinated with underground weather mm. yes oh well already bored go away <laughs> adieu Mwah. adieu be safe excellent bye felicia <laughs> yes so you will leave him to his rest you'll return uh and uh i i'm gonna assume you did in fact take off your fancy evening wear before yeah. you went I, adventuring absolutely in the great Sure. Not. Okay. There's no question about it. Yes. These are the I bangles. left. I did leave my bangles on though. My my antler bangles. I think I'm gonna Lovely. make that a permanent. You thing. can just wear them. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Khan and Raishal are, um, as, as you approach the the stable boy, who looks like he maybe got a little bit of a nip because mm. he's limping a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um. But also looks like maybe he's been having fun. Like as as you approach, like through the back door. Uh, or through the the courtyard the back door, he's actually tossing things back and forth uh, with with uh, oh. SJ. But but he does look like he got a little bit of a nip. Like maybe he like maybe SJ got a little bit excited and happy about the game and decided to tell him he was doing a good job. But he seems to be having a good time. Uh, he will uh, let you in, and in the rear salon, uh, you will find uh, Khan and Raishal. Uh, Raishal is kind of. Um, just sort of leaned back on a couch, reading a book. Uh, and Khan is over at a small, the same parquet table that you got your money on uh, and is making notes as he is wont to do. Oh, oh, oh you're back. Uh-huh. Did, did you, how, how did meeting that, that crazy man go? So we got a key, Khan. We got a key to the Undercity. We can get in. We can get to the Undercity. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, good, 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 good. That, that, that's, that's very good news. I, I know that Anise will be pleased with that. Uh, did you run into any difficulties? No, yes, I got those. paper cuts all over my face. I can't read books anymore. I'm now I have an aversion to them because I got cuts yeah. on my face. That, that, that's, that's, that's terrible. I, I can't imagine what it'd be like to have an aversion to books. They're, 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 they're so important. Um, now Blaze will have to always read them to me. Yeah. <laughs> Story time all day, every day. I, I guess it, it's it's good to have friends to help us deal with our disability. I don't, I don't know. Yes, uh, it, it it is rather late though. I'm I'm very glad that you made it back okay. Uh, you do look and you smell. I'm sorry, very very rancid. I've wow. been wearing a monkey all day. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, I mean like 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 you've been like at a charnel house. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and you're, you're covered with disgusting ichor. Basically, you guys look like you were in Oh like, yeah, that's right, because we, yeah. Yeah, we need a bit of a sour. Uh, yeah, we got slimed. Uh, th there, are, there are several bathrooms here, and we, we, do, have, uh, we do have hot water uh, yes. provided by Etheric Engine. So uh, I suggest that you all bathe before climbing into your lovely clean beds. Um, and then idea. And then in the morning, I can perhaps hear... Um, and Raishal will step in and said, Connor, let them take their baths. Let them go to bed. There'll be plenty of time in the morning to chat. And I, myself, am still awaiting uh, to get to know you better uh, and some stories. Uh, Connor has filled me in a bit, but he has a tendency to uh, focus on the more academic details and leave out the action and adventure. So I'm very interested to hear what your versions of your adventures have to tell us. So perhaps in the morning, a late breakfast. Yes. Sounds sure. good. Excellent. Excellent. I love well, food. enjoy. See you then. And she'll, uh, she, they will reach over and kind of grab, uh, Connell's arm and lead him away. So he doesn't jabber at you all night long. Uh, and, uh, you are able to go and take a lovely bath and, uh, 
clawed bathtub with lovely hot, 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 hot water. Nice. Nice, like, little hotel sample size soaps and shampoos that smell really good. Um, and you're able to crawl into these large four-poster beds yeah. and rooms that have been set aside for you. Uh, and Even Blaze? Take your rest. Uh, yes, in fact, yeah. there is a The room, finest stable. Uh, no, uh, someone knows something about uh, centaurs because there is a traditional uh, thing like tatami mat uh, or like Thai, like a Thai futon that is that is designed specifically to be very rugged but also very comfortable. Uh, something that's traditional for centaurs. Yeah, port. The, the the bed has yeah, been dismantled and moved out of the room. Tonight, port. These are these are smart people. We so cozy. you get cozy. After the exhaustion and excitement of the day, you all sleep very, very quickly. Whether you or whether any of you have any dreams, however, we will have to determine next time. Okay. So. End scene. We, we, ran, End. we ran super long, but we all have holiday tomorrow. Yay! Cool with that. Yay! Wanted to get us to the end so we don't stop in the middle of combat and have to switch to a new ghost who then promptly the new player's first experience is to get fireballed a lot. <laughs> so uh we're good to go. Moro, everyone. Yeah. Yay. Before we do, let's do the thing where we talk about the things and we pimp all the things. Yes, please. So do. anybody that's watching, whether it's here or on twitch.tv slash licity, uh make sure to go to Twitch and follow Morrowind in my sales. Follow Megan ML, and then of course follow Licity if you are not already. Uh, it's zero daylight on Twitter, not on Twitch. Yes. And then, at least over here, for our YouTube channel, here is the link that contains uh, all of the. I pasted it in me in uh, lists as well it has oh, all yeah. of our a, previous episodes i actually have the command for it noise aha uh -huh. <laughs> tell, tell him how to do that i did <laughs> so it get... oh good oh, exclamation good. point c plus or you can type out c p l u s perfect c plus nice um we are at we are at 59 of the 100 subscribers we need to get that uh all all important custom url for the youtube channel right 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 and so for those of you who are new or have not been following along um our format is is that the three myself mirth and blaze are the regulars and then ghost is a revolving uh chair so our first mm -hmm. one was our friend zam and zam played for episode one Moro has been ghost for the for the two parts of episode two. And so there will be a new ghost next week. So Moro, thank you very much for, for playing with us. I hope you had fun. Yay, Moro Yay! added a whole new dimension of being an old ass lady, an old grandma <laughs> as ghost, uh, which is great. I want y'all to know that I hid little Werther's candies in all of your pockets. Aww. You will never find Aww. Them. That's beautiful. Where there's in pocket. He's got <laughs> I, I like to think that Grandma Ghost just goes and possesses someone else so she can hang out with that dapper gentleman over at the carousel. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the canon is now that we can never starve because we have an endless supply of Werther's originals. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Um, all right. So Mora, when is the next time that you are streaming? I am streaming tomorrow morning in like 11 hours um Ooh. 11 a.m central i'm gonna okay. be i started playing final fantasy 6 uh it's my first time and um i really like it so far a lot so I'll be continuing that fighting an octopus in a river all right and licity what about you uh i'll be streaming on wednesday um i'm finishing up mass effect one so i'll be going to vermeer on wednesday ah uh, good excellent yeah in the evening <laughs> Megan? Um, I am actually streaming tomorrow what? with a very, very special uh, production. It's going to be a Monday, and you may or may not know what that could mean. So I'm just telling you that you should be there tomorrow. We're, Are you talking uh, about Mac and Megan Monday on Tuesday back what? on Monday? Is that I what you're talking about? Listen, I'm not making any promises. It's been that months. That might happen. That might happen tomorrow. And if it does, it's probably going to be at the night times 
like okay. the, the like or in the early evenings. But All right. Yes, we will be definitely putting more about that out tomorrow, either on Nerders Discord or my own Discord. And then I am leaving for the mountains in Georgia, but I might do an IRL stream there depending on the internet. And then of course I'll be back here by Sunday to D again. Excellent. I will be streaming tomorrow. And I don't even know what we're gonna play, but we're gonna play something. It'll be good. It'll be here at Juices TV. It'll be great. And uh, we'll be back next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Central Time uh, with Episode 3, Part 1. Yes. Uh, and it's going to be great, so make sure to tune in. And, of course, again, uh, all, of the, all of the episodes are uh, on our YouTube. There are three... I mean, there's two up, three parts. There, there are four things yeah. to watch. Go there. Yeah, uh, yep. Cool. That's it. I'm going to find someone to raid. What about Dang. you, Lisa T? Uh, I'm only streaming for like another 10 minutes, so. All right. Yeah. Last time I went and I'm just, I'm, I think I'm just going to find more D&D &D people that are on and just do that. So. Yeah. Anybody that's here, come with me on the raid. Make sure to follow all of our friends and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye, friends. You. Bye. 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 Okay. Uh, we are here. We are going to go on the raid. Come with me on the raid. Ah, oh, geez. I can unmute the alerts finally. Uh, to any new friends that came in and followed, thank you so much for that. Um, we don't normally play D&D. D&D &D is a Sunday thing for us. The rest of the time we play video games. We hang out with good friends. A plus community, C plus content. The love, the hype, and the pride. That's what we're all about. How, uh, love to see you all come back next week for D&D. Or just, you know, whenever you want to hang out on, on the Twitches. I'm here six days a week. And uh, let me find... D&D gets me all kerfluffled because I can't find my windows. They're in different spots than they normally are. And it's real quiet. It's real quiet, man. All right. Let's see who's playing Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Last week it was great. We we found a cool game. Um let's go see. Uh I'm gonna open up a couple different ones. And we'll see what's up. All right, we're gonna go to Captain Robear, whom I do not know, but everyone, or at least the captain, is in is in uh, piratey looking outfit, which is excellent. Jeez, Rage. See, this is how you get in trouble, Rage. Classic Rachel Anita. My oh, jeez. Juices can see my dick. Ah, uh, come on, Rach. I mean, and I can satisfy Juices. Not what I meant. Come with me now. Come with you did me not now. say deck. You did not say deck. Juices can see my dick. Clearly, dick. Also, juice is overrated. Rude. That's just rude, Rachel. It was not. It was not, and the context supports me. Anyways, we can argue about Rachel and Anita's penis another time. We're going to go raid Captain Robear, who's playing some Dungeons and & Dragons, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Central Time for some gaming and hanging out.